Close enough, stop it! Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Spooky September! Hey, Musetti. Hey, Infinity Issue. Hey, Karato. Hey, Anna. Hey, Red Dwarf. Tonight, we are playing a truly horrific game called Phantasmagoria. Came out in 1995, made by the the horror production company Sierra Online, and and true horror genius Roberta Williams. <laughs> I told you I had a layer. I told you I had a little layer. I made a layer. I made a layer. <laughs> ah, we're doing it. Alright, we're playing <laughs> we're playing Spooky September. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't figure out how to do it without the headphones. <laughs> I go with this thing. Look at this thing. I got this thing. <laughs> I think it was from a pirate costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you didn't know Dracula is also sponsored by Beats by Dre. It was me the whole time! Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> So we're playing, we're playing, uh, <clears throat> we're playing Phantasmagoria. It's, it's very hot in this cave. It's like, it's like 75 in here. It's hot. Uh, I was thinking about getting the wax teeth out of it. Okay, this song is awesome. This is actually just the song from the game. Um, we have to watch the intro, though. There's a lot of plot beats by Dreacula. Yes, nothing. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta watch this intro, I think there's a lot of plot here. So guys, pay attention. I assume everyone's here and ready, so we're just gonna go with the intro here. Spooky back sweat. Ugh, it's gonna suck. Can I wash this? This dry clean only? So you can already tell this is gonna be like a quality game. Like right off the bat. Of course, poor Smato, I went all out, man. This is spooky September. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Alright. I think it's actually pretty graphic, yeah. This is like some adult stuff in here. Oh. I can't tell what I'm looking at. <laughs> Are those like scimitars? Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh! Is <laughs> that, that Bin Laden? <laughs> Who the hell is that? <laughs> Why was he a snake? He was a snake the whole time. No wonder it took him so long to find him. Oh, 
here. Oh, God. What's the matter, sweetheart? Oh. No, it's horrible. Oh, no. Wolf girl, she just had a nightmare. It was just a bad dream. You don't ever have to be afraid of anything. I'll always be here to protect you. I don't like that guy. Whoa! <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this, is this okay? <laughs> This is all right for Twitch. Are we all right now? Okay, there you go. That's the intro. Ooh, got a little dicey at the end, 1995. ESRB ratings did not exist. So get, I gotta put like an adult only on this. Whoa. <laughs> you almost saw something there. You hot for Twitch. <laughs> all right, here we go. I am gonna be a bagel. I'm all flustered now. Whoa! It's so hot in this cave. Is it just me? I think we're gonna start with chapter one. That makes sense. Sunday, October sixteenth, nine a.m. I can't get over how good this graphic quality is, you know what I mean? How many CDs did this come on? Morning, honey. Good morning, sweetheart. Yeah, it looks so real, right? Yeah, big one. Yeah. Somebody kept me up last night. Well, I'm sorry, I had a nightmare. You didn't seem to mind so much last night. Oh no. What is with this set? Mm. It was probably just spending the night in a new house and all. Yeah, I know. We have to yeah, I believe it, man. Kind of Can't smoke inside, yeah, dude. Different. You know, I bet the guy that built this place must have been really bizarre. Well, hi, Spaz. How you doing, huh? Hey. You think something what bad's gonna happen, Romito? I don't trust him. Not with that ponytail and that vest. Thought maybe I'd do a little exploring. Yeah. How about you? Do you see that bathroom yet on the second floor? Yeah. I like that. I think I'm gonna turn it into a photo lab for myself. Keep me busy for a week or so. That's a good idea. I like that What's bathroom. Happened? Well, I don't know. I haven't gone through it yet. Let's see. I can look, Wastok. Oh, it's crazy. I can make it louder. Oh. Look at this. Why? Just a sec. You remember this? Yeah. Yeah, I gave you this for Halloween. <laughs> Stop it! Did you see my set, man? You know it was solid. It was, Eve. it was the night you proposed to me. Okay, so we're getting a lot of exposition here. Yes. Of course I remember. Of course I do. You're I better get to work. I Wolf girl, I think he's a porn star too. Look at this guy, he's creeping. With me though. So I'll always remember that fateful night. <laughs> well, don't work too hard. See you later. Did he even drink his big cup of coffee? Yeah, I think we've already solved this, Wolf Girl. Case shut. Okay, so here we go. Um, I don't know if there's subtitles. There's some settings here. Some. I don't think there's... I don't, I don't think I can activate it, but I can make it louder if I need to. Oh, God, how do I get out of this? Restore. Jesus. No. Okay, well, we got out of it. All right, guys, Phantasmagoria, let's go. Yeah, you're a true detective. Okay, so I think the game turns red when I can interact. 
Of course, I just told her to sit again, because that makes sense. But let's actually get up, lady. Up. Up. Let's see what's in this drawer. Fish, you need a story recap? <laughs> we just started! Okay, we got some matches. Um, I think the story is, so far, they moved into a creepy old mansion. And, oh god, where am I? And her boyfriend, or her husband, is a, kind of a weirdo. Oh, then there was that weird nightmare she had, yeah. Um, oh, there we go. Kind of clicking stuff. Oh, wow. I think I have that rug. What's up with the camera angle? Like, why am I behind these, like, sacks of food? We'll open it up. I want to know what's in there. Yeah, we were, like, two seconds in. We already got one. Yeah. That probably bodes well for this game. Um, okay. So we got a, we got a secret passage there. I can't seem to do anything else in here. You get it? Yep. Definitely shut the light off. Yeah, 1995, guys. They pushed the limit on this game. Like, look how real it is. Okay, so I have matches, and we found a, um... A trapdoor. Let's go check this thing out. Oh, look at that sink! What's she doing? Yeah, dude, Mapfine, 1995! She's got the mom jeans all day. She's having a glass of water. Wow, this is so immersive. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, Gabe. Uh, how about, is that a fridge? Is that the world's tiniest refrigerator? Oh my god, what? Why? What is she eating? It's just a day in the life of her. <laughs> you drank water in 95, it brings back memories. <laughs> Yeah, Ada, this is like a real person. You're right. Aha. Uh -huh. Here, I'm gonna make the game a little louder for you guys, in case there's more talking, because I don't think I can do subtitles. That music, though. Okay. We got that fireplace. Who's that? Poke it! Poke it! Oh, no, we're taking the poker. I could use that poker, perhaps, to open that trap door. Is it, oh, there's like, there's like three ways I can go right now. What's this? Yeah, hit blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, she's outside. Hello! No, I'm not, there's way too much out. Go back inside. We, <laughs> I have some questions about that trap door in the pantry. You can't just go outside. There's a whole world out there for her. It'd be pretty cool to live in this house. Kind of weird, though. I don't know, it's weird. I don't really know what's up with it. Okay, there's nothing else I can click in here. I can make her sit. We already checked out the drawer. Turn the light on. You gotta turn the light on before you do anything. Do it. Yeah! We're solving puzzles today. I think. Is it working? I would not go down there, but I'm gonna tell her to go down there. Are she okay, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, put the poker away, wherever you keep that thing. Yeah, she just had that terrible nightmare, now she's like going down here. I can't see a thing down there. Oh, you have matches, does that help? 
I can't see a thing down there. How about you light one match and head down? No. No, we need like a candle. Alright. Well, we don't have a candle. Hold me, Bagel Deluxe! I know, dude, this is pretty creepy. I'm Bagel, by the way, if you're new, I'm wearing a cape. I also got, you can't notice it, I got this little thing that Dracula has. Like that thing. I don't know what you, an ascot? I got one of those. I almost got a red pendant, and then I said, nah, I'm going ascot. Okay, so clear, okay, yeah, shut the light off. All right. See, I don't know this world like she does. Shouldn't she know, like, where the flashlight is? But I know it's not going to be a flashlight, because we just found the, uh... But don't go back to the sink. Had enough water, lady. Because we just found the matches. Let's go this way first. I'm just, I'm kind of spooked about going outside. Whoa. Oh, wait, is that the end of this room? I hope nothing scary happens. Okay. We're really just like soaking it in here. Okay. That is a mirror. Are we. Is this gonna go on forever? Okay. Good. Good. Uh. Well, I don't see any other reason to be over here other than to look at yourself in that mirror. I'm sure the mirror will become crucial later on, though. So I guess we gotta go outside. I don't know, Fish. She ate something weird from, like, a cartoon fridge at one point. Okay. So their yard is kind of fucked up. I'm sorry, what is this? We're just like walking around like just looking at stuff here. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> and we can't interact with that thing. That's like, oh yeah, it's old wallhead. Oh yeah, that's the old wallhead came with the place. No questions about old wallhead. He's right where he should be. You're saying she didn't stand for that very long enough. Oh god, I'm back at the Yeah, really look at that water. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. What's this girl's name? It's not Fallout. Did you did you see something, Wolf Girl? Alright, I gotta find more places I can interact. I can go this way and this way. Let's go to the right. Okay. Oh. What? Yo, these are the same people that made King's Quest. Uh, hello! Adrian. Okay, Adrian. I gotta, because I like to, when I get mad at the character, I want to know their name. He's just like peering around, he's soaking it in, this thing. I feel like I'm gonna get lost. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is where the game's taken up. Watch out! That's too far. That'd be a long jump. Adrian, I'm I wasn't gonna ask you to jump that. <laughs> You're out of your mind, lady. <laughs> I know I wanna just go. Look, look how far away that is. Clearly we need to knock that tree over. Come on, Adrian. Get your head in the game. Yeah, are you big into Phantasmagoria, Romito? Just jump. Just go for it. Okay, so... Okay, can I cross this bridge? This is- this is crazy. This is like mist. Is that my house? Is that the front door to my house? Are we going for a ride? Oh! What? <laughs> what is that? What? What the? <laughs> what was this with Nippon set? I think this is where I live. I can't even read it. Nip Nippo Wom set? Why did we just drive to Nippo Wom set? Jesus. Okay. Oh! Okay. 
Hey, it's a dog. I got it. It's, there's a dog there. I'm not going in. It's gonna be something ridiculous. Like I need like to get like a sausage or something to give to the dog. Yeah, definitely rifle through that guy's mail, Adrian. But, yeah, maybe there's a candelabra we can use to go into the basement. Are oh, you serious? Mr. Malcolm Worm Shadow. <laughs> Oh, look, it's from Roberta Williams. That's sweet. The the from address is the lady who made the game. Okay, remember, uh, Malcolm Worm Shadow lives in the doghouse, guys. <laughs> the dog with the dog. <laughs> I will try if the game lets me. No. I cannot poke the dog. I cannot light the dog on fire. <laughs> I don't think so, Mac5, but please let me know. I, um, I found, <laughs> my, my approval of this game came from, somehow I found Twitch's official Twitter promoting someone who was playing this game, like, a year ago. Hey, Natural Dave. You think there's a nipple in this game? You might be thinking of Phantasmagoria too. There's a door, or I can just, like, peer at the glass. <laughs> Yep. Closed. Yeah, natural Dave, I got a cape. I'm actually dying in this cape. It's extremely hot. Oh, oh, I didn't notice that puppy before, though. The cape is extremely hot. Can I just go in? No. It's locked. Probably because it's closed. I like how quickly she accomplishes all of her tasks. Hey, fella. What a good boy. Hey, fella. Yeah, it might be. I've never played it, Natural Dave. Isn't that game pretty intense, too? Uh, I can't... I want to talk to this old seaman. Look at him. All our shit up his boat. I can't interact with this... I can interact with the dog. But I can't go talk to... The sailor friend over here. Can't go to the lighthouse. I'm pretty sure this is where I live. This looks like a lot like my town. I can't. Can I talk to the vagrant? Hello. Who the <laughs> well, time to hit the old dusty trail. Okay. This game is delivering. All these places are closed. Yeah, def she is a creep. I <laughs> she always like does something like, okay, all right, and I'm done interacting. <laughs> also closed, I'm sure. I wonder if this has something to do with Malcolm Worm Shadow. That guy's up to some. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, I guess we're done in Nipple Wom set. Glad we came. Learned a lot. I think I'm supposed to be going into that basement. Take your time. Take your time. Is this our house? This doesn't look familiar at all. Now, Force Mana, you went way out of your way for that joke. Um. I'm pretty sure that's my house. Yeah, we're wasting a spooky amount of gas with these frivolous trips to and from Nippa Wob set. Good call. Yeah. Yep, that's our face arch. Yes, sir. Too far to walk to town. I better take the car. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Now that I think about it, the town is pretty far away. Yeah, 1995, it was cheap. I'm pretty sure this is our house. Oh, yeah. Would it suck if every time you came home, it just played that little...
haven't been here yet. Oh, like it big! I just had change? All Usually right. you'd have to find something like that. A token. I'll try it out. I know the frame rate was pretty low there. Oh. Did we learn something? Evil e will walk once more. You say it. Okay. Oh, nuts! Remember that time, uh, was it Philbert? Was that his name from Rocco's Modern Life? Got that, like, bad fortune and he just kept getting it over and over again? So I'm thinking about who's that guy? Where am I right now? Have I not? Is there like do I have to go outside and around? Oh. Okay. Now I see how the house is connected. Thank you. Thank you. Every time. Every time. Good. A Sicilian blooded. I'm looking for, I need to look for some way to let, is that a cat? Is that Spaz? Is that. Okay. Sharp dressed man. Yeah, what did I miss, Wolf Girl? Is it not, am I not gonna be able to get it? Oh, what's this? That's a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like that. Oh, hello. Wait, what is this? I don't know how to like interact. Oh, hey Spaz. Hey Spaz. <laughs> how you doing kitty? You getting used to the new place yet, huh? Why did they move here? Like, the husband's a photographer? Like, what does she do? Like, what? Why did they feel behooved to move here? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, I, I thought something creepy was going to be on the other side of the mirror. We'll check it out again. I think you might have been the only person who saw that little girl. Here we go. This will be crucial to the plot. She's pretty curious like a cat. Hey Raven Toon. Oh, now we just got music in here, this is sweet. You look at the details, yeah, you got you got an eye for the details, Wolf. There's a ghost pian- oh, okay. Look, I can interact with that one. My mouse has to turn red to use it, so. There's something back here I think we need. Aren't they called player pianos, Ada? Don't, don't those actually exist? What is this? Absinthe. What is this? Why would we have absinthe? <laughs> is it not illegal? What is this? You done up the skeleton sword? I, I just... Wait a minute. I can't go back there. Can I? Nope. I thought maybe I need to pour... I, okay, I've got this complicated thing going on in my head where I feel like I need to wrap this around this and then pour alcohol on it and light it on fire with a match. But... I don't know how to use this object. Like, I don't even know what that is. Like, is it a magazine? It's only illegal in America. Yeah. Why would you have a locked door in your house you just purchased? Just bust the doorknob off. 
Like any self-respecting homeowner would do. Damn it. It's locked. Damn it. It's locked. <sighs> okay. Just soaking it in. Over here. Oh, I can go upstairs. I hear there's a nice bathroom up there. I really like that bathroom. I think I'm gonna F it up and turn it into a photo lab. Okay. Here we go up the stairs, everyone. Get hyped. Anything could happen upstairs. Gotta gently mouse over all parts of the room. Okay, let's let's try this banister here. Don't fall. Wow. Okay. I gotcha. Oh! Alright. So, we're still trying to figure out how to light up, like, that downstairs. Like, I still need, like, a flashlight or, like, a candle. Can't do this, can I? No. Okay, let's check out this guy's painting. Yo, hey, laugh face! Whoa! I can't actually, I'm sitting on my cape. I can't move it that well. Oh, I kind of look like him, don't I, if I had the top hat? Knew I needed a top hat. Hey, Gleaming Lies. Playing Phantasmagoria. Nothing here. Yeah, enter the room more. Enter the room more. <laughs> yeah, right in, like, every episode of friggin' Cribs ever. <laughs> okay, let's check out this little thing. Oh, there's something here. What is this? Wait a minute. What is that? I know I can have it, but what is it? Uh, oh, it's a ring. You gonna take it? Nope. What was the point of that game? Why did we just look at that ring? I can go back there too. This. I just suck milk out of people. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. I can only interact with this book. We got the book. Oh. That drugs? Is that drug is that drugs? Was she okay with the drugs in the absence? The house is full of illicit material. Okay. You gonna take a nap? Why? <laughs> Why are we laying down? Why are we laying down? No! This doesn't seem good. Well, it's been a long day. Oh, god damn it. Chips, I'm gonna be very unhappy if there's like ways to fail and die. <laughs> Don't do that. Don! Don! He's still here? That's even creepier. You okay? Oh god, the bed! What? The bed grabbed me! <laughs> the bed grabbed you? Yes! <laughs> oh, here, calm down, calm down. Wait here, wait here, all right? Just wait here, I'll show you. No, don't! Just calm down. Don's oh, kind of an asshole. See? The bed grabbed okay, you. Hila. See? Nothing wrong. Goodness. This old drafty house has your imagination going, doesn't it? Oh, sweetheart, <laughs> I've got to get back to work. Are you going to be okay? Yes. You sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just calm down. Okay. Okay. 
Dodge! <laughs> the bed grabbed me! Back to the bed, go back to the bed. Do it again. Alright, um, so there's a whole lot of nothing going on in this room right now. <laughs> hey, Hyrule Denizen. Hey, Trippy Tube and everyone. And all you guys. Hey, you guys. We're playing Phantasmagoria. It's pretty funny, uh, but it's also pretty spooky. I am the official hint keeper. I watch your every move. Ask me for a hint if you are hopelessly stuck, but use me sparingly. Too many hints can spoil the game. We found the hint keeper, everyone. That's a little bit of progress there. Not the hint keeper. It's tucked in that corner the whole time, right next to me. Just, just bagel the hint keeper. Would you watch that TV show? Hey, we're just sitting. It's good. Very good. <laughs> you think that hint keeper is the spookiest thing in the game? What is she doing? She are you taking your shoes off? No, you're readjusting your shoes. Well, let's go check out that bear skin rug. Nope, we're not gonna check that out. Is this a different direction? No, it's the same direction. Look, I don't know why we're in this bedroom. Is that my uncle? Yeah, <laughs> look, at look at him, look at him. Look at that guy right now, that's ridiculous. That guy is ridiculous. There's nothing else in this room, I'm fairly sure. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the room. I'm done in this room. Hey guys, welcome to the stream today. I'm Bagel. I play the classics. This is a classic. It's called Phantasmagoria. Yo, Crimson! Thanks for the host, man! Thank you, Crimson. I just saw that. Thank you, Crimson. This is a pretty, this is a pretty, like, whoa game. That's why, you know... Don't invite your your young your kid sister in here. Is that me? I'm gonna go back and look at the the mirror, Wolf Girl. Once I'm done upstairs, what what does she have there? Oh, we're taking that. What was that? What was that? What you gotta show me what that is better? Are they cards? Do I use it at the tarot place? Like what is that? Doesn't make sense. Don't lay on the bed, Adrian. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious right now, Adrian? If you lay down on that bed, don't you lay down on that bed, Adrian? Yeah, it's either photos or or tarot. Card. What is she doing? Oh, we're done. I didn't even touch anything. She just. But yeah, I'm seeing this. Okay. That's good. Let's see what's in the drawer. Yeah, she just keeps napping. <laughs> so sleepy. Okay, there's a white piece of thing in here. Yeah, I just rifled through some more stuff. My dearest Gaston, I can't wait to see you, my angel. It's been far too long. Let's, Let's take, take a, a few, few moments, moments for ourselves, ourselves during Zoltan's party next week. We'll meet in the gazebo, away from all the revelry. Angel, how I yearn for your sweet kiss. Your strong arms holding me tight, protecting me. And oh, my dear, I need protecting. I'm afraid my husband's beginning to suspect. He watches me night and day. Perhaps we can steal away, run away, forever from his sight. My only consolation is thoughts of you, my angel. Always, your adoring love, Marie. Marie. Okay, whoa! Marie and Gaston, all right. We got Marie, we got Gaston, we got Don, we got Adrian, we got, um, what was that guy's name? Vladimir Wormwood? <laughs> Is that a guy? How do I... How do I back out of this screen? I'm done here. Do I have to hit the exit? Oh my god. I didn't even know I could use that. Alright. Well... Check out that painting. Yeah, Gaston! 
Dawn? Is that me? Is that Adrian? Or is that Marie? I guess we have to assume that's Marie. I <laughs> like the little, the little song they played. The Marie's anthem. Oh. Hey, priest. We might. Is there any um, clock tower games we haven't played? Can I take this? I could really use this candelabra right now. Light it on fire. Is that is that even a candelabra? I don't know what that is. And what's the point of this corner? Okay. I'm just looking for reasons and things, guys. I'm just looking for reasons. Yeah, all right. Dawn, gas dawn, like same guy. I think we're done in this room. We didn't find much, but we also weren't abducted by a bed. So, you know, a win. Go left. Oh my god, stay away. Repo. Hey, honey. Oh. Damn it. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh no. It's a damn drain. Let me see. We played that in Finney issue like a long time ago. Really, um, you know what I could use? Some drain cleaner. Do I have any? I don't think so. Is this a quest? This, do I need to find Dawn drain cleaner? Damn! These old pipes really are clogged. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, give me that wrench. Would the absence help? Thanks, honey. Would the- should I get- I feel like this is a mission. Oh my god. You shut the lights off on you, Dawn, has it? That lamp is not secure yet. <laughs> oh, better, st better stay away from that lamp then. Whoa! Don't touch the lamp! It's not secured! Oh, okay. whoa, 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 whoa. Let's bug Dawn again. When's the photo lab gonna be finished? Oh, oh, hey, what are you gonna be doing? Probably two, three more days, maybe. Alright. Stuff, Dawn. That sound effect is just god awful. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Uh, Dawn needs some drain cleaner, however, or maybe he doesn't, because we were told that we don't have drain cleaner. So. Hey, Don, what are you going to finish with this? <laughs> Don, you've been in here for like 30 minutes. You're not done yet? Yeah, definitely start messing around with stuff in the torture room. That's cool. It makes sense that they wouldn't like remove this from their house. That makes sense. Definitely leave this here. You're not Dawn yet? <laughs> Add it, nice. Why aren't you Dawn? Okay, I'm looking in the mirror. I see the electricity happening. This game has been like 50% just watching her like kind of fix her hair and her makeup. But we have looked at a lot of mirrors. There's something spooky about mirrors, you know? But a lot of this game has just been her, like, adjusting her hair. Okay, I see nothing in here. It's got, like, an elk head, like, a painting. Got the electricity chair. Dawn, the gramophone grabbed me! <laughs> okay. And we touched it again. It's still electricity in there. The gramophone! <laughs> She's very rigid. Very rigid. Oh, this is upstairs? Wait a minute. I almost missed that. Oh god, we're going in the attic. No, wait, this is- uh, How big is this dang mansion? Mansion, Bagel, shut up. Go in that door before I forget the door's there.
That's a real painting, Wolf Girl? Oh. Jeez. Oh, jeez. They definitely put it back. Don't, like, throw it out or nothing. You leave it. Yeah, whose baby is that? It's a ridiculous looking baby. <laughs> you see it? You guys see that baby up there? That's insane. What did that have to do with anything? Like, that's all. That was just ambience, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I, I seem to see a specter over there. Go check out what that specter is. Yeah, touch it. Why don't you get up in the crib? I have another weird dream. Oh, it appears to be a temporal distortion. Interesting. Right above the baby crib. That's odd. How peculiar. I could tell, Dawn. God, what is this? I didn't even try to hang that curtain good. That's nothing, that's nothing. And I poke it. And I throw a magazine at it. <laughs> Would playing cards help? And I light it on fire. I am out of ideas. What to do with that thing. Like, wouldn't you go tell Dawn about that? <laughs> Dawn, the temporal distortion grabbed me! <laughs> the temporal distortion grabbed you? Oh, another locked door in their mansion. How peculiar. It's leftover baby farts, Wolf Girl. <laughs> Okay. Why there's a key stuck in the keyhole. All right. Now I have to try every item on it. Perhaps I can light a fire to get the key out. No, I could use the poker to poke the key out. Like in these kind of games, like anything kind of makes sense, you know? Like maybe I can use that newspaper to distract the dog at Mr. Wormwood's house. I feel like this game is going to take us a very long time to beat. <laughs> Hopefully I wasn't cocky in this one day playthrough. Because <laughs> we've been playing for a while and I have lost. This, where am I? What am I looking at? Okay. Like, I feel like I'm just going to miss a room because I didn't know I could go there. There's got to be something creepy on the, to on the TV. Not toilet paper. Yeah, like you throw the newspaper for him. Yeah, that's, uh... That's static, all right. Oh. Oh god, we can interact with it again. Like, how, like there's gonna be a time I come up here and turn that on and something weird's gonna be on it, but how am I gonna know when to do that? Okay, here we go. Cash. And in fact, I think I could only take the cash. I, could, I took it! It's in my inventory. I got hard money. God knows what I do with that. But I like filling up my inventory with stuff. Is that a computer? Oh yeah, like a little MacBook here. I thought I turned my computer off. I guess not. That's so spooky. She thought she shut her computer off and it was on. Wow. Seems like kind of like, like, I'm gonna go up three flights of stairs to use my laptop in this other bedroom by this lit fireplace. Like, the eighth bedroom is my laptop room. Better leave the fireplace on. Money opens doors. Yuki, that's, yeah. That's deep. Okay, what is this room? What is that? Is that a dragon? What is this thing? Yeah, I don't know either, Adrian. Oh, Adrian! Ah, oh, because we said so! Yes, man! Thanks for subscribing because we said so. Yes, because we said so. Ah, oh, spooky September. We got two spooky what emotes. What is this thing? It's hype. It's hype. What is this thing? We're never going to figure out what that thing is, are we? We've almost explored the entirety of this place. Can I light this on fire? I, eventually, I'm going to figure out what to do with that map. 
Like, I feel like it's... The matches are used to light something on fire, but... I'm gonna figure it out. Thanks because we said so. Definitely! Now you can post spooky pumpkins. <laughs> What? This explains nothing. Oh. I see. Like a, like a bag or something. I don't like that I can interact with that again. Like, when will that be useful again? It's really hard to remember. Who's that? That's something. You're gonna interact with that, I can tell. Yeah, September came one day early. Two days early. I don't know when. Lenora. Interesting. Alright. Good. Good Lenora. Check out that canvas. Okay. Oh, that is spooky. You're right, game. How avant-garde. Terrible. What, what was that about? Why did you just play that song? Was there something I'm supposed to notice about that painting? God dang it. Okay. Yeah, it did. It looked like an apron. I couldn't think of the word apron, but it did look like an apron. Oh, God. I have no idea where I... Oh, that's that friggin' bear. I know I've been in that bear room. Okay, it's like the, I think this is the only room we haven't been to yet. Toilet. Really? Well, she did drink that water earlier. That makes sense. Dodd the toilet grab me! Yeah, wash your hands. It's good. The game is all about immersion, guys, okay? It's about immersion. You have to look for details? I'm looking. Oh, like a faucet! Ah, oh, it's water! Oh, wow! Wacky! Yeah, we're kind of making... Oh, please, goddammit, take any of these items. No, don't adjust your hair! Dang it! What was I expecting? I just selected an item that allowed her to adjust her hair even more. Ugh. I thought I was gonna be able to, like, light the comb on fire to get into the basement. Okay. Uh, how about that? What does that do? Maybe we could, like... Moisturize? <laughs> This is so spooky! <laughs> what is she gonna do with this lotion? <laughs> that lotion sound effect is terrible. Good, now I don't smell like ectoplasm anymore. Fantastic. Hmm. This is great. Alright, <laughs> what else we got here? Okay, faucet, sure. Wash all that lotion off. I love the water effect, so real. All right, yep, dry your hands off, that's good. Good stuff. What else we got here, what's that? That makeup? All right. Makes sense that we would need to do this in the game. Okay, got the makeup, and what else could I interact with here? The, just the towel. Oh, we're gonna wash our hands again. <laughs> The towel is just another... We have two points of entry to wash our hands. The sink and the towel. That's good. That's good. Good, good job, Adrian. Definitely wash your hands. Today we learned Adrian has OCD. I better wash my hands again. Everything needs to be an even number. Okay. This sink has been a big waste of time, I feel like. <laughs> we didn't get a lot out of this sink. But now I know what to do if she's ever covered in something. I can come to this sink, or possibly the bathtub, and she'll rinse her hand. 
Okay, I think we're good in here. Yeah, I'm a little confused about that temporal distortion we witnessed. But, in my defense, I did try to light it on fire. And it didn't work. So, I mean, in some ways, we did exhaust all options. Uh, maybe I should talk to Don again? I feel like, I, at this point in the game, I'm a little bit at a loss now. Because I think we have gone everywhere. Is Don in here? If Don's not in here, then... Don? Don, are you taking a dump? Don, you're pooping! Oh, wait, no, he's not. His pants are up. I'm just looking at my plans here, trying to figure out the best way for me to do this. Yeah, this is the hint skull. Yeah, it's really coming along. Yo, if Don stays over there. We might be able to interact with another sink. That's pretty hype. Another sink I could interact with. Oh, and chemicals. And Dawn. Let's check out that sink. We love sinks. So stuff has changed, yeah. right? Is the sink still clogged? Yeah. I'm gonna work on it again later. Okay, well let me know if I can help. Thanks. We could pour the chemicals down it and light them on fire. Am I the only one thinking about pouring these chemicals down the sink and lighting them on fire? Hey, Adrian, I can do this better myself. <laughs> what is she doing? Okay, jeez. I'm sorry, hon. I'm just trying to get this done. Sure, fine. Have it your way. Why did she put her finger, like, right where he was working? <laughs> Let me help here. I can help that. Okay. I can't mess with this broken light. Sinks clogged as crap. I can't light anything on here in f on fire. I can't. I can't appear to poke anything in here. Maybe I can just give Don cash. Does that help him? You're Don. <laughs> You're Don. How about some money? All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I Don grabbed me. <laughs> he did. He did. Okay. I think we've been in every room up here. Let's go back downstairs. Give the sink money. He's got a big screw. I hope they give us a sweeping uh, account of this room again. No. Can I use money on you? What I need is just a lamp. Like I, Like, I just need a lamp. Ah, crap. Maybe I'm supposed to show Dawn the pictures. Think I'm supposed to show Dawn the pictures? Let's go back in the kitchen. Wolf Girl says there's something in the mirror. Oh, we gotta look at the painting behind her head? Or she step, she'll step to the side here. Oh, it's different! That's a really good point. Wow. The face is different in the painting. I never would have noticed that, Wolf Girl. Good catch. I thought she was just adjusting her hair. There was a reason for it. There was a reason for it. We've gained other items. Like, since we've gone in, since we tried to go into the basement. This is where we started our adventure, everyone. Hi, I'm Bagel. I play the classics. This is where our adventure started. The whole thing I... What's in here? Oh, that's just the damn closet. Okay. We're trying, we're trying to go into the basement right now. She's wearing a blue dress. That's a good point. The problem with the basement is it's too dark, though, and she can't see when she goes in. Yo, Tenkin! What's up, man? Look at this game. Are you kidding me, Tenkin? I got a cape on. 
very hot in this cape. Very hot in my cape. Right. Just go down there. Or... Yeah. No. What are you doing? Why are you shutting it? Ah, forget it. It's not gonna work. Do you think the basement is dank? <laughs> it might be, Anna. Yo, I killed the server. There are a lot of paintings with blue dresses. Okay. Okay, wolf girl. I don't, I don't know where your mind's taking you. Shut the pantry door. Shut the pantry door. Um, I clicked the door. I know, I messed it up. But it was never going to work anyway. I need a candle! Yeah, look at Kyle. I got a picture of Kyle behind me. It's real life. Kyle's really there. It's a real painting of Kyle. He thinks taco mate. I'm going to peek around a little bit. But we could ask Mr. Skeletal for a hint. Don't want to ask him too many hints, though. Do we ever go this way? Oh, thank <gasps> you. J Dubs! Thanks, J Dubs. Nice, man. Like four months on J Dubs right now. Hey, J W. J W, I'm looking for something to light on fire, man. What about that? What about that object right there? That. This is just- this is- okay. We're just wandering around the mansion right now. Oh yeah, what's to the right though? Oh, yep. Can I light- can I light this tree on fire? Eventually I'm gonna light something on fire with those matches we found right off the bat. A horror game staple. Finding matches. The gazebo, the gazebo, the gazebo. That was crucial to something at one point. It was like where they used to have their like sexy rendezvous. Those two people. I can't enter it. We won't go. Well, we tried. So, I mean, the only other idea I have right now, other than using Mr. Skeletal as a hint, as a hint guy. Oh, don't go back there. This place is weird. Other than using our skeleton hint, would be to show the photos to Dawn. Which I kind of want to do, but I don't understand how to leave. <laughs> gazebo. Yeah. There's a lot of gazebos near where I live, so I'm used to the word. I've never owned a gazebo, though, I'll be honest. I'd like to at some point, though. I feel like I'm just missing a room. That's also what I feel like. I feel like a lot of things, but I feel like I'm missing a room. We're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna show the, the, the photos we found to Don in his photo lab. Because that seems to make sense. I think the photo lab's over here. Uh. Oh, he's back down there again! Hi, better tick better oh. tickle his tummy! I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. You scared me. I'm still working on this stupid drain. Maybe I better leave before I do any more damage. Jesus. Use it! Oh, I thought when it lit up it was gonna work. It doesn't. Okay, that does not work. Newspaper does not work. Okay. Help me, Mr. Skeletal. Someone in town holds the key. I never would have thought to go to town, Mr. Skeletal! That's actually a great hint. Just vague enough to not be, you know, exactly the answer. Just look, guys, this isn't a no Mr. Skeletal hint run, okay? <laughs> I wonder if we can walk to town. No, walking's too far. Yeah, especially since we, like, already went to town. The only thing I can think of is I, the, I, the dollar bill. We got the dollar bill. Maybe the stores have opened that I can spend money. Here we go. Back to Nipple Wom set. Basically where I live. They built their town on this, like, tiny peninsula. They had to put everything as close to the lighthouse as they could. 
We're gonna go over here first. This is where the puppy is. This is where the puppy is. Now remember, Bagel said, perhaps I use the newspaper on the puppy. If this works, Bagel is a genius. Let's just say that. You smell like temporal distortion. Get him! Get him! Get him with it! No. Show him the tarot cards! No. Pay him off! Bribe him! Bribe that pup! Hit him with the poker! We already tried that, actually. Nice doggy. Good dog. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Wanna go to Mr. Wormwood's house? It looks like my dog so damn much, does it, Chips? Okay, we're gonna go to Nipple Wob set, but Bagel has to wee-wee real quick. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Talk amongst yourselves. Where do you think our adventure is gonna take us next, everyone? Who knows? Bagel will be right back after a quick wee wee break. Spooky September will continue. We got their chips. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> I've seen that guy before, that's funny. Hey everyone, we're back! Alright, I'm gonna blow his headphones in. I didn't pee on my cape, if you're wondering. Did not pee on my cape. Yeah. Alright, let's head into the to the town of Nippawam set. Yeah, there's that guy there! Can I give him money? Here, sir. Here is a dollar. Here is a dollar. Look, Spooky September started early, guys, all right? Someone in town holds the key, remember? Remember how they said that during the hint? Mr. Skeletal told us. Yeah, everything's still closed. It's like the weekend. I'm trying to cast with a cape, guys. It's not easy, okay? Not easy to cast with a cape. 
keep sitting on it. Okay, I can't talk to friggin' this idiot. I can't go to the lighthouse, even though it's the biggest damn structure there. Incarnation, I'm trying, dude. Who's this? Oh, it's different every time. Last time there was an old hobo. Robert Tompkins Realty. Are they the people that sold me that damn mansion? Oh, wait a minute. It's open this time. Everyone keeps telling me to play Harvester. Is that game kind of graphic? Isn't this game kind of graphic? Guys, real, real talk. This is like an adult game, okay? Like, we already saw, like, half a Well, pool. hello there, little lady. Hello there. What can I do you for? Yeah, are you Bob Tompkins? When's the last time I took a look? <laughs> My husband bought a house that's, from you. That's just a Bob Tompkins joke. Mm, too bad you got a husband, honey. Okay. I'll have a seat. That's creepy. Uh, love to see that. <laughs> Uh, what's his name? Asshole. What was that? Gordon. Donald Gordon. Gordon. Gibson, Gleason, Gordon. Yeah. Donald Gordon, here we go. Hey, old Gordon! Oh. Who's them people what took over the old Caravash estate? It's Carnivash. <laughs> I remember now. Your husband was that photographer. What takes the pictures for those magazines? Yeah. Huh. Well, my husband works for several magazines. He's doing a project for Newsday magazine right now. Newsday? And you, little lady, uh, you're a writer, huh? I'm a novelist. Oh, a novelist. So what have you noveled? <laughs> have you heard of a book called Blue Moon Rising? No, can't say I have. I'm not surprised. Guys, don't spoil it for me. Well, uh, young lady, unless there's something else, I think we'll cut this chit chat for today. I'm sorry, why did we talk to him? We've got a lot of work to do. do should we ask him about a key? Client I'm going to meet. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, thanks. Should we tell him that, like, multiple doors in the house are locked? Why did we come here? Oh, God. <coughs> Spooky sneeze. <coughs> Spooky sneeze. Okay. Power shot. All right, talk to him. There is something. Yes. Keys. Are you sure you gave my husband all the keys to the Carnivash estate? There seem to be some locked doors. Well, I gave him all I had. But if you don't believe me, why don't you just check for yourself? Well, I think I will. That doesn't seem appropriate. It, I don't like the fact that this game, thank you, old girl, that I went to, <laughs> thank you, Malakello, that I went to the town, everything was locked, went back to the estate, walked around, and then that triggered an event for this door to open in town. You know, I don't like... I don't like that. Now let's go rifle through other people's information. Okay. Aha. Carnivash estate. All the keys, huh? What's this? It's a very large key. So sue me. Romito, I don't like it. So where does that key go? I remember there was a locked door, and then I remember there was a door with a key stuck in it. But I don't remember which one the locked door was. Which is unfortunate. I really should have tried to remember that. Like, thinking back now, finding a locked door is kind of like a big deal. If I was the realtor, I'd be kind of like weirded out by her. Like, she's clearly done there, so she decides to, like, sit down on a couch and, like, soak in the environment. Yeah, what, what about this object in front of you? Yeah, thanks, Cryptic Exile. I got a cape on. Sitting on it. It's hard to... It's hot in the cape. It's hot. It's not cape weather yet. 
pretty soon I'm going to be happy about having the cape. Homes and Land. Homes and Land magazine. God, the couch grabbed me. <laughs> That's funny. If you're just joining us, you've missed literally nothing other than her having two terrible nightmares in a bed. And some side boob. It was a little risque. And you missed her fixing her hair like a hundred times. Bring back capes and coming back. Capes and lava lamps. Stock up, guys. Done. Wait, the wasteful 90s here, guys. It's one sip of water. So why did I sit down? What? I, I feel like there was no point to half of that room. What the golf clubs? We need to check out the golf clubs yet. Maybe I can light them on fire. Hold on a second. With that dollar bill I got. What am I going to use the dollar bill? Look at, look at the hobo. The vagrant's back. Well, time to hit the old dusty trail. A hobo's life is a hard life. Off I go. All right, we got the key. Let's get the hell out of here. That bridge doesn't seem structurally sound. And plus, you gotta imagine, this is like a, a northern climate. If it's snowed, how are you gonna plow that bridge? You might break it. It's not a very secure bridge. Nippawam set. Why would you build a town here? And the only places in the town is like two stores, a lighthouse, a boat, and a realty agency. No, you can't. That'd be really weird if when you got in the car, it went into that like, that like, do you remember that Ghostbusters game for the NES and Master System? And you had to like dodge traffic and stuff in the Ecto, in the Ghost, what was it called? It was something. Shut up, Bagel. Anyway, it'd be cool if the game was some sort of, like, three-lane, like, dodging traffic minigame. That's what this game is lacking. Minigames. At least in Chapter 1. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure the door was upstairs. The Ecto-1. I knew it had the word Ecto. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, guys. I'm looking for a locked door. I don't remember. I know we've seen the locked door. It's probably not in one of these bedrooms. So I'm gonna check it. This guy! <laughs> That's me. That's me right now, guys. If you were wondering. This is that Don! The gra the bed grabbed me! Don! I have no idea what this game is about yet. I don't know. I know there's a mansion. Is this guy. You guys remember what floor the locked door was on? And remember, there's two locked doors. Hey, Richie. Look at this game, Richie. I need a top hat. <laughs> can I get a, a top hat through Amazon Prime? Okay, I can go right here. Maybe it's here. Nope, shit, that's the stairs. Fuck. Yeah, okay, so I mean, this is the door that's, that has a key jammed in it. Maybe I can unjam the key with a key. Something's happening! Would it be weird to wear two monocles? <laughs> Did that work? <sighs> Fix my hair. Ugh. Okay, so no. I'm gonna try it again, though. Just in case. There's a key stuck in the keyhole. I know there is. I can see, we, yes, we, we can kind of see it. Actually, I can't see it at all, but I, 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 I believe you that there's a key stuck in the keyhole. Oh, what the, oh, what we get? God darn it. Oh. All right. Hey, just do anything to it, like wiggle it. Don't go back in dead baby ectoplasm room. Get out of there. There's a temporal distortion in that room. Um. Does anyone remember where the door is, though? For, for realsies. Where the hell is that locked door I saw? It? What, what floor was it on? Was it on this floor? Uh, hey, Don, How you doing? You, you done fixing the sink yet, Don? Hey, hon. Taking a break? Yeah. I kind of wrenched my back putting up that shelf, so I thought I'd rest for just a little while. Okay. Ground floor? Okay. Enjoy your book. Hey, enjoy your book. It, really, I can't, like, fuck with Don right now? Like, usually every time I see Don, I do something to, like, cause him pain. I, 
oh, Don, you, 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 under a sink working on a pipe, gonna sneak up and tickle your stomach. Oh, Don, you screwing something? What if I put my hand right in front of it? How's that work? Don't go back in that room. Okay, so we gotta go possibly downstairs. But good thing we went upstairs. We got that, that Don talking point. Okay, that's the torture room. Don't want to go in there. I, what's in here? I just want to get my bearings. Oh, this is the dam. This is our first time in here with Dawn's not in here. Dawn? You just saw Dawn! Where the, where the heck is Dawn? <laughs> you were talking to Dawn five minutes ago! But now that Dawn's gone, maybe I can screw around with some stuff in here. No, it won't let me. I still feel like I can light something on fire in here. All these chemicals. Eh. Can you cut people up in this game? Dude, I think this game gets pretty gruesome. Alright, so... Wait! Dawn! Where's Dawn? This living room, this is absurd. Oh, this one! This door was locked, wasn't it? Bagel remembered. No, we didn't, but we got it, though. I, I want to use the matches so bad. I know it's gonna work because the thing's out of my inventory. Did it work? Ah, oh, I get bagels all cocky. I felt like this door was a little too ornate to be accomplished through a, you know, key we got from the realtor. That door looks like a boss room, it does. Those dragons look like the dragon upstairs. Damn it, it's locked. Damn it. Okay. Oh, you know what? There was a uh, place outside, wasn't there? There was like a gate outside that was locked. Not the gazebo, but the thing that kind of looked like a gazebo. Don't you recall that, everyone? Do you remember what I'm thinking of? Yeah, this is a real place. These are real objects. That's real wood. I don't remember how exactly we got there, but it was probably by walking through this metal structure. And then across... Uh, Maybe it was down here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah! That thing. That thing. Use the key, lady. Can we open this? You've got real wood? Hey! Okay, game of nice. He's... Crap! I'm out of ideas. I'm out of ideas. No! Don't go back to the forest! We can't, it's too far to jump, you guys, okay? We've tried. What about pushing the tree over? We've tried. Well, I'm getting a lot of harvester requests. Is it banned on Twitch? I don't want to get banned on Twitch. Okay, okay, I'll get harvester at some point. I have a good game to follow this game up with, though. I'm pretty excited about it. I actually looked up Phantasmagoria too. I think that one has like a lot, a lot of uh, nudity in it. But I don't know if we can actually play that one on stream. It's not banned. And this game's not banned, right? Oh, and the key grabbed me. No, for real. Where am I using this key right now? No, don't go back in the pantry. That the whole, I feel like the whole apex of the game is that stupid trap door down there that I can't figure out how to get in, though. I've never played it before. Of course it would be blind. Okay, okay, okay. Bagel, come on. Bagel, we can do this. The absinthe. Does the absinthe help? Does the piano help? I want to hear the music anyway, if not. A key in the pipes? I could just click 
killed this dude. No, I got a key. I have I have a physical key already. I need to open a door with a key. I can't go back to the absinthe. That's bothering me. Okay, well, it must be upstairs. I mean, something's lodged in the pipe, right? Like, you would... You would assume that something's in the pipe. This is creepy. Yeah, that was that, like, isometric game that was, like, all hype and stupid. And I can sit... <laughs> it's your laptop! <laughs> Wait, I shut this laptop off. Why was the laptop open? Okay, back in the torture room. Can I key something in the torture room? Yeah, I, I need something to open up that the pipe in here. This pipe's broken. Don't go back in here. Try to figure out like what each room is. Uh, UK gamer, you can backseat game as much as or yeah. If I need help, you can do that. And I, I need like a little bit of help right now, like just like a tiny bit of help, like a like a Mr. Spooky hit help, you know, like like go to the town, bagel, you know, something like that. Not like use the key at this exact location. You know what I'm saying? I can press the skeleton. I feel like an idiot when I press the skeleton. It's here. Don. I'm busy right now, Adrian. Oh, sorry. The key, use 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 the key. Oh. You hold the key to mystery. What lies beyond the locked door? Oh, that explains nothing. <laughs> what lies beyond the locked door? Yeah, anything. Yeah, Don's in the bathroom. That's the bathroom. I know it's the bathroom. You went to the bathroom in there. I mean, this room is kind of mysterious. You hold the key. Is there like a chest? What is it? Oh God, it's the Starbucks apron. Good. The letter H. All right. Yeah, that would be weird if we had to use the key to break it on Don pooping. That would be a that would be a little twist. All right, all right. So I mean, the only door there's two locked effing doors here. Like one of them's up here. It's that door, which we tried to use the key on and it didn't work. I don't understand why this didn't work also. Oh, was it bloody? I didn't even notice. See, the fact that that doesn't open that door bothers me immensely. Like, it should at least... It should at least push the thing out. What if I stick the key in the temporal distortion? Does that help? No. No bagel. <laughs> Can't just do that. I might have to ask Mr. Skeletal for like a more exact hit. Hint. Yeah, I'm gonna click him again. Like I understand I'm supposed to open the door. Yeah, it was all green screened. It was. I saw like a making of video of it. It was pretty sweet. You hold the key to mystery. What lies beyond the locked door? Mystery. Is it Miss Mr. Tree? Oh, I went back in this. It has something to do with the tree? Is mystery like a play on words? Like the misty tree? I thought maybe if I covered it in the ooze of the distortion, I could then open that door. I, I never played Nightmare. 
the many bedrooms in the mansion. How does this not work? No? I'm not clicking on some of the stuff I can click on because I've clicked on it before. That's the big guy's room. I'm trying to think, like, where haven't we been yet? Yeah, who said it? We tried it. We tried it. It's down here. It's down here. Get this look on her face when she comes downstairs. It's to her right right now. It's right here. It's this blue, it's this blue business. It's this. This door right here, right? And like it it allows you to interact with it. But it doesn't work. Uh Yuki Gamer, I'm playing this on the PC. It came out in 1995 on the PC, and then I think um the 3DO got it two years later in 97. <sighs> he doesn't open the door. <sighs> Yo, that's how I'm feeling, Adrian. That is how I'm feeling. You hold the key to mystery. What lies beyond the locked door? I don't know. Can I combine something with it? Like the newspaper and the key? Should I light the key on fire? Dollar bills? A five dollar bill. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's actually just cool. The local newspaper. Okay. A deck of tarot cards. I was just making a joke. Let's try to use the tarot cards on the tarot card reader. No, that makes too much sense. I was trying to make a joke. Like, I was trying to give him the money. Yo, I remember Angry Video Game Nerds review of Flumbers Don't Wear Tie. It doesn't revenge. This is super spooky, man. So really, I can't use the tarot cards on the tarot card reader? A fireplace poker. A fireplace poker. A book of matches. Who's ever called it a book of matches? Read the newspapers, your trigger. <laughs> what was in here? Wait a minute, guys. Be locked, be locked. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about, locked doors. Door mystery, back on my own. Friggin' Joker. I think we actually went here like super early in the game and then I forgot it existed. It's smoky outside? Make sure you're safe, Taco Mate. <laughs> your cape though. All right, and we get to keep the key. That's sick. A large skeleton key. Oh, skeleton! Okay, new room, guys. New room hype. Look at this thing. What we got it. So we've just never been in this room yet? I hope we find, like, a flashlight or at least a candelabra. When am I going to use the local newspaper? This reporter attended Carno's Phantasmagoria show in London's Egyptian theater last night and found it horrific, spine tingling, and incredible. Women were swooning in the aisles at the gory realism of his spectacles. For the uninitiated, Carno's shows are not for the faint of heart, as they feature occult images, the black arts, torture devices, bodily amputations. Which were the Canadian Mounted Police? Of course, all are accompanied by a generous dose of screams, shrieks, howls, and frightening organ music. Those 1987. Of you to thrills and chills won't want to miss this. Who wasn't subscribed to the Illusionist Quarterly in 1887? Yeah, I saw that too in Carnation. <laughs> That's such a ridiculous name for their publication. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've never swooned either. Oh well, I'm still young. Plenty of swooning ahead of me. I'm gonna use my matches or my poker. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna use everything on this. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna throw everything at this fireplace right now. I mean, clearly there's something about this. Yes, baby, yeah! Oh, fuck. I got so excited. I thought I was going to put the newspaper in there and light it on fire. 
It's a false wall. It's a false wall! How old are you, Incarnation? Oh! What the hell? This is clearly the weirdest thing I have ever seen in this mansion. A loose brick. Never mind the temporal distortion above the old baby crib. We want to uh, push more bricks. Maybe we should just back up and fix our hair, though. Okay. Fireplace poke. Uh, no, none of that makes sense. It's an illusory wall. <laughs> There's so many candelabras in there. I want some of them candelabras. Look at this footage right now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whoa, is this real life? Whoa, get, get out of here, Adrian. Come into my screen. We could tell Dawn about the secret room hidden behind the fireplace in the locked room. That for some reason you were not given a key to when you moved in. Got a little Last Supper going on there, Incarnation. Nice. We look through the gap. Looking through the gap was. Uh, all right. I'm gonna try to light the gap on fire. No, I'm gonna try to put new. I thought every time it lights up, I think it's gonna work. Arrow cards, no. Uh, fireplace poker, no. A dollar bill, <laughs> no. The five dollar bill, babe, okay. I'm at a loss right now, I mean, honestly. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Is that a jade pendant? What is that? I'm sorry, what is that? A black onyx figurine. Let's never ask him to read that again. A black onyx figurine. Yeah, it's her allowance. I forget where we found the Oh, it's in a drawer. We found a five dollars in a drawer one time. She took it. Okay. Alright. On this. Yeah, like, it was recorded terribly, Crimson. Hey, Crimson. Thank you for the host, Crimson. Dear Jeremiah, It has come to my attention that you have recently acquired a unique book while traveling through Egypt this most recent winter. It, it is my understanding you. that this tome contains powerful information regarding ancient rituals of sorcery and magic. I relish the thought of reading it. As you know, I am sometimes frustrated by the fact that I cannot really control the world around me. That my so-called magic is merely nothing more than illusions. Next month, I will be giving a show in Paris. Will you be in town then? If so, I would like to set up a meeting during which I could examine your fascinating acquisition. Oh. If the book is really authentic, I would be more than willing to pay a hefty sum. We know where the five dollars came from. You're from Gatan. I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Zoltan. Or I'm sorry, that's Zoltan. A new character, Zoltan has entered the story. Alright, glad we read that. This is spooky. Amnesia? I don't know, we've played Amnesia, but granted, we played all these games like a while ago. We're gonna do a bunch of new spooky games at first. And then, if I run out of ideas, we'll play the other ones. <laughs> that guy? That's... That's Kyle. You talking about Kyle back there? Um... Was there anything else in this room? I feel like at this point I need to go talk to Dawn. But it's annoying because Dawn like moves around a lot. Okay. Dawn moves around a lot. Maybe the magic book's here. Yeah, I never played a machine for pigs. How are we seeing this? How are we, see are we the books? Prognostications of evil. 
The devil made me do it? This guy had some strange taste. Worship of animals. Secrets it, of the dead. It, it was the book titles that pushed her over the edge on that opinion. Not anything else in this entire mansion. Nor the fact that the mansion is built out of like creepy faces. It was, it was, the devil made me do it. Ah, it's the same stupid books. Worship of animals, yeah. <laughs> She's doing it again. She's reading them again. Prognostications of evil. Why would I be able to interact with this multiple times? This guy had some strange taste. Worship of animals. Secrets of the dead. She looks so disconcerted. Just a little uncomfortable. The material in this. Alright, um... Yeah, yeah, why don't you try reading that book? There's a lot of good material in there. Uh, can I use the bronze onyx figurine? Oh. Okay, okay, guys, so two things have happened. One, we've opened this. Uh, you know, we, we know there's a room in there that we can't seem to access. But two, we have gained a bronze, uh, uh, or a black onyx figurine, rather. Black, not bronze. Where could we use? I'm going to go see Dawn, first off. I'm going to tell Dawn about that room. Then, we also gotta be thinking, where does the Black Onyx figurine go? And if I have to go back to town with it, I'm gonna be mad. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the antique store in town is now open. Don't, don't go back in Creepo's room. Don't walk down the stairs! Stay where you are! Dang it. You don't need to go down the stairs. You've been in here. Get out of there. Yeah, Brooks. And hey, Brooks. But yeah, they're both, they're, that's gonna be stuff we gotta remember. A1 is spooky September. Spooky. It's not even September. Alright, um, so we gotta check all of Dawn's possible locations. What's going on, Mouse? You seem to be locked into the X-axis right now. Uh, huh? Help! Help! Bagel stuck. What did I do? What did I? What did I just do? Oh God! My mouse is stuck. I can only go left and right. Oh good. I can select things from the top row, kind of. Uh, huh? What happened? What, why would this ever occur? The local newspaper. Okay. Yeah, no, this is like a big deal though. Like, how do I move the mouse? Are there keyboard shortcuts to unlock this? I didn't touch anything on the keyboard. Yeah, maybe the temporal distortion did it. That's a good point. Uh, I did tab out and tab back in. I've minimized it. And I've maximized it. Like, I can move my mouse over it. You guys can't see that. But when I click into it... Ah, uh, escape does nothing. I can't... What are the, uh... What... Mortar is best removed with a narrow scraping implement. Oh, okay. Um... Alright, I'm just gonna Google it. Gloria, mouse locked. X-axis. Mouse move it locked to X-axis. No, that's... That's for, like, every game but Phantasmagoria.
Does one of the F keys save the game? I don't know. Like, I am down with the idea of reloading the game to get my mouse back. Oh, if you sit idle, she fixes her hair. That's cool. Um... This isn't even the right game. That's Phantasmagoria of Flower. Yeah, I'm looking up Phantasmagoria controls. If someone knows the controls of Phantasmagoria, let me know. Uh... Oh, I found a PDF of it. Doesn't seem to work. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Thank you, game. Oh, you found it! Jesus! Quitting the game and restarting it and reloading the save marker position doesn't... Oh, yeah, wait, I was just reading this. But... I'm gonna try something else. I this might break stuff for you guys. Oh, that didn't work. Fuck. Um. Yeah, I want to restart, but how do I save? Uh, we've been playing it for like two hours almost, hour 45, but we just had this weird problem happen. I don't know how to save the game. Like, I need to click just a little bit lower. No, no, okay, 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 yes, only restarting will help. If I, re if I shut the game off, I haven't saved, so it's not gonna, like, remember anything we've done for two hours. Mortar is best removed. Like, I can't... I can't get out of this. The button, every other button on my keyboard does nothing. I'm pressing all the buttons. Well, that made her touch her hair, maybe. Alt, control, shift, tab. You need to save your progress. Trust me, I want to. I don't think it has autosave. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. Crap, I should have saved. I know Jaeger, we probably could. Um, fuck. How can I save state? There's no save states. There's no safe states. Ah, poop. Why is this game controlled entirely with a mouse? Yeah, all tabbing doesn't work. I can all tab out, but like I am and back in, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it came on seven CDs. That's crazy. Replugging my mouse in. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, so see, Crazy Rockman, I want to move the bookmark, but I can't. It won't let me. Ah, I default home. I'm stuck. No, I want to move the bookmark. F keys, I, pre I have just pressed every F key, it did nothing. I pressed the entire number O. Oh, man. I just, I, you think they'd make another button, like, what if you didn't have a mouse? Bagel? No, no. look up one other thing and if it doesn't work we're just gonna have to start over okay give focus to the game okay I'm gonna do that Dave but I gotta get up to do that I'm in the game I'm in the game ah crap. 
crap. No, no. Ugh. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. I unplugged it. I know I unplugged it. With DOS. Stupid game. It was weird. I felt it locking up as it was happening. Cape all situated you. Uh. Well, I guess I'm going to close it. There's no point to keep it open. Not, I mean, none of the buttons do anything. There's no other way to save the game. I don't want to, though. Is there a button combination to save in Dockbox? I don't think DOSBox has a quick save feature. How do I do that? Left Alt F5. I have pressed it. It doesn't, it's not giving me any confirmation. I don't think that's working. I'm pressing left alt and F5 right now. And now I'm gonna put the thing down and hit alt and F9. Like see, I didn't pick it back up. I've read about this saving thing before. Yeah, we're just gonna have to restart, which sucks, but... He's good! I got a picture of him, right? And I tried full screening it, that didn't help either, just... Just to let you know about that. Yeah, you think it would save state the bug, too. Try control F10. Uh... Control F10 does something weird. Oh! Well, I've killed it. I've killed the game. Oh, I've been changing screenshots too. Alright. Um. Well, I'm gonna load the game back up. Hey, Swizzlefish! Uh, oh man, playing the classics is stupid sometimes. We'll get it back. I gotta launch God Galaxy. Hey everyone, I'm Bagel. I play the classics. It broke. Should, should've bookmarked my game more. I didn't know. I was just so engrossed in the spookiness of it all. Uh, Phantasmagoria, I'm gonna hit play. Part of me's holding out hope that it'll just remember. I know it's not going to, but what if it did? Gabriel Knight, maybe! I thought about it, Strider. Continue old game, please. QQTJQFM. I did some testing, guys. We're bagel. Ooh. Fuck. All right, here we go. Speed run time. We gotta get caught up. So, you gotta help me, guys. You gotta help me, too. Matches, get. Okay, there's no reason to interact with anything else. Bagel learns how to speedrun Phantasmagoria. Click this. Um, like, I don't know if any of these scenes trigger stuff, though. Oh, God, we gotta look at this again. Left Alt F9. It doesn't do anything, UK Gamer. I just tried it. It did nothing. The Fire Poker. Oh, wait, that was back in the other room. It was right here. Okay, we got the fire poker. Yeah, like, I'm never gonna remember all the little things. I'm gonna try. Yeah, it didn't work. It's okay. We'll just remember to save more. 
Like, I don't know if I need to trigger all those little events again. Like, do we need to sleep in the bed and get spooked? You can go fast if you want to. I'm going to tell her to sleep in the bed. Oh, God. We have to watch this. Well, if you missed it, it was great. Yeah, her shirt's tucked into mom pants. It's 1995. These weren't mom pants. They were pants pants. You're just thinking they're mom's pants because your mom was around in 1995. Wearing those pants. That was just the style of 1995. Like, right now, you're wearing dad pants, and you don't even know it. Newspaper near cat fireplace. Got it, Gleaming, li Gleaming Lies. I forgot about that. We need that newspaper. That's probably vital. Ah, oh, it's so far, Durban. Why would she lay in the bed, you know? Evil death. You know, I should probably try to figure out how to save after this. Yeah, that's spooky stuff. Don! Don! Don, the bed grabbed me! Honey? You okay? Oh god, the bed! What? The bed grabbed me! <laughs> the bed grabbed you? Yes! <laughs> oh, here, calm down, calm down. Wait here, wait here, all right? Let me fix my cape. Don! Just calm down. Don, the bed grabbed me! <laughs> the crib bed, the bed grabbed it's me. okay, Hila. That's See? Don, that's Come a husband. On. He's a douchebag. He's a photographer and he Goodness. sucks. It's this old drafty house. It came out in 95, yeah. Going, yeah, it came out in 95. <laughs> Sweetheart. Hot in you. I've got to get back to work. Are you going to be okay? Yes. You sure? Yeah. I'm a cyclic, yeah. It's like I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> gonna okay. save after Calm this, because sometimes okay. the mouse locks up when you don't want it to. <laughs> Stupid game. Stupid old gaming. Learn to save, Bagel. Save. Move bookmark to present location. Yes. Okay, was there anything in this room? This sucks, guys. I'm never going to remember everything. Like, 90% of us playing this game was, um, her just fixing her hair. So, like, at least we got that going on. Back downstairs. And we're gonna get another sweeping vista of the room, I think. No, we're good. Maybe it's just when you enter from a different angle. Yeah, I go see the kitty. There's the newspaper. Hey, Tin up. Yeah, she went to bed with the fire poker, of course. Do I need to see the kitty? Okay, I'll pretend to interact with the kitty. I'll pretend to interact with the fire. Okay, upstairs. Upstairs, quick, speedrun. Uh, if you just joined us, I'm speedrunning this because the game froze. And apparently you need to save when you play games. Yeah, the garage apartment, yeah. Right, Don so Dawn is perpetually trying to fix the sink in here. We've wasted a lot of time trying to help him fix that sink. We never went in there. There's a key, there's a key, there's a door. A keyhole in it. But we can't get, there's like a key stuck in that keyhole. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, the temporal distortion. There's a temporal distortion up here. Okay, I've interacted with it. I want to interact with that. Get out of that baby room. Why, we, we bought the place, like I think for cheap. The Don could turn the upstairs. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have her take a poop and use that. We can make a rifle through every bit of makeup again, but like real quick this time. No, let's not do that. Um. Okay, so we're already almost caught up. I think we're like halfway there. What am I still missing? The tarot cards. The key is in the town. Oh, the $5 bill. $5 bill. We got the $5 bill now. Wait, was the $5 bill always over here in the inventory? Oh, you can rearrange the inventory! Jesus. My laptop should be open. That's what she says. Sorry, we're speedrunning this. Yeah, where were the tarot cards again? 
Does anyone remember where the tarot cards was? Okay, we're in this room. They could have been in this room. The easel. Yeah, the speed run, guys. Yeah, we can't get the Onyx statue yet because we don't have the key. But where are the tarot cards? They're probably in some, like, random drawer. They were upstairs here, weren't they? I feel like they were upstairs, because I, th I remember thinking they were Dawn's photos. I guess we went in those two rooms. Yeah, it's such a big building, it does feel lonely. I agree. Oh, that's the bathroom, fuck. Help! Who remembers where the tarot cards are? Yeah, Romito, I don't remember either, man. The, the flooring, right? <laughs> it is atrocious. It's not like, it's not like, it's not like, it's not like this lovely little vista. I wanted to show that off again. Only, only like 20 people are here to see that. I wanted everyone to see it. Um, no, nah, it wasn't in here. The terror, and where's Dawn? Oh, there's Dawn. Okay. Um, Bagel remembers his control bindings. The tarot cards in here? We can turn the music on. We can electrocute ourselves. Look in the mirror. We love looking in the mirror. I had them after the newspaper. Ah, shit, don't go upstairs. Well, I mean, the tarot cards have not been important yet. But I still want to have them. I am the official hint keeper. Okay. I want someone in town. Okay, so he's just telling us to get the key. We know where the key is. Are they at the machine in the big room? This? The, you'd be, oh, you'd be the tarot card machine. They're actually not. All right, I'm going to um leave the house, I think. If I can... Nope, that's the locked door. I'm the hint keeper. That's a big locked door. Oh, let's go check out that absinthe again for some reason. Okay. All right, we're good. We can interact with everything. I'm gonna leave the house. They're in one of the bedrooms. And we'll get on the way back. As long as it wasn't outside. I don't think anything was outside. Gets in the car, we're driving to Nipple Womb set. Old nipple womb set. Bagel's hometown, nipple womb set. General store's closed. We're gonna go to the realty. Man, we're flying right now. We're like, we're practically caught up. Creepy dude. Talk to him. He's an idiot. Open the drawer. Got the key. We got the key now. And now also for some reason interact over here. And look at the magazine and drink the water. That's all important stuff. Now we can leave. God, we are flying right now. There's, the, there's another dog. It's fine. Before we leave, check out Wormwood's house. Puppy's gonna come. There's a puppy. We can open this. And we read the letter. No, it did nothing. Now we're gonna go back home. Why does he give you a key? He's the realtor who, who we bought the house from. And we were like, do you have any extra keys? Because there's a locked door. He's like, I don't have any extra keys. You look. And like, she's like, what about this giant friggin' key? And he's like, oh, okay. See? A large skeleton key. What about the large skeleton key, bud? He's like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Bagel save. Bookmark to present location. That's a good way of saving. Moving a bookmark. <laughs> Why don't more games use the bookmark system? We're almost done with our speedrun, guys. Um, where you going, Bagel? Yeah, it's, it just has, like, the picture of a skeleton on it, I think. It's not, like, a real skeleton. Um, if I put this key in here, we're back in this room. And I know a lot about this game right now. That, check out those books. Dude's got weird books. Over here, grab the black uh, Onyx figurine. Open the drawer up. Read that letter. We're flying right now. It's just a skeleton key! Uh, fireplace. Touch it. Pull. 
Look in the hole. Caught up. I just need the tarot cards. Well, that took, like, maybe five or ten minutes. That was pretty good. Granted, we're still missing the tarot cards. Basically, I'm right back to the point where I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. Let's talk to Dawn. Don't know what's going on. Let's talk to Dawn. See, I made a song about it. Um, go upstairs. Lincoln guy. I've been planning on playing Harvester for years. That's it. That's it. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. We got the tarot cards! A deck of tarot. Hey, do you want to hear something staticky and bad? A black onyx. Oh, it sounded better that time. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go talk to Dawn. We're, we're actually we're caught up. I'm gonna move the bookmark. Okay, so guys, remind me to move the bookmark. Yeah, we're gonna play Harvester because like you're literally Lincoln guy. You were like the tenth person that asked me if I'm gonna play it, right. and that's like a good thing. I'm Dracula. Elizabeth. Hi, Annie. Dracula. Oh. I'm sorry. Seen that cutscene. Um. So she's not gonna talk to him, I guess, about the uh, the shit. Rip. Oh, probably two, three more days. Sorry, I'm skipping all this. We we have already seen it though, and I gotta we gotta beat this game in one sitting for some reason. Um, I have a black onyx figurine. I feel like, I feel like where I want to use the figurine is up in that creepy room. Michigan, a report from hell. Oh man, I'm almost done with spider house rules. I'm gonna, I'm, for real, this is my plan. Um, Wolf Girl is doing the uh, graphics for it, which is awesome. Before. Thank you again, Wolf Girl, always. Um, but I'm going to um, actually get it published in like paperback form. The book I'm writing, I'm sorry, if you're new, I'm writing a book called Spider House Rules. Um, it's about spider mummies, and, um, I'm gonna get it pu I'm addicted to the skip thing. I need to stop skip. Yeah, 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 this is- I feel like this could be used in that. What is this thing? I don't know what it is, but I feel like this black onyx figurine interacts with it somehow. Does not. Does not. What the heck? What? Is good news. Can I read the newspaper? No, I can spin it fast though. Okay. That's friggin' Abraham Lincoln. Alright. Yeah, they're gonna inherit everything I own, my two pups. I just, this room screams this figure, you know? It's all the same aesthetic. Oh, that's just that stupid apron. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. You bet something's on the back of an object? Damn it, Swizzle. I know you're right, too, dude. I know you're right. Not like that. If a lob set, bar and grill. No, you're right. There's going to be like a key code on the back of an object. You're absolutely right, Swizzle. Let's keep that in mind, everyone, what Swizzle just said about that. Yeah, you know what? Oh, I was ready, too, for something to be written on the back of it. For some reason, it only spins at, like, the speed of light. I can't tell it to spin, like, less than that. I thought something was going to be written on the back of it, too. Mortar is best removed with a narrow scraping implement. So that's his tip. I don't really know what he's talking about when he says that. But I feel like it has to do with the, the black onyx figurine. Like, maybe in here? Dawn? He's not- you just talked to Dawn! Chill out about Dawn. Oh, yeah, wait, Swizzle, you got a good point. Brick and mortar. Brick and mortar. Narrow script. it- Didn't I try to use the fireplace poker? Didn't I- didn't I, like, literally try that, though? Let's go back. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go use the fireplace poker on the, um, 
And I'm gonna try not to skip anymore. Now that we're caught up, I want to be immersed in the game again. Oh, gleaming lies. What the hell? Interact. <laughs> Do something. He's telling you to kill Dawn. Oh wait, that's a locked door. For some reason, we can't go in that door. I don't understand the shape of this room. There it is. Use the fire- I've tried. I've tried to use the fireplace poker on Dawn. What I wanted to do was take the newspaper, put it in here, and light it on fire with a match, but that didn't work. F that, man! I swear I tried that! I swear I tried that! That's ridiculous. That is simply ridiculous. It's actually incredibly it's hot in working. here with this cape. Wait, what did she say? I unplugged it. Is her back okay? That didn't work, Swizzle! Why can't I just ask Dawn? Like, couldn't Dawn help with this situation? That work. It won't happen again. A book of matches. Yeah, she's got to get her own outfit. She could be Lady Frankenstein. Okay. Mortar is best removed with a narrow scraping implement. So, that's the key. That's the mortar. Oh, what if I just click the wall now? If that works, I'm gonna be so confused. We light Dawn on fire. Like, I just removed the mortar. And she does try to get in there, doesn't she? I just, I feel like the, the fire plus paker, fire plus paker. Yeah, you know what I mean, the fire plus paker. Uh, is not a narrow scraping instrument. You know? <sighs> Fix my hair. Damn it. Now try using the tool again. What do you say? You're trolling me. Look, it doesn't work. You guys are you guys are just we're gonna tell in jokes. Move the bookmark to the present location. Look, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I like this. I like this. It's like it's like Twitch plays Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Fun. Is it with the key? Like, do you wanna look at the key? Thing is large skeleton key. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop listening to you and do what I want to do. I want to go to the kitchen and find, like, a friggin' fork or something. I'm somewhat regretting saying I was gonna do this in one sitting. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Look at the- look at the- look at the food in there, too. Look at the food in there. Ugh, eat a little bite of this guy. Yep. Mm. The cartoon food. See, the thing is, there's, there's this dark cavern in here. If you guys just joined us. This has been confusing me the whole time. Because, look, you can move this, right? Like, there's a secret. This rug. I actually own that. I'm on that rug right now. I, 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 that's, I have that rug. This is the thing. And then it won't open. But you can use the fireplace poker to pry it open. And when she opens it, she won't go down because it's too dark in there. Even though she has matches! And newspaper! Like, we could, we could light it up. Check under my rug. I'm above a garage. What could I find? The garage? <laughs> I live in the second floor of a garage. Crazy Rockman. This is actually super impressive for 95. I'm liking it. I love the overlay too, right? Uh, 
This is made by Sierra, the people who make King's Quest. No. Oh, no. Like, look, we'll try to go down. This is where I thought the game was taking us the whole time. I can't see a thing down there. She's like, eh, it's too dark to go down that weird secret passage I just opened. Eh. Best leave it alone. Yep, shut the light off. We've dogged. No, 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 we've tried to light the gas leak on fire. It didn't work. He says mortar is best removed. With like a what? Mortar is best removed with a narrow scraping implement. What is a narrow scraping instrument? I still feel like Dawn is the key. Like Dawn's got a bunch of tools he's been working on that sink with. That's game spooky, man. Where the heck am I? Where the stairs? Dawn, where are you? Dawn, the bed grabbed me. <laughs> this room is my favorite room. <laughs> like, look at it. Look how absurd this room is. And we explored all options in this room. Go lay in the bed again. Yeah, I think this room's done. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna look at the Michigan report from hell. What, did she just take like a hot nap on that thing? Like, what was that about? What are you doing, Adrian? We don't have time for toe touches. The lowest resolution toe touches you've ever seen. Unless she's gonna check out that rug. Okay, well, can't get over how awesome that guy's painting is. I wish this was my bedroom. What was she doing there? Oh god, Ada. It's a PS2 game. Can I get it on um PS3? I'm willing to play some uh, PSN classics. I kind of wanted to play Fatal Frame. I've never played them. Ah. Okay. What's that? Ah, she's just pooping again. All right, good. We're not watching the poop thing happen again. I gotta find Dawn. He might be upstairs. You can emulate it. Ah, emulate. I don't like emulating anymore. Hey, hon. Taking a break? Yeah. I kind of wrenched my back putting up that shelf, so I thought I'd rest for just a little while. Okay. Enjoy your book. He's taking a break, guys. He's been working on that sink all morning, okay? Still. Give Dawn five dollars. I'm gonna go back to town. I think maybe the general store is gonna be open now. Because that's how the game worked last time and it pissed me off. But I think going to town is the key. I don't have a backwards compatible PS3, but it's not on PSN. That's too bad if it's not. You were probably playing this game listening to Hootie and the Blowfish, Evil Death. Big Darius Rucker fan. October, we're gonna do something crazy different, I don't know. <laughs> what was that, Sudrock? Dude, Tane. That reference has nothing to do with anything, but it's funny. E.T. October, all month, just E.T. All right, I'm addicted to this skip around button now. Um, I'm gonna go into the town and we're gonna see if maybe the general store's open. Be open, be open, be open, be open. I think that says open. It's locked. That sign looks like it says open. Touch the puppy. The puppy is the key. Hey, fella. 
What a good boy. Maybe I could use the black onyx figurine on the dog. Or maybe I could talk to the realtor about what was behind that door. <gasps> yeah, baby, I figured it out. It's the antique store. No! I was, I, oh, I thought for sure they'd help me in there. I thought I could show him the Black Onyx figurine. Even he's closed. The stores are more closed than they had been. Just break in. Who cares? Dang it. Nip the bomb set. And you got Puppy Town over here. Which you think, you think you could distract him with the newspaper. But you can't. The key going in him. Oh. It said, like, mortar is destroyed with a narrow scraping implement. The only place we haven't really checked since is the, um, outdoors around the... I feel, like, so lame every time I adjust my cloak. You know? I feel like I'm really vain about my cloak right now. Um. Yeah, the stores are getting more closed as we approach, like, lunchtime. I guess that kind of makes sense. There's a barn?! God, Jesus Christ, when was there a barn? How did we miss this structure? Okay. I feel like we can solve this. With the poker. Always with the poker. Damn it. How long have you guys been living here? You haven't been able to enter the barn yet? There's a barn right here! An old stone barn! With its friggin' gable windows. I don't know what you call those. They're in New England. Get in the stupid barn, lady. This is ridiculous that you can't slide that through the crack and, and push it upward. I'm getting mad. Even, I didn't even know there was a barn. Cross the old creepy bridge. Go anywhere. Go to the gazebo. Do anything. Where was that creepy face thing? We haven't been there in a while. Yeah, we got the lake. That's a good point. The little, little That's not a lake. Now I'm getting at, mad at the game. It's the game's being a, a, a dingus to me. Go to, go to this screen, this weird screen over here that I can't figure out the reason for. What do you know? <laughs> Figurine. I can't believe she won't interact with that giant face. Go away. I, yeah, right? I mean, this place is ridiculously exotic. How do I get to the gazebo from here? There it is. You think there'd be something to do in this gazebo? You know what? I haven't had any milk today. Maybe that's why I'm so testy. I didn't get my daily milk yet. Like everything. All right, a narrow scraping instrument. Think guys, we are missing one item in our item slot. No, we didn't do, we didn't look in the mirror yet. Just in case that triggers something, okay. Huh. Look at her. Ah, oh, there she is. I think we're caught up. Looked a lot of objects. Does the cat know? I'll get myself a glass at some point. How about the fireplace? That's a fireplace. How about him? Go buy a gun. The general store is closed.
Although we've made no progress, I feel the need to move my bookmark to the current location. Guys, I'm running out of ideas. Why this doesn't work, I have no idea. And why I can't put newspaper in there and light it on fire, I have no idea. Maybe because I don't need to. I need to examine my objects, are you sure? I mean, hell, I didn't even know I could do that until I accidentally did it. That's a weird fireplace poker. Do I really need to examine him? This is nipple wob set. Ah, Jesus Christ. It spins so fast. Bar and grill. That's fine. The hint guy doesn't help. A book of matches. Hey, Gemini! Gemini, I'm figuring this game out right now. The $5 bill tells me nothing. It's just like a legit $5 bill from 1995. 1995 dollar bill. Does the cat have a little button in the back? It's hard to get his dog. I'm sorry, are you telling me that this Onyx figurine has a butt? Oh my god! It's a letter opener. It's a letter opener! How the- I thought you were making a joke, Serenia. Thank you, Serenia. Oh my god, this is a freaking cutscene right now. How the hell would you know to do that? That's so stupid. Ugh! Can't handle this. <laughs> and this is- how do you get to the back of a fireplace? Well, you take a letter opener, you see? You take a letter and you just start carving the bricks out with the letter opener. This is- this is classic opening up of bricks. Yeah, Crimson. How do you- how do you get behind bricks? You take out your letter opener. Get it going. Come on. You broke it! You broke it! Yo, oh, I'm ready for a 30 minute cutscene. And there should have been like infinite amount of tools to do the same thing in the kitchen. Tell me they don't have any knife in the kitchen. But I mean, there wasn't one I could pick up. <sighs> Dawn's gonna come in and be like, yo, what are you doing? I can't believe it was a letter open. Going back, I'm driving to the town and petting dogs. <laughs> she, she, she spent like two hours doing that. <laughs> That cutscene it was, you know, like a fast forward of a few hours while she carved out all the bricks. Oh my god. Ah, this is pretty sweet. I like the aesthetic here. Good stuff. Yeah, she removed like way more bricks than she had to. What is this? What is that rainbow? Look, she has the blue screen glow that I have. <laughs> like, like... Sierra Online's 1995 green screen technology is no better than Bagel's garage green screen technology. I'm feeling very proud of myself right now. She's really just soaking it in right now. I wonder if there's not like a sink she could use to wash her hands or maybe like a mirror she could use. Really enjoy the environment we're in. Being able to take one of these candelabras would be pretty nice. That's that book of magic! Real magic, not illusions. Not illusory magic, that's a real magic book from Paris. Oh yeah, put it up on that lectern, yeah. Let's really read this thing. Who was this? Family tree? Oh, wow. This must be Carno's family tree. Vampire. Miniature vampire. Oh my god. 
Be careful. Somehow we're going to use that piece of metal to, like, fix the drain. Why don't you see what was inside the box before you lock it? Oh. Box first. It's right behind you! Look what you did. That's Dawn Scream! Wait, we didn't get to read the book! Don't end chapter one! Oh, Dawn. Dawn, you got possessed by that green thing, didn't you? He hit himself again. What happened? Are you sure? Let me look at that. You've got quite a goose egg. What were you doing, wrestling with that lamp? Hey, hey. Oh, it's very funny. I don't, I don't know what happened. And suddenly the damn lamp crashed out on top of my head. I, uh, I just finished tightening the screws. Oh. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna go upstairs. Get a little weepy, guys. Get cleaned up, put on some new clothes. No. I'm done for the day. I'm done trying to fix the sink for the day. How about some dinner? What would you like? I'm not really very hungry. Maybe some tuna or a salad or something. Then let's call it a night. That sounds good. I'm kind of tired. See you downstairs in about 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. This isn't like Dawn at all. Chapter's finished. How about some dinner? I'm not hungry. I'll just have a salad or tuna or something. Chapter 2, Monday, October 17th, 10 a.m. That's today! Frame rate, yes! It's so smooth. You gotta get changed, take a shower, eat some tuna, just have a good night. What'd they eat? Did they eat the salad? Did they eat the tuna? What'd they eat? Yeah, zoom in on the zoom in on the window. Pull into the window. Yeah, baby, that's what I want. She's on a laptop! In here, in the bedroom. Which one? We got eight bedrooms! <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm, you know, I'm starting my new book. So what? Did you go buy the drain cleaner like I asked you to? What? Drain cleaner? Don't be coy with me. I asked you several times to go buy me drain cleaner. Now, did you do it? I know you said the sink was clogged in your dark room, but you never asked me to go get you any drain cleaner. I would have remembered something like that. You know, this is just like you. I bust my ass for you all the time. And you don't do anything but sit on your butt like you're doing right now. Uh-oh. What? What is wrong with you? I don't understand. What does he do? Fine. The next time you want something, don't come crawling to me. Did he just like take pictures? Fine. I'll go to the store and get your goddamn drain cleaner. <laughs> this is like The Shining. Wait a minute. They already made this story. <laughs> Look how angry she is. Well, at least now I have a sense of direction. Go get the drain out! Yep, things are getting spooky now. It is an Oscar-worthy performance. They should make a movie out of this. Unhappy marriage simulator. Yeah.
that music? I thought I was going to the store. Now I got another mystery. This sound like Final Fantasy fanfare. Just go toward the sound. I can't tell. Dawn's playing RuneScape. is happening. Am I supposed to stay here and figure the music thing out? What's well, louder in here? No. Am I supposed to get to Drano, or am I supposed to figure out why it's playing this old medieval fanfare? Is it coming from this room? Where is it coming from? Yeah, it's the quality of the music does make it spookier. You're right, Gemini. Hey, Gemini. Wasn't there a gramophone somewhere? Not in here. I was about to level up. Oh, what are you doing in there? John, you in there? Yeah. What are you doing in there? Nothing. I go away. Wait! I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? Nothing more than usual, Adrian. Now be a good little girl and go away! What? But Don, the music! There it is. Oh, it's so loud in this room. I think she's got to soak it up first. Don's gonna come in here and get all pissed off. You stop the music! Hmm. That's strange. Oh, okay. What? The hell? Yeah, get electrocuted again. Ow. I kind of like the music. I kind of miss the music. I did. I just checked the chair. I just checked that chair there. Yeah, they have an electric tor torture chair that's, like, working. All right, let's go get the Draena. It, I mean, the game is so quiet without that music. Ow. Gotta go to our car. Drive to Nipplewom set. Get out of here. That was a good song. I liked it. I miss the song now. Be open. Be open. You have to be open. That looks like it says open. Thank you. Local good folk! Morning. Good morning. Are we going? Are we doing it? Oh, here we go. Now we're doing it. I like the general store theme. Let's talk to him. Or not, I don't know. Whatever you want to do, game, up to you. There we Sarah? go, I had to load. 
Do you have anything that would clear a badly clogged drain? You know, a drain cleaner? A uh, drain cleaner, huh? Well, let's see, let me think. Yeah, all right, a bit. Ah, uh, here we are. This will do the job. Yeah, buy a flashlight, you're called for us, money. You gotta be careful with that, though. That's sulfuric acid. I mean, it'll burn through practically anything. I know, don't worry. All right, then that'll be, uh, 475, please. Solve it a puzzle! Here's five. All right, Keep the change. Five. No, wait, get the quarter. I might need the quarter. And 25 cents of change. Thank you. Why are you being weird? Oh, nuts! You know, this is a small town. We don't get many visitors. Are you new here? Yeah, my husband and I just bought the old Carnivash estate. We're doing a little renovating. Oh, no. My God, did you estate. say the Carnivash estate? So you're the ones who moved there. Now, wait, why does everybody look so shocked when I tell them I bought that place? What's wrong with it? Don't you know? It's haunted. What? That place is haunted. Haunted? Shh, not so loud. They say it's haunted by the ghost of that uh, magician. Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Zardov. Yeah, that's it. They say he died a violent death there one night, along with his wife. That was almost a hundred years ago. Oh wow! To this day, strange things still uh, still happen there. Like what? Well, like, well, I, I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, uh, you know, I don't keep up with those things, but if you're curious to know a little more, why, uh, there's this old geezer, his name is Malcolm, he lives out of town a ways. He actually used to live with Carno as a boy. What? As a boy? That can't How be right. this guy? I haven't seen him for quite a while, but I'll tell you. He is old. He's gonna be over a hundred. Well, he would have to be! He used to live with Karno. That's what they say. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, thanks, uh... Har. Is that that Wormwood character? You've been very informative. I'll look into this Malcolm guy. You have been very informative. Well, good luck. I will... I want that guy's face as an emote. <laughs> okay. Over here. Now, since we've spent all our money, we can't buy anything. A bottle of sulfuric acid. When you call it sulfuric acid, it sounds a lot more intense. This is his drain cleaner they sell at, like, the fucking store? Look at it. I can't read that. Hey, there's a button on the bottom of that. I got a lot of information, guys. That was great. It's good stuff there. He's a sea turtle. Well, I've got to do my nipple womp set loop. See if anything else is open. Remember the time I tried to go to the antique store? Oh, shit. It's open. <laughs> Century cameos. Unfortunately, I don't have any at this time, but I do have some very fine old jewelry if you'd care to. Who's that? Oh, uh huh. I understand. I see. I see. Well, I will be on the lookout for any cameos of that description, and you said you'd pay well. Right. Okay. To call you back if I find what, what is she talking about? You're welcome. Do I have something that I could offer to her in exchange for a trade? Hi. Hello. See anything you like? Oh, I'm just looking. Thanks. Yeah, I need more weird shit for my crazy house. I'm here if you have any questions. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, right? Like, 
I must ha I, I don't know what they were talking about, but I must have something that she needs. Tarot cards. You want tarot cards? You want the local newspaper? What's over here? Check it out. I feel like I have like the stealing icon in Skyrim. Uh, excuse me. Yes? You know that beautiful crucifix in the display case over there? Yes. I was wondering how much you're asking for it. It is a lovely piece, isn't it? Yes. This particular crucifix is not terribly old, only from the early 19th century, but it is a rare piece made out of titanium, a metal which had only just been discovered. Oh. I didn't know they made jewelry out of titanium. I hear it too. I hear it too, Pav. general rule, that's what makes this such a rare piece. It is interesting. Well, that piece is as old as that guy we gotta so, see. How much? Oh, not much considering its rarity. Only 2,200. That much? Oh, I don't have any money. It's more than Darn I can it. afford right now. Darn it, I spent my last 25 cents. Well, in that case, call me if you need any further assistance. What about a trade? Like, I got tarot cards. I feel like this is where I use the tarot cards. Who's um? Okay, what else can I do? Is that the same thing? We just gonna look at the brooch again? Yeah, we're gonna look at the brooch again. Alright, uh, what else is in here? Nothing. It's like, it's like you're playing like a hunting game. We're, we're gonna click. I can click her. Uh, ma'am? Yes. Yeah, we spent a lot of money on old I shitty mansions. I just moved here from Boston. Um, I was wondering I'm from if Boston. you could maybe tell me... Did you say your name was Adrian Delaney? You're not a writer, are you? <gasps> yes, I am. She read her book about the blue moon. Oh, I just loved your mystery novel, Blue Moon Rising. I couldn't put it down for a week. Can I have your autograph? Yeah, give her the yeah, brooch. Sure. Give her that titanium brooch. Oh, I know, I shouldn't have spent my $5. You. What's your next book about? Give oh, me something. I have to wait for that to come out. Oh, fiddle, I was afraid you'd say that. Well, what can I do for you, Adrian? Give me the brooch. Well, I was hoping maybe you could tell me something about the area. Listen, I know everything that goes on around here. Like, I know you're the one who bought the old Carnivash estate. If you ever have any questions, I'm the one to ask. Great, I'll do just that. Why don't we ask now? Lou Ann. Only uh, most folks call me Lou. Okay. Lou. Thanks, Lou. Anytime. Okay, I'm just gonna turn my back to you and go back to this thing over here. Ooh, I got questions. I have a question. Do you know anything about a very old man named Malcolm? Malcolm Wormshadow? Malcolm <laughs> Wormshadow? A strange old man. But I haven't seen him for months. Though Ethel does come into town to buy groceries. Ethel? Who's Ethel? Who's Ethel? Well, she's Malcolm's nurse. And also companion and housekeeper and whatever else. Fruit. Uh... He's very old, you know. Almost 110? 110? Is that That's possible? the least likely thing that's ever happened. I told you, he's strange. It's almost like he's immortal or something. Most people in town avoid him. <laughs> they call him a witch. But I don't believe all their talk. Well, I'd like to speak to Malcolm. I understand he used to live in my house as a child. With Carno? That's true, he did, but I doubt if you can talk to him. He's like a hermit, very private. I'd like to try. I have a lot to ask him. No wonder you're a good writer. You have a lot of natural inquisitiveness. She's very inquisitive. To find him, That's true, she's inquisitive. About a mile out of town, down the dirt track, on the other side of the bridge. It's not hard to get to Wormwood's house. I've been there. He's got a dog. The, the situation is getting past Wormwood's dog. I feel like Dawn's gonna be upset because we're taking a very long time to get the drain cleaner. I have a question. Can I help you? I hate to bother you again, but I'm very curious about the old Carnivash estate. What can you tell me about the place? That is an interesting place. How do you like living there? 
Um, I'm not sure yet. She keeps, she keeps like, going use. back to work and I'm like, I need to ask you something. Okay! Well, why do you say that? You know, people act very strange when I tell them I bought the Carnivash estate. It's no wonder. It's rumored to be haunted. It's haunted. Do you believe in ghosts? Of course not. Of course I don't. Why? I don't believe in ghosts. Ghost of Carno supposedly haunts the place. It's not even supposed to be safe to live there. Well, has anybody ever been hurt? Or, God forbid, killed there? I don't remember any deaths, but plenty Pay attention, of evil death. Over the years, the people who owned the place used to bring workmen in to fix things up, but invariably some bizarre accident would occur. One man had his arm chopped off, another man tumbled down a flight of stairs and broke his neck. He was paralyzed for life. God, that's terrible. Oh. Well, maybe these men were just careless. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe they were idiots. That could be. Yeah, they might have been idiots. Even so, you be careful, all right? Yeah, I, I will. Thanks. All right. Sure. Gotta go back to my medial task over here. Wait, I have a question. Okay. Yes? I just have a simple question. Okay. Ask away. Well, I'm very curious. Has anybody at all lived in the Carnivash estate since Carno's death? Heron, I will get you up to speed okay, after this. I'm sure. The Templeton family bought the Templetons. place about 10 years after Carno's death. That would have been around, oh, 1910. There was talk of turning it into a museum. Electricity was added, but because of a rash of injuries and bizarre events, it never came about. But maybe those people are just stupid. Does anybody at all live in the house before us? I really don't think so. The Templetons never seemed to show any interest about the place. Uh, I think they were bothered by the reputation the estate had. Anyway, it just seemed to sit there and be handed down from father to son to grandson. And then they eventually sold it to a realtor, and you bought it. The end. Thanks. No problem. Okay, so here's the plot up to this point. Me. My husband and I, I'm Adrian, my husband is, is, is Dawn. Moved into this place. I had uh, first seed is uh, she has a nightmare, uh, and then he goes to work on a sink. Then he hits his head. He gets really beat up working on that sink, and somehow Adrian stumbles across like a demon box that she opened up, and then the demon came out and possessed Dawn, and now Dawn is pissed off at me and wants me to get drain cleaner so he can fix the sink. You are now caught up to speed on Phantasmagoria. Is that Edith? The Ethel? Little Ethel? There was there was little bits in between, but that's not important. Now the deal is, this is Malcolm Wormwood's house, but he's got a crappy little dog that won't let me get in. I know what we're thinking. Just a little. We'll still have enough left over for the sink. Just a little. No, it won't work. So, Malcolm Wormwood is not a right now time. Okay, we're gonna have to come back and figure out Malcolm Wormwood. Let's give Dawn the friggin' acid and see what happens. Give Dog tarot cards. Sorry, Dog, I'm banishing you to the shadow zone. inside oh there's an old carriage that must be like a hundred years old is, is there not like a corpse behind there what is that save the game oh shit i forgot to save the game i'm gonna save the game somebody in here hello hello i'm i'm, I'm here i can easily be attacked hello 
Very vulnerable. Anyone? No one's creeping around in here, is they? I see him. I see him. Oh God, I see him. I do want to move the bookmark to the present location. Fireplace poker. Fireplace poker. What we got here? Hello, I see you. Yeah, that's me. This is literally like my house. Fireplace poker. Come on, just get it. Don't be a dingus. That, use that to get that. It's like a pixel perfect click. And, uh, I'm sorry, do we have like a, a levy? What am I doing here? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, burn it. Burn it to the ground. That's it, I'm lighting the hay on fire. That's it, all right. Time to flush it out. Seriously, I don't know what I'm trying to do right now. Careful, Adrian! Hello. This is so tense. Oh, God damn it. That was it? It's all you're giving me is that hello? Hello. Oh, hello? God, Spaz. Oh, it seems Spaz. What a nice kitty. Oh, what a Don't good little that. kitty. A demon's gonna come out like any second now. Spaz. I can't handle this. The Spaz opened the barn. How many times are we gonna have to click in this barn before something friggin' happens? What is that? What, what am I clicking on here? Like, what am I looking at? What? Like, she. It's a ladder. Okay, it's a ladder. I can't reach the ladder. Then I see a thing on a hook. What? Like, can I hook the ladder? Can I move the hook to grab the ladder? Why can't I use the hook? What about these boxes? Would they not be stacked in such a way I could reach things? What about that rope right there? That rope help? This is like the third time we've had to click into this area. If Spaz is the final boss, I would be quite shocked. She really needs to investigate that one stable area. This is even Spaz's final form. Yeah, that's like the opposite of how ladders should work. Like, look, look, what is that? It's a hook. Like, why can't I use it? Okay, well, it, it appears as if we're done here for now. Unless this interacts with anything. Like, why can't I use a fireplace poker to get? Yeah, like, I need a ladder to get. This is exactly like that level in Tomb Raider 2 where I needed a boat to get to the boat. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is like the 12th fireplace we've found in this. It, it appears that the hobo has been living here. I've I've lived in Maine long enough to know about hobo holes. That's a hobo hole. Jesus Christ, Tom. Don, don't scare me like that. Okay. I'm just trying to keep you on your toes, Adrian. You never know who will be sneaking around this place. Sneaking around like you? Oh, yeah, or you, Adrian. Was this a hobo hole? You been cooking beans out here, Adrian? Can't you see? We're not alone on this island. Probably just some vagrants. I doubt they're even here anymore. We're on an island? They better not be. Because if I catch their asses around here... Don, don't. Don, don't kill hobos. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on, Don. Stop. Gone. You know, 
we always have our trusty watch cat Spaz. Spaz yeah, will keep the hobos out. <sighs> and Dawn, that was my good can. <laughs> I, I hate this hobo mess. Mm, our stomp is kicking a little bit. Oh, it's, I got work to do. I gotta fix the drain. And I don't want you hanging around out here. The drains I could unclog themselves. Get out of this hobo hole. Why can't you creep it around the hobo hole again? I got drains to clean. I don't have time for this. Oh, son of a bitch! Bagel, get the hell out. Oh, come on, dude. It's locking up. It's happening again. Come on. Come on, mouse. Why is this a thing the game does? Oh. oh, wait a minute, I fought it off. I fought it off! I fought off the lockup. Every once in a while, the, 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 the mouse gets like caught on the X axis. It's really weird, I can't describe it. But then I can kind of like fight it out of there. I guess we, I guess we did it, we saved. All right, well. That's weird. We had to do the whole beginning of the game twice because of that. Well, Don stormed off in a in a rage before we were allowed to give him our um our acid. You mean they didn't program Phantasmagoria to work with my Death Adder? Why? You gotta be a little more. Pro this is why Sierra Online isn't making games like they used to. A little spooky in here. Whoa. All right, I'm assuming Dawn is in the photo lab. Is there dust on the mouse bottom? I doubt, Trippy Tube, I doubt that's why it's not working. <laughs> Did you try unplugging it and plugging it back in? I know, why doesn't this game have Wii U Pro Controller support? Dawn, oh, it's locked again. Dawn, what are you doing in the photo game lab? What do you want? I have Busy. the acid. I have the acid you asked for. Oh, don't look at me like that. Come on, Don. Here's the drain cleaner you requested. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, good. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. We need to have a little bit of exposition here. Something Honey, needs to progress the story. Right? Use your headstone. Don't touch Adrian, him. Leave me alone. I'm fine. Well, how about nice ball dinner? walk. You could come downstairs and help me. I'm not hungry. I just want my pasta, tuna. Maybe some salad, a little vino. Yeah, it sounds great. Call me when it's ready. Yeah, whatever. I'll eat a salad or something. God. Hey, Moogie, it's day one. Another chapter. Boo, boo. We're flying through the chapters now. We're gonna do this in one day. Oh God, the mouse is locked up again. Jeez. This chapter is finished. Chapter 3! Thursday, October 20th. It's been like three days. Look at this cutscene right now. What did they eat? The game keeps leaving us on these food cliffhangers. Ah, the gazebo. This is, a, I, I would say this is a fully realized world. You know what I mean? Oh, we're having an outdoor picnic! This doesn't seem like the kind of thing Possessed Dawn would be into. Such a nice day for a picnic, don't you think, honey? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, whatever. It's so good to get you out of that dark room. Oh, he's fast. fast. Well, I've got work to do, Adrian. We're not finished yet. The drain's not gonna clean themselves, Adrian. Dawn, it can wait. You need to take some time out <laughs> to relax. You're so stressed out. <laughs> I've got publishing deadlines. Can you understand that? You see, I don't get the same ass-kissing royal treatment your publisher gives you. Dawn? No, don't throw cigarettes at me on our picnic. I certainly do understand dead I mean, what's wrong? Nothing. It's a headache, that's all. But... I'm gonna go lie down. 
Maybe you were thought right. you are lying down. Maybe I need some rest. It's a good outfit, though, for both of them. Don's really rocking that 1995 possessed photographer look. Who's that? It's the hobo. Spaz, is that you? Is that you behind that tree? Malcolm Wormwood, is that you? Just put, let me just really make sure everything's put away before I investigate what's behind that tree. Which tree is it? All the trees look alike. Oh, God damn it! Where the hell is that guy? Do I go back in the barn? Hold on. Now, this isn't going to make any sense, guys, but I need to shut the game off. I have to. The, I, the mouse is being weird, so sometimes we got to shut the game off. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, Dale, you should really stop closing GOG Galaxy so you can boot back into this guy faster. For some reason, the game has a glitch where the mouse doesn't like you. And the only way to fix it is to restart the game. Okay, we're back. Should be seeing something in moments. A new old game. It's the first time we've loaded, so I was pretty nervous. All right, away we go. So we're looking for that hobo guy, I guess. I'm thinking about going in the barn. God, I don't know where the barn is. Over here. Yeah, baby! Oh, please don't run. I, I, I won't hurt you. Who are you? I'm Cyrus. Uh, me and Ma are living here. In the barn. In the barn? At the barn! Uh, Ma's in trouble. You gotta come. What? Come on! I would not go in the barn. I would get Don. Possessed or not, I would go get Don. I'd get Don. Don't go in- Don't go in the barn with him! Oh, come on! You gotta help Ma! Help! Help me! Oh, God. Ma! What a weird I, I twist! got that lady. Well, get her up here, then! I'm stuck! Help! Somebody help me! Hurry. Acting! Help me! What? Cyrus, what happened? She fell. Way, way, way through the floor. Help! I'm I didn't stuck. think it was a good idea. I, I didn't want to do it. Do what? I lived up there with that thing. The police? Yeah. Why would you want to do that? Yeah, this is like a Mice and Men ad. A good call. Good, good reference. Oh, she wanted to go up there to, uh, to, to, to get the ladder. But I, I didn't think, I didn't think she should. You, you could help her. This is not what I was thinking Phantasmagoria would be about. Okay, so I mean, I can use the ladder and there's a pulley. Even playing like little comic relief music. <laughs> what is that hat about? Hurry! Hurry, I'm stuck! Get me out! Dude, if Don ever walked into this situation, he'd be so mad. Yeah, I see it. I want to swing the pulley around. Trust me, Adrian. Help me! Be careful. Don't risk it. Adrian. What are you grabbing? Oh my god, Adrian. Do I need to get the fireplace poker out? God damn it. You'd think the fireplace poker would be more like... Oh, what about this? Please add that to my inventory. It's not gonna. She's, yeah, she's got like a wizard hat on. <laughs> David the gnome. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, real talk, uh, David the Gnome is very boring if you go back and watch it nowadays. Yeah, the loop animation of her stock is fantastic. Help! This hurts! <laughs> this hurts! I'm stuck in a floor! Oh, hurry! Mm. hurry. Stupid. Hook it up to her. Oh, oh there we go. Get me out of here. Be careful. Oh, shh. Don't, don't. Oh, watch it with that thing. Right, I'm trying. Cyrus, remember, don't kill your mother. Hey, yeah, hooked it into her beta <laughs> Okay, stop, stop. <laughs> Who's that freaking sound? This seems way longer than it should be, Taco Mate. That's a good point. The seat is still going. Aw, oh, my britches. Come up here, you big lug. Oh. Oh. Cyrus, you big old. This is all your fault. Thermo Flask, I'm enjoying this, man. Oh. I wanna, I wanna thank you for rescuing me. No problem. Name's Harriet. Harriet Hockaday. Blows my son Cyrus. I swear that boy can't do anything right. You live in your pod. We're hobos. He'd lose his head if it wasn't screwed on tight. Cyrus, you just wait till I get my hands this on This town you. has like 10 people in it, tops, and like two of them are hobos. There's like one hobo family in this town. There's like the real, there's like our two characters, the realtor, uh, Malcolm Wormwood and Edith. The antique lady, the guy who runs the general store. Who else? Who else lives in this town? Was that it? No. And the other vagrant that we saw wandering around the town. And then that lady with the dog. And then the boat guy, the guy cleaning the boat. I just named every character in this game, and two of them are hobos. Ridiculous. Uh, me and Cyrus want to apologize. That is for being a problem. Wouldn't we, Cyrus? Wouldn't we, Cyrus? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't have to apologize, Harriet. Oh, that's the bar and grill, that's a good point, Strider. The matches, but, I forgot. Even so, you and your son are gonna have to leave. This is private property. Uh, I've been thinking about that, uh, about your property and all, and uh, there's just no way around it. You need us. <sighs> need you? Yeah. How are you and your husband gonna take care of this whole place? I think I saw that too, Swizzle. Oh. There were some spoiler alerts well, in it, so I, I stopped watching it. You have a point there. Right, now, take a look at my son here. He's as strong as an ox. Can do any kind of outside work. Me, I can help around the house. I'm a great housekeeper. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Well, what do you say, huh? What do you say? Well, I would not hire them. You'll work for nothing. Just room and board. Come on. I would not hire these two. Not at all. We got no place else to go. Dawn's not gonna like this. Oh, okay, you win. Adrian. You can start tomorrow. Why don't you meet me up at the house in the morning? <laughs> we got a <laughs> job, Cyrus. You here? <laughs> What's your name, lady? Uh, Adrian. Adrian Delaney. My husband is um, Don Gordon. I don't know what he's doing. Adrian. <laughs> what are uh -oh. you doing? I'm a clairvoyant. I read palms. Oh my know? gosh. No, I don't I don't think so. Oh, come on. Let me see. Does she always go for that handshake into the palm read? Like that's a hard sell on her on her clairvoyancy you abilities. Yeah. 
Well, I see it. I can see it's that. It's real long. I can see. I can tell That's how long good. it is from this view. But I read pops. There's this strange other line across the. Don, the hobo grabbed me. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Ah, oh, forget it. Don't mean nothing. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Oh boy, let's go get, fix supper. What? What? What are they gonna eat? Are they gonna go back to their hobo hole? Don's gonna murder those two. Oh my god. Ew. What, whoever made that sound effect did not need to. So, this is really your home, huh? Yep. Got it fixed up. Just like I like it. It looks real homey, alright. <laughs> Please don't eat spaz. Hey, if you see a small cat, don't eat it, please. Talk to him. What's for dinner tonight, Cyrus? You mean supper? <laughs> yeah, supper. Well, looks like Ma's making rabbit stew, see? Oh. Oh, it's a dead rabbit carcass, I see. Yeah, I gotcha. I'm a good hunter. Kill him with my bare hands. Oh. You shouldn't have hired these folks. That's good. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look what you've done, Adrian. You Adrian has caused nothing but issues. I mean, Dawn's being like ridiculous, but I mean, if I found out that, you know, my wife had invited murderous hobos to live in our new barn. We haven't even been here a week, and she's already inviting hobos in. I feel like a little... I'd be like a little upset at her. Why? We gotta get those hobos out of here. I have no idea what's the next thing to do, so I'm gonna go talk to Dawn. Actually, I should save. A little... <laughs> and an alien. <laughs> and a small alien that only Adrian can see. Uh, move bookmark to the present location. I wanna know what you're doing in that photo lab! You know we're gonna open up that photo lab. It's gonna be all satanic sometime. Dawn, did you fix the drain? Or is Dawn sleeping? Dawn? Dawn? Dawn, are you making photos or you sleep? Go in. Go in. I won't go in. Ah, the torture room. I think we want to go upstairs. Dawn, I think... I think Don's sleeping, but he could be sleeping in one of the ten bedrooms. Also, we never managed to open this door with the key stuck in it. Just to keep that in mind. There's the baby room. Maybe that's where Malcolm Wormwood slept as a child. Did I hear a baby? Here we go. Watch out for that chair. Adrian, I'd be careful around that chair. The music is still quite frantic. I cannot click. This is totally a time when, like, uh, Dawn would come in. Nope, no Dawn. I feel like we have unresolved issues in this room, such as the temporal distortion. Touch it. Touch the temporal distortion. I love this song. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's all sticky with temporal distortion. That smells too. It's not good. God, what is this? Oh, this is peculiar. Okay. Where is our husband? Where is he? 
I got a lot to talk about with Dawn, like the fact that I just hired two vagrants. Nope, that's the bathroom. We could wash our hands off, though. There's a hallway over here. Are you serious, Serenia? You were right the last time, and, I'm, and I, I think you're right this time. I'm gonna see if there's secret clicking events. <laughs> that's an Easter egg! That's awesome! Never would have known to do that. Would have missed out on that content, everyone. Yeah, baby. Right, let's go over here. <laughs> so spooky! This is where Dawn likes to sleep. Oh. A laptop. Why is it open? Who the hell opened this laptop? My god, this is... Oh, this is terrible. What does that say? Print screen. Hello. What we got here? Um. Oh, danger. Wait, there's words in here. So, so I have. Wait, start at the beginning. Exoop. Cack. one Dulls. You. You. Zil. Do. Or maybe that's just, I don't know. You do. You do! What? Why? Do I have? You do have. Ske. Seven to. Danger. You, you do have danger? That means nothing to me. Are we seeing. Are you guys seeing something I'm not seeing in there? <laughs> I see, I see you, you do, have, danger. You do have da- I mean, that's a creepy line right there. But there's not like a code we need to know in here, is there? Is there a so? You do so have danger. You do so have danger. Mm-mm. That little jingle. <laughs> You do so have danger. Let's take a nap, Adrian. Come on. I want another dream sequence. Check the TV out. Maybe the TV will do something different this time. Not. Ah, still no signal. <sighs> All right. There's nothing to do with here. I have no new items. I feel like I just need to find Dawn. I mean, there was the baby room incident. I don't really know what that's about. The door, the door's still stuck. Yeah, the door's still stuck. We're not gonna do the door. Yeah, hey Yuki, I got my Dracula business on. I even got this thing. Uh. <laughs> Is Dawn really not in? <sighs> just let me in there. Um, okay, maybe Don is so creepy he lives in the creepy bedroom now. Oh. I can't sleep in the creepy bed. Don, okay, Don could be in that room with that book. Hey, dark cheese. Oh, do I know what time it is? And I still have no way to uh, illuminate the dark staircase that leads downstairs. Yeah. And we never checked out this book again. Like, if I could take one of these candles right now, that would solve one of our issues. He's still working. It won't let me go in the room with the sink. That's the room she knocks on and goes, Dawn, and then no one answers, and she just leaves instead of opening the door. We never got to look at this book again. Oh, wow, look at this. The family tree. 
This must be Carno's family tree. Well, I guess there's nothing in there. Oh, snap. I can't read that. Lenora Regina Maria Dowd 1865 to question mark All right Are those hints? Oh, I could do a hint. I could use the hint. Yeah. I'm not I haven't completely exhausted all options yet though. I know, I have a match, but I don't have anything to light with a match right now, except any one of these candles. She won't touch them. What about that spooky box again? <laughs> Did we look at this book before? I feel like this book is new. That's evil. That's what evil is. Let's open it. God, this is an old book. <laughs> this is a book! Strange symbols. Looks like Latin. God, it's been a long time since Latin class. Oh, it's in Latin? Why don't I take the book and bring it to someone who reads? At some point, I gotta get that platinum crucifix or whatever, too. The titanium crucifix. I'm not forgetting about that item. Alright. I think we're done in this room. There's nothing else to interact with. Let's leave. I'm just gonna go to the kitchen, and if no one's in the kitchen, I'm gonna- I'm gonna ask for a hint. The hobos know Latin. <laughs> Do they? Oh, was I supposed to notice that none of the lives have death dates? Oh, now you're outside. I didn't want to go outside. Go back in. Go back in. Got it. We gotta go in the other room. That room. Look into that room. Maybe Don's in the kitchen, making himself a tuna sandwich. Or I don't know. There's something you need in the hayloft. How would I have known that? The hayloft! Jesus, it's something I need. Hayloft. Okay, you didn't notice something in the hayloft. Alright, back to the hayloft. Oh, I thought the game just froze. What the hell? Um. Yeah, climb up. What is this? Really? There was something in this hole? Uh, what is that? Isn't that just a piece of her clothes that ripped off? Why would we need this? doing with your life? <laughs> like, what? What? What is? Wh why? What, what? Why is this a scene? Arrow cards? Yeah, it's the, it's the hobo mom's underwear, but like, she can't get it because it's like too wedged. Yeah, she did give up very easily. I mean, she tore down an entire brick wall, but look at look at the look on her face. She's like, there's no way I can take this article of clothing off. Why would I even need to? I know, Killing Moon. Look at this. Look at this guy. You can't descend those dark stairs in the pantry without a light. Hello! I've been saying that since, like, five minutes into the game, Hint Master. Oh, I need a light to go into the dark place. Slow down. We're gonna Angela Lansbury the skeleton man over here telling me I can't go in there. 
Think I don't know I need a light? Look, I got a mat. I got matches. I got newspaper. I feel like I need something stupid. Like, I need to get a stick to, like, wrap around that. I have no idea what I need. I need something. So I'm trying to get a nail out. I, I would need a hammer to remove a nail. Does she have an answer? Okay, take a second to stop peeling potato. Oh my god. Got an appeal. Got an appeal. Got an appeal. Over here. Better leverage from underneath. I can't. It won't let me go underneath. Just, like, it only turns red when I can go somewhere. It's red here. It's red here. That is it. All right, buddy. You can't descend those dark stairs in the pantry without a light. I gotcha. Yeah, we, I, I hear you, Mr. Skeletal. I hear you. Can't use the pitchfork. I can't use the pulley. Can't, like, jump over there. I can't interact with this. Get to here, and she just looks at it. She's just looking at it. I could set myself on fire, that's a good point. I only have one pair of clothes, though. This should work. This right here. Just buy it off of that thing. All right, none of this is working. You can't descend those dark I know that face. <laughs> pantry without a light. Like, what are you doing with your life? There's nothing else to click in this. There's nothing else to click. Nothing else to click. Um, nope, don't do that. Oh, well, we could save. Well, maybe we've progressed something somewhere else. Like, we need, we need... That's clearly a thing. You know, that's an item that we need. Like, they, they wouldn't have edited that scene in there for us to look at something that we can't get. But we need a tool. Are you serious? She can't use the matches at the trapdoor. How long could we have done that for? Are you kidding me? I've tried. It didn't work. I don't even believe you guys. I'm going to go over right now. I'm going to go open that trapdoor right the F now. Turn the light on. Open that trapdoor. She can't use them, guys. On her! That is stupid! I, how long could I have been going to the trap door for? I've been dying to know what was down here. I could have done this, like, at the opening scene of the game. Jesus. There's probably a hammer in it. Yes, like that. Yes, like that. Like the... Oh, God, you're wasting the match. You're going so slow. Like, there's a light to your left. Can't even contain her emotions right now. Look at her. Why? Don't blow it out. Just... Yes, thank you. Why there's still oil in that? Yeah, you, you. I got my old spooky outfit on. I'm ready. All right. All right, guys. Okay, now we're doing it. Now we're in the basement. I see something on the ground there. Is there another hobo down here? Oh, it's just you, Spaz. Who is crying? That's not... That's not Dawn. Hammer! Son of a gun. I could have had a hammer. You know what? Honestly, though, if I picked up this hammer in the early game, we would have spent, like, another hour of me just wandering around trying to hammer everything. So, probably for the best. Oh, it's so dusty! Oh, it's so dusty! Oh, gee, the basement's full of dust! Ah. It's not even any booze. This is stupid. Why did I even come in this basement? <laughs> uh, it's all full of Hello. weird cries. <laughs> Use the hammer on the hobos. We're not hammering the hobos. Yeah, those particle Hello. effects were nice. 
There's spirits to shop with Tanarchy. <laughs> Feel like you gotta get locked in. Yeah, that's creepy hand. What? what the hell was that? You, you, now you just got a ghost hand in the game? Uh, yeah, that. I don't even know what. Is that a rope? Chains? Why would we have chains? <laughs> Yeah, that is that is terrifying. Good good call. This is just a jail cell. Time to leave my, my basement prison. Oh, it's just you, Spaz. Oh god. I know the ghost hand was so comical, Crimson. Did you hear when she freaked out about the mouse? <laughs> like of all the things that have been happening, oh my god, it's a mouse! Whoa, we got a mouse down here. Aw, oh, rats. <laughs> so really? Well, we got the hammer, so I mean. Oh, that's a pretty weird thing to have in my pantry. Alrighty. Away I go. Oh, I don't want to watch you shut it. Leave, leave. Gotta go back to the hobo place. Use the hammer. That was ridiculous. Oh god, I'm going the long way. I gotta go all the way around the house, because I'm an idiot. I'm really learning my way around this mansion. I got a, I got a good sense of bearings here. Barnes over there. I'm not gonna hammer the hobos. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't hammer the hobos. Besides, they know how to kill with their bare hands. Oh my god, I'm so happy about using this hammer. Okay, this is it, guys! Oh wait, first off. An old hammer. Oh! He had to use the adjective old to like make it spookier. It's not just a hammer, it's an old hammer. I've got this hammer. Perhaps I could get this nail out with this hammer. So I thought I was going to light this piece of cloth on fire in some sort of, like, ridiculous torch contraption to get into the basement. Because I thought the basement is where I was headed the whole time. However, now I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know what I'm going to do with this cloth, or nail for that matter. And honestly, if I'm doing all this just to get a nail... Wait, sir, wait, what? A bent, rusty nail. I was gonna say, there's gonna be an easier way to get the nail. I know exactly what to do with that nail. And we'll find out after Bagel goes, Wee wee, I'll be right back, guys. Don't go anywhere. Bagel's playing the classics. This is a classic. I'm gonna save. I, I'm being sincere. I actually know what to do with that nail. I do know what to do with that nail. What is it, though? What, what does Bagel know? We'll find out later. I'll be right back. No, just one minute. One minute. Quick. It's gonna be a 90 second break. Promises. Promises. I know what to do with that nail! Alright, I think we're back. Are we back? I think we're back. Yeah, we're back. 
I gotta say, guys, like you, like you've probably got P before, but P in with a cape on, like so much more fanfare to it. Well, I got a cape on. This is crazy. Also, I bought this cape was like five dollars. I'm thinking like a cape would actually be a pretty good purchase in the winter time because it's like a blanket you bring with you. Not like a snuggie, but like a real act. Like you know, like it's. It's got some. So I'm gonna put. Well, Vigo, chill out. Your, your thing only reaches so far. I'm gonna. I we're gonna open that door. I'm like 99% sure the nail is gonna be used to pick the lock. I think the door's up here. Don't pee on the cape. I have a cape. Well, you keep you so warm in the winter. Yeah, a cloak would be sick in the winter. Fish it out. I want to know what's behind this door. No! Oh, wait. We still have this key here. The skeleton key. Yeah, fix your hair. It's going to work now because now it's not jammed, though. Come on. This is how I unlock doors. Just really bend over. Well, F. I mean, it worked. Whatever we did is like, you know, what we did. Hammer, 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 hammer. Nope. Poker. What? Oh my god, that is so illogical. That's sound effect, also. The newspaper at the door would have been a good idea, too. I think I see what you're trying to describe. Okay. The stairwell key. Stairwell hype! Do it. Pull the trigger. It gets stuck again. <laughs> we gotta do the whole thing again. Oh, it broke again. Oh, jeez, Louise. Yes. Did you hear the pure excitement in her voice? Yes. Mm. Yes. Soon. I will open this door. Yes. He has worked. All right. Save. Move bookmark to present location. Uh huh. Oh, you just gotta click that dark corner of the room. Yes. Oh, it's the same kind of lock the barn had. I feel like we're gonna find something and then Dawn's gonna creep up on us. Don't be locked. Don't be locked. Why well, know what's in there? Yeah, and what's the deal with that drain? That's a good call. I see I see an object I could have. Oh, thank you. Chain! Yes, Chain! <laughs> Chain! I love Chain. Thank you, Chain. <laughs> you guys like the classics. You should check out Chain. He goes even more classic Vampire than I do. John Polidori. Vampire by John Polidori. To Malcolm from Zoltan. Oh, Malcolm! That's the old guy from town. That's Malcolm Wormwood with the puppy. I know I'm gonna need some convoluted, like, about, like I gotta have to give like a burrito to the dog or something. You know, like something like really stupid. Okay. An old book belonging to Malcolm. Okay. The vampire. Yeah. Oh, you can open it. To Malcolm from Zoltan. <laughs> That's great, that's great, that's great. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, Chain is awesome. You guys would like Chain. I can't open that, I can't. When, when am I ever gonna use the newspaper? Maybe I'm gonna show it to Malcolm. He's gonna be like, I don't believe you, what year is it? And I'm gonna show him the newspaper and he's gonna be like, what? Yeah, it's definitely what's gonna happen. And then we're gonna play with the tarot cards. I'm gonna resolve all these items I have. I found Malcolm's book. 
So I guess I'm gonna head toward town for some reason. Although I feel like I'm gonna be stopped by Dawn. And then we're gonna have like a tuna salad. And then it's gonna be chapter four. That's probably what's gonna happen. I never saw what we do in the shadows. Oh yeah, so wait a minute. I'm not paying enough attention. There's definitely like a vampire theme going on now and we got some like women who haven't died before. Under that door? No, oh, I'm gonna give it to him to show him what year it is because he's a time traveler. All right, I'm taking the, I'm taking the old car. Look, we got a sunroof, are you kidding me? Um, I'm gonna try to go into to his house, which I'm sure I can't. Hammer. Ah! Book the house! That didn't work. I'm gonna try to go to the antique lady. I feel like the antique lady might be able to help me with the book. Oh, who is that? Another town's member. Fudge bucket. I really thought that was going to work. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Give the dog Hi. the bent rusty nail. Yeah, I don't have the nail anymore. Wasn't he a world renowned illusionist? He sure was. Carno was in his prime. And Let me stand up to tell you more about this. He traveled all over the world with an extravagant magic show. Uh, we probably wouldn't be very impressed by it today, but back then they sure were. But I've heard that his magic acts tend to be a bit on the darker side. Stand up, tell me some stuff. But do you know what he was like as a man? He was very secretive. I don't think anybody really knew Carno, not even his wives. Wow. Wives. I mean, I have another good question. Exactly how many wives did he have? Let me see. Ooh. One, two, three. I love counting Carno's five. dead wives. He was married five times, I think. All of them from the theater circuit. Most of them were in his magic show. Why so many? What happened to them? Goodness, you are full of questions, aren't you? You well, don't shut see. up. Two or three of them died, and as for the others, uh, I don't know. One thing about Carno, though, that has never been proven or disproven. It is rumored he was into the black arts. Oh. Hmm. Really? That's very interesting. Yes, isn't it? What happens to his wives? They well, died or something, died. but he was into magic. Sure, you're welcome. Like, like what? You can't just make those, like, you can't just make the conversation go there. Hey, what happened to his wives? Oh, hey, Shade, yeah, I said nothing but good things about you, Shade. I said, if you like the classics, make sure you check out Shade. He's even classic-ier sometimes. Talk to that lady. Get the lady's toy. That lady has a dog toy. I could use that dog toy to get past this dog. The dog. Okay, we're in. We I can pet him. Nice doggy. Good dog. Good boy. Nice doggy. Good dog. Good boy. Here, I'm gonna fireplace poker the dog. Dog, this is a stairwell key. You don't know what I had to go through to get that stairwell key. Help. The dog looks hungry. Obviously the dog- Jesus Christ, you think I've never played a point-and-click adventure? Of course the dog is hungry! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm- okay, I'm gonna go to the general store just because I'm here. Who's that guy with another ponytail, man? Oh, this guy's leaving just as I'm coming in again. If I can't buy food from the general store, I'm gonna go back and get the rabbit. Jesus Christ, the rabbit. The rabbit makes so much sense, too. The hobo lunch makes so much sense. Hello? What the heck is going on? Uh, can I help you? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just looking. No, I'm just being weird. Okay. 
Don't, don't mind me. Let's get a long shot of this little dialogue they have. All right, out. Yeah, no. Drop the chair. I knew, I, come on guys, I knew we had to give him the food. I'm gonna be honest, I did not put together the rabbit as the food. That makes sense though, it's like the only food we see in the game. Although they've been talking about tuna salads for a while. Dang it! I really thought you were on, on point with that rabbit comment. Okay, I really thought I was gonna take the rabbit. I'm going back inside. I'm gonna go to my refrigerator. Which, oh, you're right game, that is spooky. I'm gonna have so many nightmares tonight. Where's my refrigerator? The other side of the room. As big as this house is, they have the damn smallest refrigerator. I got a bigger refrigerator than her. It, look how much magic it's full of. She's just gonna eat like one grape and shut the door. Like she's just having the time of her life. What's in, oh God, what's in there? Oh, that's just her sitting chair. Yeah, exit the chair. Come on. Hey boy, no, we bought it with our photography and book money. Now I'm at a loss, Mr. Skeletal. Someone in town knows all. Seek him out. Yeah, it's Mr. Wormwood. I Don't talk to me like I don't know who knows. It's Malcolm Wormwood, the 110-year-old wizard. I know who it is! I have my old hammer right now, though. Back to town we go. Back to town. Yeah, I'm right, going right back to town. Where's Dawn been this whole time? That's kind of weird. I could talk to the seaman. I'll talk to him. Maybe he's got a fish. You're right. You're right. Maybe he's got a fish. Nope. He has nothing. <clears throat> back in the general store. Wait, what? There we go. What else can I click on in here? Like, I don't have any money for anything, though. This doesn't make sense. Did I call him Wormwood? Worm Shadow, whatever. Maybe I'm still thinking of the Absinthe. <laughs> it was a deal that Absinthe. Does the Realty guy have something? Like this, this is now, now I'm just getting desperate. God, that door! <laughs> That's Bob Tompkins. And what can I do for you, little lady? Hey, little lady, I'm Bob Tompkins. Ah, the realtor, I keep creepy lady photos behind me in my office. I got a little goat mug. Hi, do you have food? I'm Bob. Hi, Bob, I, I need like a steak. But I have that fish on the wall. That's very adventure gamey. Everyone in town seems to believe the Carnivage estate is haunted. You sold me a spooky house! That's on you, Bob! Tell me a smart gal like yourself would believe all those old wives' tales. I can't run a business based on small town prattle. <laughs> prattle! <laughs> Besides, <laughs> you got a good deal. If you don't know it, your husband certainly does. Yeah, I guess you're right, Bob. I've had enough of this small town prattle. No matter what the circumstances, no matter who you hurt. That's what I always say. You're disgusting. I just came in here to insult Bob Tompkins. <laughs> oh, oh, before I forget. Your husband asked me to check up on the telephone service out to the island. A phone man will be coming to your house tomorrow. Okay. Now, if you don't mind. I feel like the phone man's gonna die. But maybe he's just an idiot, so it's fine if he dies. Can I take the fish off the wall, like, for real? I missed a scene with him in Chapter 2. I gotta visit everyone in every chapter over and over again. Is this, like, uh, we're gonna trails in the sky? Why are we sitting? Yeah. I hate you, Bob Tompkins. I'm gonna sit on your sofa. I actually...
actually am impressed that the sofa matches the wallpaper so well. Back to the antique store. Oh, Adrian, I'm glad you're here. I have some important newspaper articles you might want to see. Oh, really? Let me see. Here we go. When you started questioning me about Carno's old estate, I thought of something. Are they really Serena? That's cool. Serania. Got it. Articles when she was very young. She added to it almost up until the day she died. That was four years ago. I remembered seeing some old articles about Carno in here, so I dug it up. This is wonderful. Also, I, I found this raw meat. Oh, no, I, I couldn't let it go. It's my mother's. You have to look at it here. I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. I'm just glad you found it. Unfortunately, I may not have time right now. When can I read them? Anytime. I will leave it right here on the counter. Come in whenever you want. What? Thanks, Lou. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. What? What counter did we leave that on? What if I want... Why don't I have time to read it right now? What am I in a rush to do? This counter? With the, with the friggin' brooch? Yeah, who else would come here? Adrian, show us. I want to see too, Adrian. I don't have time right now. Immediately goes back and starts reading it. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. Con owed to give benefit performance at local orphanage. This coming Friday afternoon, February 5th, 1887, Con will kindly give a special performance at Our Lady of Compassion Orphanage. All proceeds will be donated to the orphanage to help with the care and feeding of the children. Come and enjoy the show. See Kano levitate in midair. Watch as he saws a woman in two. Experience the electro chair. Hello. All this and more. All additional donations will be greatly appreciated. Yes, that tells me something. Carno toddler discovered drowned in pond. Oh, sucks. On Sunday afternoon, June 10th, 1889, Carno's daughter Sophia, too, was found dead in the estate's garden fish pond. Tiny little pond? Hortensia. Hortensia. It appears the little girl had wandered off by herself and had accidentally fallen into the fish pond where apparently she drowned. That's not good journalism. And apparently she drowned. It is reported her mother is quite distraught. Makes sense. And is currently undergoing medically supervised sedation. Sophia will be interred at the Karnovash family tome. After a discreet funeral tomorrow morning. Also, if you're writing a newspaper, you would not write tomorrow morning. That's not, that's not, you know, AP style. That's ridiculous. You wouldn't, like, tomorrow, when is tomorrow, you know? And like, how did they get the, how did they get this news out so fast? Also, it's gotta be a secret service tomorrow. What? Did we see steak? Did you see a steak? I'm gonna keep an eye out for a steak in there. Illusionist fourth wife chokes to death. Jesus Christ. Yesterday, November 17, 1890. Yesterday, Kano's fourth wife, Regina, caught a piece of steak in her throat and choked to death while having dinner with him. Tragically, Regina is the second of Kano's four wives to die three years ago. His third wife, Lenora, succumbed when she accidentally tripped and fell down a flight of stairs, breaking her neck. Kano also lost a daughter seven years ago when she drowned in the fish pond at the tender age of two. Kano divorced his first two wives after each proved unfaithful. They have not been heard from since. That is suspicious, Carno. A claim magician injured while attempting to... Carno fell down some stairs and choked on a tuna fish. <laughs> he fell in a shallow puddle. Drowned. Couldn't roll over. Last evening, Thursday, October 15, 1898, Carno was seriously burnt while attempting his world-famous escape trip. He had been chained to a restraining contraption, bound, gagged, and blindfolded, and then set afire. The escape should occur within 20 seconds, but this time something went wrong. As his audience screamed in horror, Kano was pulled, barely alive, from the raging inferno. Raced to our holy savior hospital, he now lies in a coma, with burns over 80% of his body. Doctors are not optimistic about his recovery. <laughs> okay. 
Famous illusionist god berserk. <laughs> this is so absurd. Found dead after a night of rampage. <laughs> it was reportedly reported earlier this morning, Friday, October 23rd, 1898, that both Kano, the world famous illusionist, and his wife Marie were found dead in their home. At this time, it's not clear what actually transpired, but it appears that Kano, who had recently suffered a severe accident, awoke from a coma sometime that night and escaped from a hospital after killing his night nurse. Somehow, despite his acute injuries, he then managed to make his way home over 10 miles away. It is conjectured, nice use of the word conjectured, that he has interrupted a tryst between Marie, his lover, Gaston Warwick, Oh, they had that thing, that escapade. They had that little flamboozling in the, in the, in the gazebo. And that a violent row had resulted. What is a row? In the aftermath, both Kano and Marie lie dead while Gaston has disappeared. A search for him is now underway. Kano and his wife will be interred at the Conobash family tome sometime over the weekend. Oh. Yeah, it was like the TMZ of the late 1800s. Well, that was stupid. Wait, can I talk to her? Excuse, about... oh, Excuse me, Lou? Oh, yes! Hello! What can I answer for you? I was wondering, do you know if Carno had a child? Yes, he had a little girl, I think. Drowned in a pond! Something happened to her. She's not standing up. Maybe if you stood up, you'd remember. It's okay. I was just wondering. All right. Have a nice day. Me too. Adrian's so weird. Like, she just read about how his daughter died that he, and she, like, is, like, walking over there, like, hey, did he have a daughter? Like, she's, like, trying to, like, you know, dig out the little secrets. You know? Oh, well, <sighs> time to hit the dusty trail. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. Use the hammer on her. Like, I don't know where I'm at at this moment. I need food to give to the dog. Like, I understand that I'm looking for food to give to the dog. I understand that the hobos have food. No one trysts like a snot. What is a trist? Was that one of the programmers? That's pretty sweet if it was. I just need, like, one of your potatoes. And... For you to stop making that sound effect, please. <laughs> I should have gelled my hair. <laughs> what with the guy leaving? You're like, all right. <laughs> Away I go. Where the hell is my husband? I'm gonna go check out that pond. Maybe I can feed the dead baby to the dog. Not to get graphic, but it is spooky September. I doubt the baby would still have enough meat on him. Oh no, don't go back to this area. Nah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a big jump. I got it, Adrian. We gotta push the tree over. I'm guessing that's Car the Kavardosh family tome. Over the gazebo. It seems like it does suboptimal. I, I think we're in Canada, but like I'm really not positive about that. Yeah, that's where that baby drowned. Sir, uh, that is where that baby drowned. I just need food. Where? Where's Dawn? Where's Dawn? It is the lead programmer. That's cool. Is Roberta Williams in the game? So creepy. I just... Is that garlic? Can I give it garlic? Well, I don't know. Getting a drink of water. I gotta figure this out. I know, some of those scenes look like mist. I'm in Maine right now. I think this game takes place in my town. It looks exactly like it. You know, we got that, like, adulterer, realtor. We got that, uh, who's overrun with hobos. We got lighthouses and crap. Seriously, I need, I need straight food for that dog. West App, this game has been friggin' fantastic, man. I'm enjoying it a bit. Kinda weird. I'm gonna go back to the photo room. 
Hello, Dawn? It's me, your wife. Dawn. Hello, Dawn. Dawn, hello. This is so, this is so Dawn. This is so Dawn. Been in a mood ever since we moved in. Like he's possessed or something. That's Carno's electric chair. That's Carno's King's Quest playing gramophone. Can I give him the elk head? In the photo room? Yeah, I need a hit. I need a hard hit. Help me, Captain Osmotic. But give it like vaguely. Give it like Captain Skeletal was. Someone in town knows all. Seek him out. Yeah, it's wormwood, but I don't have food. In before, like, I gotta open this book and, like, turn to a page and then there's food in it. Yeah, I think we've exhausted a lot of options here. A bone? Yeah, dog won't just open the door. She won't commit. I like the expression she gives when she walks down the stairs. In the general store. I knew it had something to do with that general store. God damn it. I'm going to the general store right now as fast as I can. Go on. Go on. Go to the general store. Is that guy drunk? <laughs> Just wandering around hammered. I like the general store theme. Hello. With that long no, no, shot going on. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just looking. There's a room in the shop. Thank you. Oh my god. It's like... Oh, wait a Well, it's pretty gosh darn hidden. I'll tell you that. I know, the doors are aggressive. What? Where am I missing? Oh, jeez Louise. Are you serious? I hope this is a sign that says, like, free meat. <laughs> Such an adventure game. Free soup bones. <laughs> There's something really funny about this screen here. <laughs> Look, I need a sign printed up. Free soup bones. All capital letters. I want free to be read. I want to have an exclamation point. I gotta move these soup bones. It's a like game. Show your story. Don't tell it. No, we will. Okay. Oh my god. Do I need to, like, put it on this? Like, what, what do you need right now? Wait. Right. Oh, you gotta click the friggin... It's like, what rules does this world live with? Just puts it in her pocket. A large soup bone. A large soup bone. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's a classic soup bone. You know? 99 cents a pound. That was so stupid that there was just this, like... Ridiculous area in the back of the store with three large soup bones. She had 25 cents at one point, and then she, like, gave it as a tip. And then she tried to buy a $2,300, like, titanium brooch. And she's like, oh, I don't have anybody. I, I blew it all on acid. Okay, dog's coming out. Soup bone on dog. Good dog. Nice doggy. Aha, now there's nothing standing between me and Wormwood. I'm gonna show him that book of his. I got questions for you, Wormy. Slam it. No, very gentle. Yeah, is that a boner in your pocket? You have a large soup bone in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? How'd you get past the dog? Yes, what do you want? 
Oh, As man. Edith. Or Ethel. I just bought the old Carnivage estate. I understand the man who lives here, Malcolm, I think his name is, used to live there as a young boy. So? Well, I was wondering if maybe I could speak to Malcolm about his experiences there. Worm Shadow. I have a lot of questions to ask him about the place. No. Mr. Worm Shadow is a very old man. I don't see any reason for you to come in and upset him with unpleasant memories. But I... I, I said no. I said good day. We're going to have to figure out how to get around this door now. Gonna knock again. I, you again? I already told you. It's, no. it's as good as it Wait. looks. It's as good as it looks. I have this book. Look at this book. Look. Let me show you this. Just a minute. <laughs> look. I have an old soup bone. <laughs> All right, you can come in now. Here we go. Now we're in Worm Shadow's house. Nah, this game is fantastic so far. It likes it dark. You don't live to 110 keeping the lights on. Malcolm. She's here. Malcolm. She is here. I'm ready for Malcolm to look weird. Or like not be old. Or like something. Oh, that'd be cool if you was CG. Come, come, come here, come here, come here, come here. Get over. Stay by the light. We are living in Kano's house. Yes, sir. Yeah, I am. Found my book. Yes, I, I I did, sir. Don't call me sir. I I I I, I don't like it. It, it. it it makes me feel old. Well, what well, you are? Call you? My name is, is is Malcolm. Call me that. Huh? Malcolm, is it true you lived with Carno as a boy? Did you sleep in the tower room? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> that was my room. <laughs> well, at this rate, yes, Strider. What Carno like? It's taking a while. He <laughs> happened to fight again, I old have man. One question for you. Oh, here we go. And then, after that, you. Uh, you have to leave. Okay. What is it? Tell me. How is the house? Everything Creepy. Okay. I guess. What do you mean? Good. That, that's what I wanted to hear. You'd go behind the fireplace, didn't you? I, I'm tired. You, you have to go now. You didn't learn anything. You had to give us something. Give us a random item. Tell us something. No. Either you're going to give me something, or I'm going to have to eat dinner with Dawn again, because I need something to progress the story. And I don't want to eat tuna salad with Dawn again. That was, that was a complete waste. He knew nothing about the house. Malcolm Wormshadow didn't give me crap. That's it? I gotta save. Oh, I feel like I gotta go back to, oh. Careful! Dawn! Dawn! Chill out, Dawn. Oh, God. Oh, God, you scared me. And where have you been all day? I don't know. Around? In town. 
I thought I told you to stay away from all of those people. Also, I hired some hobos. People. What people? Those stupid townspeople. Oh, this is silly. Finish me, you get. You're telling me what to do? Well, where were you all day? None of your business, honey. Well, I'll tell you what. You take care of your business, and I'll take care of mine. Well, we're going to see about that. Oh, no, Jesus Christ. Ugh. What were you doing in the BMW, Adrian? You're going to the bad guy from Karate Kid 3. He does have a Steven Seagal look going on. Friday, October 21st, 7 a.m. Lying to this game. No. Oh, no. Don't do that, Don. I think this is I think this is the scene that that the graphic scene. So if you if you're impressionable or if you have kids, you know, now would be the time to turn it off. It's caused a lot of issues at like electronics boutiques in 1995. Okay? I see the music is nice though. When it when it does play. It's a little awkward, right, Victoria? It's because we know he's possessed by some sort of demon. That's why it's awkward. This is graphic. This is a graphic. This, is, this game's a little graphic. Yeah, Jade, look at this. This is pushing the boundaries of 1995. Did not buy us. <laughs> I don't know. And like, they didn't have ratings on games back then. Like, they didn't... Oh, that music, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they had like a wolf sound effect. Like, the, the, it's the music with it. And the expressions on his face. Yeah, it got really weird, right? And, like, kind of unnecessary. They, they didn't need to do that. <laughs> We're gonna get banned? Maybe. It's art, though. It's art. There's a reason for this. Exposition. I do not believe that stuff. In. They did not start dating. Okay. I'm assuming the game will just progress as if nothing happened. I in her shoes. <laughs> So nothing has progressed in the story yet. I can't go to my notebook. Yeah, I don't know, Natural Tiff. I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, does the TV show something? Usually it's just static. Nah, it's static. And yeah, the TV's still busted. I'm sorry, JPL Games. Look, they had a story to tell, guys. And that was crucial to the story. They had to put it in there. 
I think they were just they were just fishing for the you know the commentary. How's the bathroom doing? No, that's it's the old bathroom. I'm not familiar with Shadowgate. Sure, Serenia. Um, why did I go back into oh, Michael? Oh, so that's what it took. It took that scene for Chips to pull the trigger. <laughs> yes, Chips19. Thank you, man. That's awesome. Chips, now you can make pumpkin emotes. Yes, Chips. Look, we're sitting on baby Malcolm's bed. Isn't that nice? Soaking it in. Yes, Chips. Thank you for the sub, Chips. That's awesome. Sub, Chips is making me hungry. That's what it took. <laughs> uh, I mean, the 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 uh, the photograph, the photography room is beckoning me. I'm gonna go check out the photography. Is it? No, I'm not. It won't even let me click it. It's not even like an option. Oh, no, nothing in the torture room. Checking out all the rooms. Really though, like, where are we going right now with this story? Is he in the creepy bedroom? Um, there's been nothing in the creepy bedroom. Ever since that dream sequence, been nothing. Whoa! Shadow is the OG point and click. Hey, I've been waiting for you. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot about her. I forgot all about it. You ready to work? Is that game similar to Waxwork? Tell me what to do. Well, let's see. Kitchen dishes need washing. Our bed needs to be made. Kitchen dishes um, burn. Bathroom needs cleaning. Furniture needs polishing. And um, this floor needs sweeping. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Yeah, there's like also like some other weird shit. There's also like a temporal displacement in the uh, baby room. Also, the baby room's creepy as F. Oh god. Um. And also, these tarot cards. Well, yes, I found these old tarot cards in the house. I don't read them. If you want them. Oh, wait, that actually made sense. You're darn right I want them. That actually made... Oh, I did something right! I tell you what, I'll do a reading for you. A little later, in the kitchen. A little later. Anything else? Uh, how about this newspaper? Here, I thought you might be interested in... No, never mind. Nah, you wouldn't care about the news. Anything else? Yeah, I got something for you. Here, I thought you might be interested in. I thought you might be interested in this fireplace po- No. No, no not for you. Okay, not right uh, now. Not the fireplace poker else? for you. I want to try to give her everything now, even though I know it's not going to work. You know what? You might like a hammer. Here, I thought you you might know, Mary, I got this. Uh, <sighs> never mind. Forget about the hammer. Get okay, out of here. Alright, fine. Right, fine. Anything else? That's it. Oh, by the way, uh, I see you carrying around that newspaper. You want me to throw it away for you? Please, would you? I just... I just... Hey, do you want this? Nah, you don't want this newspaper. Hey, I'll take that newspaper. Alright, it's the newspaper. God, you're so dumb. Adrian, you should just give her the newspaper to throw out for you. Soulless cat snuck up on us, didn't it? Spooky September. Oh! The Bartle! Yes, the Bartle! Five months! Adrian. Killing it! You know those tarot cards you give me? Uh huh. Yeah, the tarot cards. I remember that. That was just a second ago. It's time to do a reading. Well, I kept them in my underwear. Well, okay, I guess. Alright. Is Dawn gonna ever interact with these guys? These hobos living amongst him? Are they gonna be okay with this? I'm gonna miss that paper. All laid up. Just eight, like I like them. Eight cards. All right. Let me pick. She's doing it on her own. What's that look about? This lady looks like a teenage boy sometimes. 
Oh, no, 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 none of this is good at all. Oh, see, that's the devil card. Oh, this isn't good. This don't look good. This don't look good. Well, what is it? See, you got the devil card here. Well, of course, it's, it's all an interpretation, but... Come on, Harry. What did the card say? Well, Tell us. All right. <sighs> this card in the middle. That's the devil. And that's you. Okay. And the fool is surrounded by all these seven other energies. The acting's great, Chips. This card. This card. That's the lovers. Okay. Yeah, I was talking. That means that the fool is gonna have to make a choice. Oh. In the area of love. Okay. Now, normally that ain't necessarily so bad. But right. All these other cards surrounding it. Okay. Well, let's go on to the next card. Let's see what the next card is. I'm, I'm riding kind of high off that lover card. Oh, these two cards. Yep. That's justice and strength. Okay. That's good. That is good. Because the fool can use them to help out with rational solutions. Decam, I can't time. set it as the first one. It's not in and the system. Courage, strength, and determination. Yeah. This all sounds good. It sounds like I'm heading off to battle. You might be. Take a look at these other four cards here. The worst four cards in the deck. Oh, stupid RNG. Hanged man. Hanged man. Tower. Oh, uh, the tower. The devil. The devil, I knew the devil card it was coming. Death. Death. <laughs> you got the Hanged death man. card. A sacrifice is gonna happen. <laughs> down of existing forms. <laughs> the devil. He brings evil. Okay. Death. Painful transformation's gonna happen. The lovers means you have to make a choice in love. The hangman means you're gonna have to sacrifice What's someone. What's the verdict? Oh. It's hard to know, actually. Yeah, this lady's reaching for that Oscar. Because you know it's all in the interpretation. Right. But off the top of my head, I'd say that you're going to have some big trouble with your hubby. Evil's got him, and he's going to change. Yep. You're going to have to muster all the strength and courage that you have to fight it. Yep. I'm glad we're doing this scene. This is useful. You sacrifice. And then... This is an important scene in the game. You're gonna have to use your wits. Chapter 4 is bringing its A-game. Well, thanks, Harriet. Well, this was, was a waste of time. Now, I know that you think that this is all just a bunch of hogwash. Now, Harriet, I really appreciate you trying to help me. But... I just don't believe in this stuff. Well, now, all I know is that there's some bad trouble around here. You I know, her hat! Your backside. Fine. I will. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going back to do the dishes. Again, that has solved nothing. I am left only with more questions than I previously had. Let me do a little saving. Well, girl, that's a kind of intense thing to tell an eight-year-old. How you doing, Harriet? <laughs> Fine. Good. How you doing? Good. Good. Well, again, I don't know what I'm doing in the game. So I guess I'm gonna go to the, uh... Okay, that's a little creepy. Wanna talk to her about why she's over here? How you doing, Harriet? 
It was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the to the door here. I still can't interact with it. All right. Yeah, the skull's coming in. Taking the view from the highest room in the house. Right here. The view. Yes. Nah, that's not the highest room in the house. Come on, I know that. I go to Malcolm's house. Malcolm's room. I'm glad I'm figuring out how to get around this stupid mansion. How would I have known to go up there? No, it's not. See, if I type in Phantasmagoria, it, it doesn't give me the option for Phantasmagoria 1, only for Phantasmagoria 2. So I had to choose whether I wanted my title to just be blank or to have a sweet picture on it. And I chose sweet picture. Yeah, the frame rate was sweet. Am I gonna see a dead baby? Oh. <laughs> I'm always trying to use that. <laughs> Why do I still have the fireplace poker if I can't use it? Okay. So what am I looking at? That's where I need to go next? Someone has seen everything on this island. Is it me right now looking out that window? Yeah, I heard that, Curtis. I've never played the second one. I was thinking about playing it during Spooky September, but I think it's like even more inappropriate than this game, and I don't want to push the limits. Fix my cape real quick. They'll call it a cloak. Cloak sounds better. Someone has seen everything on this island. Who? The hobo lady? The hobo lady? Is it me? Him! Him! Who's that? Get him. Oh my god. Yeah, you stupid cat. Don't hit spares! You is all. <laughs> you stupid key cat. The cloak has a hood. Crap. Cyrus? Cyrus, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. Cyrus, put down spaz. What were you doing with my cat? I, 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 would, I would play with it is all. Cyrus, don't play with him. Okay? Okay. The scene really needs to lead somewhere. They, it, yeah, they record that head tunnel. Cyrus, we're, Cyrus, can we explain this face yet? I feel like the, the mouth is going to open up and I'm going to go into it. Someone's seen everything on this island. Is it Cyrus? Uh, Cyrus? Huh? Can what I have that X? Problem? I could see a little building in the woods. Well, I was wondering, have you seen it? Yeah. It, it, it's over there. It's over there. Oh, can you show me the way? Well, the trail's all washed out. Now, usually what I do, I just jump over it. But where is it, Cyrus? It's over there. It's over there. Oh, okay. I'll show you. Come on. Follow me. You might need that axe. Damn it. I have no idea which way he went. I, are we going this way? The way that I can't get over because we gotta knock the tree over? Is any of this correct? This isn't correct. Down here. Yes, Cyrus. Cyrus. Oh, this. Look at how this looks. This is absurd. Cyrus, I need you to knock that tree oh, over. There me. you are. I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, Cyrus. I don't hate you anymore. Oh, it's okay. Uh, see? There it is, just like I told you. Come on. Whoa! Have they even recorded this? I don't know, Cyrus. Looks kind of dangerous. Isn't there another way? 
Knock the tree over. Oh my god, look at Cyrus right now. Cyrus is helping everybody right now. <laughs> Cyrus is just running around. Parkour, parkour. Oh my That's god. amazing. Cyrus. There you go. I really thought we were gonna have to use that axe. You did that. Of course I did. I'm strong. See? Ah, boy, you are strong. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. A ma always tells me that that I'm more muscles than brains. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why animated? Like, it happens just off screen. Oh no! That's ma. Worked out very well. Got him out of there just in time. Uh, yeah, uh, better fix my hair and kind of wiggle around for a second. Uh, let me just keep thinking here before I, before I am allowed to move. Let me just really consider. Okay, now I'm willing to go across. No, uh, let me, uh, let me consider this. Wait a minute. I go in it? Do I stand on it? I guess I'm gonna stand on it. Uh, I don't. Okay, yeah, alright, okay. I'll just go really, really slow. Whoa, look down there. Let's go really slow. One step. Or the other. Really slow. Okie dokie. Big hop ending. Yep, that's the log. Okay, here I am. Alright, guys, we did it. Was that? Was that? Was that? I see it. Piece of materia down there. What is that? <laughs> oh, that'll be useful. My donut rock. Good. Yup, there it is. That's a good. Po okay. Established. We have it. Slower. What's that? Is this a cap? What what is this? Let's ask Mr. Skeletal. A tarnished brass lens piece. Okay. Alright. I gotcha. Oh, we're like halfway done. A tarnished brass lens piece. Sure it's oh, I wonder where I'll use it. Oh my god, are you seriously joking? No mouse! Work! I just saved, right? Save again. We have to quit and come back in every once in a while. Move bookmark to present location. Sure. Double save. Every once in a while, you gotta restart the game because it starts to get saucy with your mouse. Okay, we're back. It's tarnished. It says Finn. Yeah, like it's friggin' art or something. <laughs> I think it's an actual thing. I am, boy! You missed quite the scene at the beginning of chapter four. Continue old game. Play Bagel. There we go. Bagel plays the classics. What are you talking about? Every since in a while, the mouse gets stuck on the X axis. Ooh. This is this is such a a chilly uh friggin' what do you call this thing? So, damn it, Bagel. What are these called? Plant. Plant things. Green room. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. I know what things are called. That, was that a spade? Yeah, I need that. It's, oh, that static is good. Yeah, greenhouse. I was searching for that word. A sacrifice has to be made. Sorry, what? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, we're doing it. So, Tom, what are you doing here? 
Oh wow, Zoltan's here, guys. Did you want something? No. Zoltan, put no. It's so sharp. Why would you need to make that instrument that sharp? Why did you? <laughs> Zoltan, don't be a creeper. Zoltan. Zoltan, I hate when you do that. Zoltan. Lead me to my plants. Yes. Okay. Darn it, Zoltan. Is that the kind of black magic Zoltan got into shoveling dart into people's mouths? What a ridiculous death. No, don't leave. You still gotta put that lens piece in that thing. That was so ridiculous. That was spooky. Oh my god. Whoa! Avatar the movie right now. Look at this. James Cameron's Phantasmagoria. Hello. <laughs> this is so stupid. And with the end scene. Okay, good. Nice little saving. The bookmark. All right, let's go check this out. Oh. If I just put the lens cap on this, that's going to make no sense. It's literally like I just picked up the puzzle piece, kept walking forward, and then used it, you know? For lens flare? That's Michael Bay, Evil Death. I can't see anything. This is what I want to happen. I want to put the lens cap in and look through it, and I want to see Dawn doing something real-ass weird in the mansion through a window. Oh, well, I see Dawn doing something super creepy from far away. That was difficult to solve. Jade, it, this, this was a good choice. I was worried about the beginning of Act 4, but we got through that turbulent time, and now the game is continuing. Okay. I want to see Dawn doing something weird! I want to see Dawn doing something weird! This is this such a horror cliche, you know? Castlevania. Okay. That other window there by the tower room. There never used to be a window there. I don't know what we're looking at. I don't know. Show me again. I don't know what we're looking at. Okay. That other window there by the tower room. Phantasmagoria quickly became the best-selling game in the United States. So wait, you're telling me this game outsold any other game to date? Pre to predate? To date? At, to that, at that date? I'm gonna go back in the greenhouse. I'm gonna go back in the greenhouse. I, I was planning on entering the greenhouse again. I wish I could have kept that spade. Well. Oh, pop spaz. Oh, uh, no! It's full of heads! It'd be weird if there was just a nude dawn in the shower scene. That'd be weird. She's just making a bigger mess. <laughs> She's probably not even gonna clean this up. That's a that's a mummy head. Oh my god, oh my god that's a head. So that's when like the wives Zoltan killed or whatever, and like no one found her because they didn't think to look like in that jug. I don't remember Psychic Detective Brutal Knee. Hey Brutal Knee. <laughs> yeah, really, really scope this scene out. Maybe reach in there. There might be like a gem or a key in there. Did, I, did you check the dead 
head for a key. Okay, at this point, I feel like I may have exhausted all options within the greenhouse. Part of me really wants to take these as like some sort of regenerative item. That is not this game. I think that's what we had to do in there. Quickly mouse over everything, looking good, drop in a save. Oh, chapter 5 coming! I could have used that for the old soup bone. Like, this does not seem like Phantasmagoria. This seems like Real Life King's Quest. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, what here we go. Be? I wonder who that is. No, that's the damn, like, electrician or the telephone repair guy. Didn't we call the telephone repair guy? I'm going to talk to him while I'm here. Uh, Cyrus? Uh -huh. She is a giant. I was just, um... Is everything alright? Cyrus, you ever notice that dead corpse in the greenhouse? Cyrus, always with the safety first. That scene looped perfectly. So I am trying to get to the front yard right now, guys. See who pulled in the driveway, even though I know it's the telephone repairman. And I'm 90% sure the telephone repairman is going to die. Can't interact with his car. Look at these cars, also. It's awesome. Dead corpse! <laughs> ah, it's a dead corpse! Oh my god, he's, he's gonna be so young and handsome. <laughs> no! <laughs> Maybe I could hang out with him at the gazebo. You must be installing the phone. Hi, yeah, I'm Mike. Your uh, caretaker's let me in. Yeah, I'm Mike. I roll my sleeves up to here. Cause I'm working on phones. Yeah, I Whoa. can understand that. You got a shower around here? It's a little hot. This is quite a place you got here, man. Adrian. Yeah, it is quite a place, isn't it? I better get back to work. Okay. All right. Checking him out. Okay. Good talk to him again. Everything okay here? So far, so good. Good. Just you know, working on the old telephone, ma'am. He's gonna be the hero. Nah, he's dying. He's gonna die. Dawn's gonna get jealous and kill him. Okay. Whenever I don't know what to do, I'm just gonna immediately go back to this. Damn it. Oh, wait, no, 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 we already established that there was a, like, a, wait, what? That there was a second window that I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Mike Hawk. <laughs> False wall! False wall! False wall! Bust it! I knew that wall was shady! Move it! Spin it! Use the hammer! It's hollow! Get Mike up here! He's strong! Do something with it! There's like... I can think of like two people that could probably get through this wall right now. I do it! Do it! Yes! Look at her interact with that wall like real life! Whoa! Head down this wall! I want a time lapse, and then I want her to come back, and it's just gonna be the entire wall has been demolished. Look at this scene right now. Every I need to watch every board get taken off. Like, imagine if this scene, like, like we're watching it right now, but imagine if it went on for like ten more minutes. It was just like her slowly peeling off boards just as she's doing now. Like it was just her struggling with this wall for 10 straight minutes. That was like artwork. Because I mean, they're certainly taking their time as it is on this scene. Yeah, there's like a Three Stooges element to this, Geiger. Now nah, you better tear off a couple more pieces of wood. 
Like, what? Like, for real, though, what if this never ends? Like, what if this is the rest of our day as we just watch her break apart this wood? Oh, we did it. Now we're good. Put the hammer away. I don't know. I gotta figure that out. If I can start interacting with my environment. Okay. These are all his dead wives. That one looks kind of young. I don't know about her. Remember when I figured out where this room was? Remember when the game told me where to go and I went there and it worked? Remember that part? I'm solving puzzles like a machine right now. Putting that lens cap in. We're getting in the secret room. I don't lift. Don't lift, Evil Death. Not a lifter. Ooh, wait a minute. There's a mirror over here. Ooh, I love mirrors. Ooh, mirrors. Oh, wait a minute. Look in the reflection, guys. There's something weird happening. I fixed the tuck in. Sweater isn't going to tuck itself in, you know. Something weird happened in the background. Oh, chest. Michael Jackson. <laughs> the one in the middle is the dart lady. Yeah, it looks like her. What am I using to open this with? Game, are you sure you don't want me to spend like two hours looking for a key? Are you just gonna open this right up? Okay, there's two items. Take the pendant. <laughs> Pants are fantastic. Well, I'm done with that then. Ah, oh, there's more items in there. What's that? Okay. We've been making a little bit of progress, Mac. Fine. What is this? Okay. Put it on. Do something with it. Okay, well, there's more items in here. That rocking horse. Get in. There's a pin, and I can open the pin. Tell me what you're looking at! September 14th. 1889. Spooky September! Dear Diary, I grow increasingly fearful of Zoltan. I feel the burn of his eyes upon me as he watches my every move. Yep. Did my little girl have such fears? Did she suffer when he snuffed out her baby life? How could people believe him when he said it was an accident? Oh, the drowning. It was no accident. Dear diary, drowning. Zoltan wasn't always like this. You know he's drowned his babies. Not so long ago when he was loving and gay. He was overjoyed when Sophia was born. I know. I remember. I remember that he didn't want to After murder her baby. After his trip to Paris last year, he changed. That's when he got the Black Magic Something book. Something happened to him. That's when he got the Black Magic book what? in Paris. Now, all I have left are my plants. I oh, that's dead plant mouth lady. In my greenhouse. As far away as I can get from Zoltan's ever watchful eyes. He, she had to like jump over that cliff. Yep, yeah, good call. My punches are dynamite. Okay. So we got a little bit of exposition. I got a pin. Uh, this seems to be some another torture device of Zoltan's. Device is. 
Like, you can't give me, like, shock horror music every time she touches it, because I don't know if I'm... I mean, it looks torturous, but I don't know how it works. Oh, I'm done with that then. Okay. Oh. No. You're just looking at their faces. So once again, Bagel is lost. Uh, yeah, Ada, what's up, Ada? Maybe it's a plot device? I got a pin, Ada, but I don't know what to do with it yet. I know I can open the pin. Oh, wait. Oh, squeaky door. An antique cameo brooch. Oh, a cameo brooch. Well, I'm gonna go try to get back in that damn room again that they won't let me in. And on it. Dang it, I'm out of ideas. Let's go talk to the telephone repairman. Let's go talk to Mike the telephone repairman. Maybe he knows what to do. You dirty, rotten, stinking, filthy son of a bitch. You Punch him! Punch my life. Just what are you accusing me of, sir? I know exactly what you're doing here. John, shut up! The antique shop. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I think you better leave. Mike, I think it's time you leave. Stupid sexy Mike. Don't you ever tell me to shut up. Don is territorial. Good call, West Deb. Okay, chapter finished. Chapter 5, Friday, October 21st, 8.30 p.m. We're sleeping. It's 8.30 and we're tuckered out, dang it. Was it? Oh, wait a minute. Was she... Oh, God. Yeah, Adam, we're killing this game. I'm loving this game. It's very, very good. This is a good way to kick off Spooky September. Day 30? Day 30. I like that static in the background. Hmm. Oh, nighttime! We don't always get nighttime! What's it say now? Oh, God. Yuled. The Kufati die. P3 Glock get out. Donut shopped it. Sci trust. Sire. I don't know what that says. Let's just shut that computer off. Don't trust Dawn. Got it. Well, you have the lover card. That means you need to make a choice. You also have the hangman card. That means you need to murder someone. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Donut shopped it. Woo! <laughs> I'm always going to try the TV. Anything could be on the TV. Usually it's nothing, but anything could be there. Yeah, that's a bunch, that's a bunch of stuff. Ah, TV's busted! Mike, get back here, the TV's busted. Yeah, if your laptop tells you to get out, it is time to get out. But I don't know what's going on right now. As per usual, I don't know what's going on in this game. But that's okay. I'm gonna try to go into the photo room. Yeah, baby, interactable. That's what I'm talking about. Go in it. Don't knock. Just open it. And I, I want her to open the door, and instead of, like, a photo development room, I want it to have, like, Satan stuff everywhere. That's what I'm looking for right now. Don? Don? You developing photos? You in Don? 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 Don, hello? Use the pin, use the pin, or the brooch, or whatever it's called. Pick the lock. 
Pick the lock with the thing. Maybe we gotta look at it first. No, it's open. Now it's shut. Oh! Well, it doesn't effing work. Well, she's pretty good at hammer and stuff. No. Key? No. Other key? No. Right. Why does her voice echo? Why a lot of things in this game? I'm always gonna check out the spooky room. That room, that bedroom is just awesome. Oh yeah, definitely lay in the bed. Definitely lay in the bed. Definitely get in the bed. Only good things happen when she lays in the beds. Have a weird nightmare. God, oh, the bed grabbed me. She's not going to get grabbed, is she? She's going to walk in the photo room. There's going to be a bunch of pictures of Mike, the telephone repairman. Do we ever look in these places? Like, There's nothing good in here. Yeah, no, we've, we've done this. Let's get out of this room. Don't lay on the bed again. Go out of the room. Get out of there! Mike's probably downstairs. You okay? There you are. What is it, Cyrus? It's Ma. I, I, she, she told me to, to tell you to to um come to the barn. Wait. The barn. What for, Cyrus? Yes, Cyrus. What for? Uh, I think it has something to do with, uh, uh, oh, the seance. Oh, oh the seance. Yo, uh -huh. that music right now. Oh my god, yep. Yeah. I can't wait to go to the seance in the barn. Oh, midnight. <laughs> Come to the barn! We got a seance going on. Look at this nighttime. Can I wander around instead? Experience this world at night. Get in the car. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, it's too late to go into town now. Everything will be closed. Everything's closed anyway, lady. It's never open. Nothing's ever open in the town. All right, let's go to the barn. Yeah, I'll come to say, uh, just let me head down to Nip and Dom back. Here we go. Alright, Cyrus. Yeah, get look pretty for this. Oh, look, he's getting his hair already. Oh, Ma! She's here! Welcome oh, we're using log seats. Lobster! No. No, that's just... It's a scarf. I thought she was in a lobster outfit. Let the seance begin! Yeah, this is good. This is, this is, this is a good scene. I bet this is going to be just as useful as that uh, tarot card scene. Uh-oh. Oh, elusive spirit. I feel like Dawn wouldn't like this. Netherworld. Heed us now. Talk to us soon, yeah, West Dev, I agree. shades of darkness. Give us a gleam of your essence. Give us a sign of your spiritual being. Sensu Berry, yeah. <laughs> I think they're biting. Oh, restless souls, this poor gal seeks answers, answers to questions unknown. I'm glad they put comic relief in this you game, you know? Got to... Oh, no.
Wait. <laughs> I Zoltan Karnavash. I Zoltan. Was greedy and foolish. And opened the door to the dark dimension. I released some obscenity. An entity of pure evil. It had been contained. But now the pestilence is free to infect once more. Okay. You are the chosen one. Only you can send it back. Okay. Fair enough. Find the dragon. It will show the way. See, find the dragon? He say find the dragon? I didn't understand like half the words he said. Heard like pestilence and death. That was pretty impressive. What? What happened? You you, vo you vomited the ghost of Zoltan. The ooze ghost of Zoltan. No what? Harriet, you did it. You just puked out Zoltan. You really did it. It did it. You're not pulling my leg now, are you? No, I wouldn't do that. Natural day you fix for the host. That's never happened before. Yeah! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. Cyrus! Cyrus! I did it! I really did it! Okay. There we go. His woo's face was right there. I'm gonna go inside the house and Dodd's gonna be like, where the hell have you been? That's not, where have you been, Dodd? That's none of your business. Well, it's none of your business where I've been. Nah, I'm going the photo lab. Oh, he's listening to his records again. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, this doesn't make sense. Really, really hanging on that scene there. I'm gonna drop a little save. I'm gonna check out the dining room. That was incorrect. <gasps> the mirror! I knew it! I knew it! They're in the other side of the mirror! I knew it! I figured that out! No one else did! That was just a me thing! We're gonna trans- we're gonna go into the other side of the mirror. I knew it! Maybe we'll do Harvester during a weekend cast. If it's a short enough game, we can try to beat it in one go. I knew it! <laughs> Also, maybe Wolf Girl helped. Oh, we're gonna witness another murder. But he's not there. But then he's there. Oh, he's right there. Well, well, look who's here. She's drunk. To my dear husband. And it's daytime. Here's to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice one, Sunscreen. <laughs> oh, sunscreen, thank you. That was hilarious, also. <laughs> that was such a good time. Oh, thank you. Oh, we're having a good sink cry. <laughs> Sunscreen, thank you so much, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm. 
She is having a rough night. <laughs> oh, man. Save again. That's good stuff. Um, let's go eat a grape. Before we progress any further, let's eat some of our cartoon food in here. Yeah, that's good stuff, yep. Yeah. Just lounging around, and I stand still. Um... Again, I am at a loss of where I need to go. That was really funny timing. <laughs> yeah, that door there. Kind of beckoning me. We can't go to the door yet. It's locked. Does he find the dragon? How would I have known to go to the gazebo? I'm gonna go to the gazebo. It's locked. I got it. I got it. Gazebo. Oh, you know what? It almost makes sense to go to the gazebo because isn't that where that lady and Gaston ran off to? Wait, that mansion is great labyrinth. So we could witness like another murder, maybe. Or maybe we gotta go witness the baby getting drowned. Hey, cheese to life! I'm Dangle, I play the classics. Follow the channel if you do. Hey. Watch out for a ghost baby. That's just straight up a real kid. Oh, it's just you, Spaz. Like a bunch of hair? Is that Spaz? I see whiskers. Did they kill Spaz? Cyrus. Cy did Cyrus just kill Spaz? Oh my god. Cyrus! Her face was all like blotchy from the textures, and they still went with that scene. Man, I think Cy I think Cyrus killed Spaz, the cat. You ever should hide those hobos. They can only have 256 colors on the screen at once. She may have lost her cat, but she'll be comforted, comforted by having her hammer and her fireplace poker. All right, back outside. Yeah, that's where I found my dead cat. Right in there. Right in that water is where I found them. They're dead. Oh, wow. Looking at this now brings back a lot of memories. Wonder what's over there. Guess I'll look back in the pond again. Okay, now I'm done. Uh, I'm trying to go to the gazebo. I don't really know how to get to the gazebo. That way? There it is. Hello! What's that? I still have my hammer. A red rose. It's Gaston! Oh, Gaston. You did miss me. Oh, Gaston. I'm so afraid you wouldn't come. How can you say that, my God? All I ever think about is you. Oh, Angel. How I love you. I like Gaston. He's pretty cool. Zoltan knows about us, Gaston. He found my necklace. I told him I bought it in London, but he knows. I'm so afraid of him. You must come away with me, Marie. I'll take you far away from here. Why are they hanging out in Zoltan's gazebo? He'll find me. I know he will. He'll kill me like he did the others. Especially if he's a known murderer. Next week, Zoltan's performing his new escape. Zoltan is a stand-up guy. I can set the machine so it won't work. You won't be able to escape. But the fire, the blade. Yes, my darling. You wouldn't survive. Gaston did it. Gaston planted the trap. 
I'm piecing this story together. Gaston, booby trapped Zoltan's magic show. What is this? What is this scene here? Now I have no idea what I'm doing. Should I go to the barn to see if that guy who murdered my cat's in there? Late to go to town. Oh, UK Gamer, I don't... Well, the next cast is going to be Tuesday at 6. Like a standard bagel cast. Um, and I think we're going to beat this game today. Hello. Oh, right. This has been in here. I'm done in the barn. No, go back in. I think next cast we're going to play Realms of the Haunting. Which is another old PC horror game. And then from there, I don't know. I'm just going to make it up as I go along. And take recommendations. We already got some. We missed the cat murder. There wasn't a lot, Thermoflask. It's just kind of like we saw Spaz's dead body. I'm pretty upset that Spaz died. Go in there. Every time I don't know what to do, I'm gonna try to go back to this room. Hello, Dawn, hello! You in there, Dawn? What am I playing Mick kids? The same damn scene. Um, help. Something's different in the conservatory. What's a conservatory? can't tell me something's different in the conservatory. Like, could, could you use that word in a sentence, please? Is Clock Tower 3 for the PS2? I gotta find my PS2. What the hell is it? Is it the place with the plants? What is a conservatory? I've never heard of that word. Is that... It is the greenhouse. Why would I need to go back to the greenhouse? We already witnessed one of the murders there. Is this the way? Yeah, ish. Yeah, this is the way. But I've never played Clock Tower 3. I've only played 1 and 2. Oh, you gotta click the log. Go, oh, lady. Get out of here. It's a bookshelf type of room! Dang it, is that the place behind the fireplace? Who told me to go here? Who said the conservatory was a place full of plants? Because I bought it. I, I believe you. <laughs> I don't know what overblood is. I have not actually seen a clockwork orange, no. Oh. I thought maybe it was the library. Like, because you're conser like, what would you conserve? And then maybe knowledge and books. So that's in this area. And I am flying through this mansion. It's either in a phantasmagoria right now. No, wait, this couldn't be it. This is stupid, Bagel. Is this it? This place has a lot of books. You already interacted with us. This. Just a note we had already read. Oh, you know what? There was that bookshelf she kept looking at. Does that do something? No. I don't know what one is. Uh, we're not right. Oh, damn it. Don't go back in there. Get out of there. All right. It's a place full of books. Bagel goes to a place full of books. That's not it. Nah, Bagel. That's not the, that's not the conservatory. Well, I guess we gotta go upstairs. Is this dude's bedroom the conservatory? Because I want it to be. No. Oh. This dude's bedroom the conservatory? No. Oh. Process of elimination's gotta get us through this. Is this, uh. No. Oh. 
torture room. Go through it. Go through it. Boy! <laughs> You're making me hungry, boy. Oh, they're doing the music again. Tonight for you a special feast, Regina. I prepared all your favorites. Mmm. Doesn't this look delicious? Mm. For starters, giblets in a rich red marinara sauce. I feel like this is a lot more graphic than the other scenes. Still hungry? What's the context of this? Scrambled brains? Oh, yes. White people. Yes. This is weird. Ah, I think she's dead. That death was way more intense than the other deaths. That was like very premeditated, you know? You don't just end up in that situation out of a fit of passion. You're like, he thought that scene out. Something's different in the conservatory. That's not a conservatory? <laughs> I immediately go back to that stupid room. Alright, what do we got in here? Uh, baby's room. Temporal displacement. Still temporally displacing. Look the baby ten times. <laughs> that was a pretty good impression I just did. There was a last mirror in the secret tower room. Oh, uh, so you, we gotta find all the mirrors. I should've just said check out all the mirrors. Oh, yep. There is a little distortion here. Zoltan is kind of a dick. What's he gonna do now? Is it gonna be like a standard murder or like a weird one? First motto, I think they were wrong with the hint. Why would Zoltan even have this? They're doing the Zoltan music. Like 360 degrees. And then, she, and then it snapped. Oh, this is too much. That takes the cake. <laughs> too much. Too much for Adrian. I'm out. Something's different in the conservatory. Something's different in the conservatory. Oh. Well, bud, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. We saw that device. I gotta go back up there just real quick, just in case. That was that thing I was complaining about earlier. I said I knew it was a torture device, but I didn't know how it worked. That was this, go over there. This thing, that was it. Now I know how it works. We got closure, good job. Okay, that man is twisted. Hey, LBL, we... nice one, MPEG. Down the stairs, Adrian, down the stairs. Where haven't we been? Bathroom. Anything could be going on in the bathroom. Oh. Ah, uh, your bedroom. No. Go to bed. Ah, I've seen enough for tonight.
was that? What are we doing this thing? The meat stuffing was the most brutal, I agree. Wait a minute, wasn't it? Wasn't there? Wasn't there like a Denny's apron right over there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, follow the dragon! We got him! We found the dragon, nice. It's a crystal hologram machine. Of course. Of course it is. This is, this is crazy technology Gabs though. Gabs you could be Gaston's idiot brother. Like there's Gaston and then his and then his dumb brother Gabs No offense. Just the just your name. That's old Gabs Found it. Find 100% run a Phantasmagoria. Panel. Oh, an illusory wall. I better shut it. <laughs> okay, let's save. Is in here, sure. You got one of those machines. Like you think Zoltan is a Twitch streamer? <laughs> he get he get banned. I'm sorry. Where are we right now? Like, what is this room? What deeper? This is ridiculous. How does that even work? Beagle, do you think Obama would play this game? Pfft, no. Heck no, he wouldn't. Uh. Oh, uh, now nah, I'm lost. What's this one? I regret going this way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I can't jump over that. That'd be a long jump. It's the same exact clip she said last time. That guy looks like a demon in there. There's like a demon in those stairs. It's the same thing she said the last time she had to make a jump. Uh, too far. Uh, I don't want to. Too far. Oh, wow. Illusory walls everywhere. Soak it in, everyone! Zoltan's Theater. Zoltan's magic time. show. Oh, it's a one-way door. Oh no. A video game staple. Dave. There's so many times we could die. Um, looking at places I can click everyone. Go that way. Or I can go that way. I'm guessing. Oh, is this the other side of the door in the main room? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Other side of the door in the main room? Please be. Please be. Loop it together. Loop it together, come on. Give me a game. Dawn. Dawn. Dawn, what are you doing, Dawn? <laughs> Dawn got in the night pool again. Ah, jeez, Dawn. God, look at you. The absinthe? I don't care anymore. I just don't care. Ah, oh, Jesus, Dawn. How does she not realize that Dawn's possessed? How does Adrian not put together that that's not legitimate Dawn? Damn it, Dawn. 
Okay, guys, I gotta take a quick wee wee break. I'm gonna get some coffee. You guys keep hanging out. Talk about all the plot, like, toss your theories out in the chat. Get it going. I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm gonna take a wee wee. Might chug a little water. I'll be right back, everyone. Quick break. Don't go anywhere. The conclusion of Phantasmagoria on day one of Spooky September will continue momentarily after I go wee wee. One second. Cape P. Peeing with a cape on. You caught me! You caught me, Anna! You caught me! I had all these Twitter updates! Thank you guys for the retweets! Chade, Devo, and Crimson, and Coach Cheese, and B-Heart, and Anna Girl, and Miss Dick! Really nice. Of course, Mono's tweeting me. Everyone's tweeting. This is awesome. Thank you, guys. Okay. I don't know if we're back. We're back! I'm back! Hey, everyone, I'm Bagel! Rah! Play the classics. This is a classic. It's called freaking Phantasmagoria. It's, uh, it's a good game, though. It's a really good game. And we're getting near the end. Getting near the end. I'm wearing a cape. It's spooky September. It's hot in the cape, so I'm going to toss it behind me. Hey, Thorin! Hey, Gabsto again! <laughs> I did not use my penis to type. All right, back to the game. That's, that's, a, that's a Zoltan move. Not a bagel move. Or no, that's a, uh, what's his face? Dawn? That's a Dawn move. Dawn would have done that. Chapter 6. Saturday, October 22nd, 9.20 a.m. Thanks, Meat Mug. It's good, Thorin. I drink a lot of coffee, okay? I drink a lot of coffee. This thing's making me itchy. I don't even understand what this is. Alright, putting on the makeup. Gotta look good for all the demons. Nine twenty. Nine twenty a.m. on a Saturday. Oh yeah, definitely Swizzle. Definitely will be October thirty first. This is uh Dawn. Yeah, Dawn's still drunk. God damn it, Dawn. Lay off the absent, Dawn.
Dawn literally has demons, you know? Dawn? Like in him. Like he can't get the demons out of him. Adrian. Adrian! You all right, honey? Yeah. I just hit the whiskey a little too hard last night. That's all. Oh, Dawn's kind of normal now. Dawn, let's leave. Please. We've got to get out of here. Look what this, this place is doing to you. Leave. Leave. Oh. This is our home, Adrian. We can never leave this place. Adrian, you said the wrong thing. Yeah, he does look like he has fishing gear. What is that? What what is that red thing? Is that the kitty collar? Did he kill the cat? Did he kill Spaz? Yo, did he kill Spaz? I don't care about the damn phone. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. Alright, fine. Get in here and fix it. And then you Did Mike honestly come back to fix the phone? Why did Mike come back to fix the phone after he was explicitly told to leave? What are you doing? Oh, that son of a bitch. Oh, just, I'm just gonna burn it. In one of our ever-burning fireplaces. This is the fireplace with the superfluous chains hanging from it. Yep. Yep, it burned. Uh, pfft, no idea what I'm doing. I could go talk to the phone guy again. Call for help. The guy Mike. Hey, Mike. Well, I better not see us talking. Oh, hi. I'm just finishing up this job. I'll get out of here as soon as I can. Mike, I want to apologize for Don. He just... He hasn't been himself lately. Well, you don't have to say nothing. I just don't want to get tangled oh, up. Oh, shucks, girls, miss. I know. I'm just doing my job, miss. Well, you better get back to work. Yep. Look, I'm just Mike the Repair Man, all right? Well, we never really checked out the magic chamber. Yeah, Mike's ripped. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing it, game. I'm seeing it, too. That's a good point, UK. <laughs> Don't sit in the chair. Do not sit in the chair. Adrian, I swear to God, if you sit in that chair. Oh, another gas Donbert. Oh! Oh my goodness! Foreshadowing. Where are they gonna where are they gonna get that though? They're gonna get that swinging guillotine thing. <laughs> oh what are we gonna witness in this machine? The Incredible Garno and the horrifying Throne of Terror. That's that's actually difficult. This is this is hard to watch. Although I think this is actually a higher frame rate than when they show the scenes, the sweeping scenes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our most spectacular show. This is hurting my eyes straight up. If you blink in sync with it, it's better. You will witness an extraordinary performance, the likes of which you have never been attempted before. Never been attempted before. Oh, I didn't need to read that. The incredible Carno will defy death. Is this when he's gonna get lit on fire? His newest feat. Featuring the horrifying 
sabotaging it. What are you doing, Marie? Oh, uh, why? I slept with him last night. Admit it, you're still seeing him, aren't you? No. You're out of your mind. <laughs> you're still seeing Gaston, aren't you? No. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible. <laughs> Elsewhere, Gaston washes with a torch. <laughs> Why the hell is Gaston there with a torch? <laughs> Wait a minute, I think you're still seeing that Gaston character. Oh god, you're talking about me. <laughs> I hope he doesn't see me. <laughs> Damn it, hello. <laughs> then he gets to the clearly booby trap chair. right now with a torch like isn't he just like right off stage to the left or does he also work with them Gaston has to see him I mean whoever Zoltan has to see Gaston go to hell oh okay yeah damn it I got a whole outfit today it was, it was uh Like, does he not suspect something? Like, the mastermind that is Zoltan does not expect to be, like, murdered here? Oh, that, wow. How is this magic trick supposed to work? is what they said. Like, that doesn't actually kill him. It just makes him stronger. He's a splitting headache. <laughs> I like the flame vision, too. I was just th I was thinking when I was watching that, like, that's supposed to be what it's like to look through fire. <laughs> All right, got a little exposition there. Maybe by the time we leave, Mike will be doing something. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Another mirror. God, I love me some mirrors. Unnecessary. <gasps> oh. There's no one behind me. Wait a minute. This isn't how mirrors should work. Oh, it's me now. Wow. Like she's still not she's still not used to to, to how the mirrors work. Oh no! Opening the door of mystery! Ugh, this is just ugh. I was settling, because that's the villain. Oh wow. Yeah, that puppet is ridiculous, right? It really amps up that scene with that foreground puppet. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Similar taste, Kano and me. Uh, but I can't. No. I think I'll do something. Make something happen here. This is silly. Pin out. Is the pin out? Yeah, the pin. No, put the pin back out. Woo! <laughs> Alright, well, I don't know what the point of this area is. Can you do this? Use the fireplace poker on the cave? Bagel Zip's dead. It's dead, West Ham. Oh, man, if I... Oh, that would have been such a crazy way to end the stream. If I knew what was going to happen, and then I became Carno. That would have been cool. Okay, this... Oh, wait a minute, Bagel! After spending a minute in there, figures it out. Carno and Malcolm. 1897. Carno and Malcolm. Oh, Malcolm... 
No. What's his name? Malcolm. I hope I don't have to go back to town and show Malcolm Wormwood that. Oh, wait. No, his face is normal again. If you guys are just joining us, uh, basically, her and her husband moved into this mansion. The mansion was haunted. We had to jump through a lot of loops. Uh, she went behind a fireplace and a demon escaped and went into her husband. And now her husband has become kind of controlling. And we're learning more about this uh, ancient wizard. But also, there's this other guy who knew the wizard, who was in that photo just then, who's still alive. Still alive. And uh, we also have a hint skeleton. An old photograph of Carno and Malcolm. Do I have to go take that to Malcolm? Uh, back to Wormwood. That is a ridiculous contraption. Like, I want to know how that trick was supposed to go. I feel like I'm missing something back here. Like, are we... Wait, I just want to make sure I'm, like, super done back here. Like, what's this red thing over here? No, it just sends us right back here now. There's nothing. Alright, back to Malcolm. Yeah, Mimo, this house is super old. It sucks. Or maybe Mike's done fixing the phone. Maybe I can just call Malcolm. Malcolm probably is the kind of guy that doesn't have a phone. Let's go check out Mike. Mike, hello! Uh, Mike's done. That's Mike's truck. Going to town! Ah, old Nippa Womb set. I didn't think we'd be coming back here. Are you not allowed to drive across the bridge? No, oh wait, Bagel's going the wrong way. He lives over here. Unless I need to get another large soup bone. Get past his puppy. Nah, the puppy's still okay. Get in there. Yes? What do you want? I want to see Malcolm Wormwood. Look, I got a photo to show him. Here, I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> I found it at the Carnivash estate. Mm-hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. Mm. See what's written on the back? Malcolm's dead! See Malcolm as a young boy. Please, you've got to let me see Malcolm. It's important. Just let us in to see Malcolm. This isn't a big deal. Just a Why are the guys doing anything? I like her pink hair ribbon says I killed the server. Malcolm wants to see you now. We're in. We're in, baby! We're talking to Malky! My god, there was no one ever in the chair. She is here, Malcolm. You ever seen what he looks like? I get to sit in Malcolm's chair? Oh. I was still holding out hope that he'd be really young. The guy's pretty old. Oh, he's 110. I remember. <laughs> what was he? This picture. I was just a young nipper of 10. Carno was my hero. Yeah. It's 100 and years ago. Your hero? Yeah. I know why you saw in this picture. Saw? So? Yeah. The evil. It's back. Oh. And my husband? 
He's, he's new car now. What? Yeah, the lady. Sit down. I have something to tell you. Yes. We had a story time, guys. He's gonna tell the story from the shadows. Carno and his first wife adopted me. I, at that time, he was a good man, respected by his colleagues, loved by his wife, admired by his audience. Nigel, we're killing this game, but man. All that changed when he got the book. He gained immense powers through contact with the black forces. Through the book, he unleashed the demon. An yep. entity so evil it had no name, no worldly description. This thing <laughs> came to possess Kano of the soul. So evil, he's kept putting Kano dark people's mouths. He came like it. He became very powerful, and his his fame and and, and his wealth increased but he was cursed he had loved his wife for ten I like how they get the, the dialogue to sync up with their lips but so well all that changed he became abusive I, I don't have proof but I believe he killed them both I believe he killed all his wives. Yeah, why did he tell us this information earlier? Welcome. What happened the night Carno and Marie died? Carno's final days came when Marie took up with his prophet man, Gaston Warwick. Obviously, Marie suspected Carno of committing terrible deeds. Right. Who would it? as his next victim. Together, Mari and Gaston hatched a plan. Yeah, we he saw this, I remember this. A new they lit him on fire and they cut his head off. Feet of <laughs> escape. But Mari raped the machine. Carno couldn't escape. They figured it would kill him. It almost did. For two weeks, Carno lay in a coma. How did he live? One night, he awoke, swearing revenge. What about the thing that chopped him in the head? Carno drag an unconscious Gaston into his theater. There, from within the secret passages, I watched as Carno tortured and mutilated the poor man, oh. leaving him for dead. Then it was Marie's turn. Totally crazed, nothing if any issue, please. revenge on his mind. Carno started up that dark awful machine, that awful contraption, and before my very eyes, I saw... How did he not get his head chopped off? I'll never forget the look of shocked surprise on Carno's face. Got him! Poor Gaston was dying. This was his final heroic act. To my horror. Oh, this is the thing. I then saw a demon. Demon. That's all I know to call it. Leave his body and disappear through the theater floor. I knew where it was going. Carno knew it too. My only thought was running away, but I, I hesitated when. Hey, when I saw Carno 
going to the same place the demon had gone. Okay. Oh! I rushed back to the hidden passages just in time to see Carnaho carrying the chest which held that evil muck. Then, just before reaching the chapel, he stumbled and fell for the last time. I saw him cross himself in the Catholic way before dying. I think he was trying to make his peace with God. I picked up the chest containing that horrid book, and I assume the demon itself, and carried it into the chapel. So he put it in there. Did he also do the I masonry work? I really don't know what I thought I was doing, but somehow I, I, I felt as if I were containing this cursed evil. I had hoped that'll do forever. it. However, after leaving the chapel, I I then dragged Carno's body back to his secret chamber, where he now lies. Oh, he's still in the Wait. chamber. Carno's not in his tomb. No, no, no. That is Gaston Warwick. He he was so mutilated that they all thought. He was Carno. Old switcheroo. I said nothing. I let them think what they wanted. <laughs> sure it's him. And what about the demon? The demon? Oh, that's why I agreed to talk with you. Somehow. Yeah, we're near the end. Must have been released. <sighs> oh my god. Oh no. Dawn. Yeah. Oh, she. What can we do? We right now realize Dawn is the demon. The only answer is the accursed book. Oh. With it, you, you've got to send that that thing back to where it came from. Deem Dawn. Back <laughs> to the other side. All right. You have seen the book. Yes. Yeah. I thought so. All right, young woman. You're the only one who can do this. Your husband's soul is ensnared. I'm, I'm not sure what I can do or what can be done for him. But if you can somehow get close to the demon, here's what you can do. Back. You'll need the book. Okay, we'll get the book. Uh, a holy item. Um, the Stone of Hammurabi. I don't know that one. I don't know where the Stone of Hammurabi is. of a sentient being. What? No. Like any old blood? The book. Like my blood? And Humans are sentient. I, I know one of the answers. I'm gonna trade the brooch for the titanium uh, guy. I already, I already got the answer to that one. The blood of a sentient being. Ugh. The stone of Hammurabi. Ugh. I don't know about that one. Okay. So right, right now, real quick. <laughs> well, <clears throat> think it's time for me to hit the old dusty trail. <sighs> we gotta go to the antique shop. Deem Dawn. No, Dawn, you are the demons. I have this brooch. Excuse me. Excuse me, I have a brooch. Let's... Yes? Oh, yes, Adrian. How can I help you? I understand you're interested in old cameos. Yes, I am. Brooched! I found this old cameo brooch in my house. Brooch. In my Whatever, it's the same thing. You know what I'm talking thing. about. Oh, let me see. I was wondering if maybe you would be interested in trading it for that crucifix over for there. For that $2,300 crucifix. Well, sure. Hey! On a whim, yes. There you go. Oh, great. First of all, I've been playing the game. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and thank you. 
<laughs> what big is it's Phantasmagoria! And it has been good. Confusing, but good. Okay. An antique crucifix. Alright, yeah, that looks like a crucifix. Alright, so what did I need? I also needed, like, the Stone of Haberabi. Where am I gonna get that? The General Store? I, I should save. Oh, get close to the end. Well, alright! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Closed. Fuck, alright. Closed. Is it really closed? Okay. Yeah, we're in some, like, Zelda trading game right now. Where the hell am I gonna get the Stone of Haverabi or the Blood of a Sentient Being? Mike! <laughs> Mike's a sentient being! Like, I, I just need some of your blood. Mike, you do a good work on that phone. Okay, Adrian, I could use some of your blood before you go. Great. Phone's in and it works just fine. Why don't you go ahead and test it? Okay. Why don't you go make a call? Dial anyone you want. Go ahead. Yeah, that's a good phone. That's a good phone. You did good with the phone, Mike. Mike, I mean to ask you something. Uh, Mike? Got your blood. I apologize for Don again. Just hasn't been himself lately. I mean, normally, he's a very nice guy. He... <sighs> really. Yeah, All right. Don't even worry about it. Stop it, dude. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, Mike. God needs to come in and kill him right now. Do you call me if you have any trouble, okay? I will. I sure will, thanks. parts. Now he's becoming the mime he always wanted to be. <laughs> that ultra realistic photo. <laughs> Just that legitimate photo of them piggybacking on the, on the water. <laughs> Do you remember the good times when we used to piggyback in the lake? Oh god, remember before you used to murder the telephone repairman? <laughs> Oh my god, he's so happy and now he's like a crazy vibe. Don, remember before you became a crazy vibe murderer? You were just like a normal husband and we went to the lake. <laughs> oh, it's all too much. Yep. That's exactly how I put on my own cape. That's the best picture she has of them. <laughs> the wacky lake photo. I, I do get a Tommy Wiseau vibe from him. 
he see even now he seems more grounded in reality than Tommy. I can't go like this. I'm gonna do something. I gotta do I gotta find the stone of Haberabi. And the blood of a sentient being. I wonder if Mike's corpse is still outside. Gotta check that. Yeah. Um. I'm a demon. Uh. That false wall. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh, I had to summon it back up. Jeez. Been here. Can I go this way yet? Oh, we're never gonna get over that. How will I get over too this? Far. That'd be a long jump. Ah, uh, that'd be too far. The link of love. Places like in what is this? The essence of wormwood. I knew I got wormwood from somewhere. Why the fuck is the absence down here? Take it. That'd be such a good thing to put the blood in! God dang it, take it, lady. Huh. Why will she not take the absinthe? Or are we just supposed to understand that... He's high on absinthe? Is, it the, is that the demon talking, or is that the absinthe, Dawn? Dawn, I know you're on the absinthe again. She won't jump, Gabsto. That. No, I'll flow over here. Oh! It's his utility vest. God loves his utility vest. What's in this pocket? Oh my gosh, it's the Stone of Abarabi. Oh, it's some Nyquil. Oh, it's the thing from me. I knew that thing was going to be important, then I forgot about it. That's the Link of Love! Nailed it. It's a, it's a Moogle. Why does it spin so fast? The Snowman Christmas Ornament. Snowman Christmas Ornament. He had it the whole time. He does care. I knew Don still cared. Well, now let's go check out Mike's body. Maybe there's a way we can harness his blood. Am I making up the fact that the dude said we need the stone of Habarabi? Like, was that an actual thing he said, or did I just invent- Oh. Why is the door locked? The hammer. Oh my god, no. This glass is so strong. Fix your hair a little. Come on! We can do this! Okay. Alright. Had a little freak out moment. That's fine. Don't really know what was going on there. Oh, you can't leave the house? Oh, really? Are all the doors locked now? I do need the stone of Amorabi. Where the hell am I gonna get that stone? I've never seen anything like that stone. And I don't I don't think I can go back to the antique store at this point in the game. I mean now I feel like I'm just trying to go everywhere I can go. Maybe the basement has an answer? Should be lit. I don't even know what might be in the basement. I felt like the basement had more secrets than we saw the first time. I guess not. I, I really thought there was going to be a scene in this in this locked-in room here. I guess not. 
Yeah, that's weird. I, I figured this basement had more potential for the story. Oh my god. There was another area to the basement. The blood of a sentient being! Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. It's good. Well, that was unnecessary. Oh. There's some lovely wine down here. What a find. You know, after I, I exercised the demon from my husband, we should try some of this. Dude, Spooky September came a little early. I was only saying it for weeks that it was happening, though. I gave a heads up. Hey, Pupetai Penile Party, though. Welcome to the stream. I'm Bagel. We're playing a classic. It's called Phantasmagoria. If you're just joining us, our husband's a demon. We've been locked in the house with him. And we need to get a symbol of love, a symbol of, uh, like, Christ or something, uh, the Stone of Abrabi, and the Blood of a Sentient Being. And then we can possibly exercise the demon. We're gonna check out this room. I really want to, like, knock out the entire down floor, the, you know, the downstairs area first. Oh, someone's been here. I'm still here, UK Gamer. I'm still here. The phone's working now. Oh, yeah, I could call for help. I'll try the phone. What the hell? What the... Ugh. This is so odd. What an odd thing I'm looking at. Wow, I gotta really soak this in. Huh, so that used to be on the table. But yet here it is on the floor, as if maybe someone moved it. Huh. All right, I guess that's good. Well, wait a minute, though. What the hell? What the hell? Whoa, wait a minute. All right. <laughs> Very good. I know, she does force mono. Okay, well, there's no answers in this room. Let me just creep on out of there. Guys, keep an eye out for a Stone of Abarabi or the Blood of a Sentient Being. Those are two things we're looking for right now in this game. Ah, the old piano. Probably time for a good song right now. Yeah, she's gonna wake up, it's gonna be all a dream or something. And then she's gonna find the Stone of Abarabi in her pocket, and she's gonna be like, or was it? And then that's the end. The evil book was in it. You can see the book if you check the box on any chapter between five. Oh. We're beyond that now. Time to go upstairs. I should save. Oh my god, we're getting so close to the fin. Checking out all the bedrooms. There's a lot of them. Why would there be anything in here? I don't know. I do want to check out that red bedroom, though. I love that red bedroom. The bedroom is sick. Look at that picture of him. Yeah, he's looking fly. Alright. Onward. <gasps> the photo room! You ever fix that sink? No, you can't die, UK Gamer. As far as I know. I want it to be like a thousand pictures of Mike. I had no idea, UK Gamer. This was just one of those happy accidents. Oh my god. My god, it's Mike. <gasps> you like my work? <laughs> That's our husband gone. It's a wonderful thing. But the head is useless. Ah! You are very
very good subject, Adrian. And you cooperated with me very well. <laughs> Whoa! Karate chop! Get him! Adrian! Uh, hammer! Hammer up! Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, cross! Fruit! Oh, shit! This thing. Fuck! The hammer again! Damn it! You have expired. <laughs> oh, here we go! Oh, get ready! Okay. A game. Come on, bagel. We got this. The fireplace poker. Poke him. Get him with it. Oh God damn it! Uh, I really feel like it's the hammer. Get him. Do it. Jesus. The, the link of love. The link of love. The hammer again. Damn it! Yeah, no, you can't die in this game. Immediately starts getting killed. Okay. The acid. Oh, maybe I gotta click around me. Okay, I'm gonna try to click around me. Here we go. Alright. Alright, here we go. Come on. Get it! Get acid up in your face! No! I'm sorry. Oh, wait, maybe not a good time. Um, maybe I could, um, uh, it's tough to see him like this. Oh, oh, God, we're doing it again. <laughs> Alright, fair enough, Kim. Alright, come on, Beagle, on point. No wally gagging this time. <laughs> Got the acid. Got the acid. I see the book. I should just take the book and go. The book. Any. Okay. Yes, the book. No. Free clicking. What? Chapter 4. <laughs> what does review do? I'm afraid to hit it. Okay. okay. Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Get, get, get the acid. I thought we needed the book. I thought that was like the missing piece. Got him. Get out. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. I I epic don't know. Yeah. Oh. The fu oh fuck. Oh no, it's done! God damn it, get the Jesus Christ, we got kidnapped again, my god. This is just, this has just become a series of trial and error. Um, <laughs> Sierra Online, the makers of Lords of the Realm and King's Quest. Alright, yeah, Dawn, you got me, Dawn. You got me, Dawn! You gotta watch the whole dang thing. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Dawn, stop it! Oh, well, this is different. No idea if I can skip the death scenes. If I can, I don't know how to do it. Here we go. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, he's slappier that time. Okay. We're going upstairs. 
Yeah! I don't know. Yeah? I don't know why we'd go in here. I don't know. Hide! Hide! <laughs> Scissor Man's coming! Hide! chair. Okay. Okay, that was correct. Go in there. There was something on the floor. There was something on the floor. There's like this item here. Go! Hello! Gonna sweat this cave this high. I right, do anything. Oh my god, this is tense. Oh, I hope he doesn't follow me. Come on, Adrian, crank faster. Yeah, I'm headed down. I mean, I feel like the game has to end with that place we haven't been yet. Adrian, hello. Why are you going back up, Adrian? Oh, sweet Jesus, he's cranking us up. Try to hammer him, okay? 
I, we gotta go the other way. I don't know how to make that jump, though. Concerned about a book I may have missed. Oh fuck, the mouse is doing weird things again. I can get my hand out of the cuff when I get kidnapped? Well, that doesn't make any sense. I can try the cross or the symbol of love. Why are we going back up? Who's this? No, it's Mike's body! Really look at Mike though. Am I going to get the worst of three endings? Adrian cannot make up her mind. I want to get the blood out of Mike. Or press this lever or something. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. I'm going back up. I don't care anymore. I'm going back up. I don't want the worst of three endings. I couldn't inspect the dead body. I tried. It wouldn't let me click it. Go back to the photo lab. Well, if I can get there, I will. Glass, glass, use the 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 glass. I, every time I play horror games, I always get the worst ending. I don't want to get the dead dawn ending. I want to get the I saved dawn ending. Didn't work. The symbol of our love. Look. Look, honey. Look, the snowman. Remember this? Look at the snowman, Dawn! Remember you gave that to me? Remember them? Dawn! Please. It was so good, please. Remember, Dawn? Before you were a demon? Fuck. No! Damn it, I thought we had it. Please don't. Really? I thought we had it. Can I do this again? No! Oh, wait, what? I tried to get the book and it didn't work. So review just shows us our choices, I think. 
I want to get the book. How do I get back to the book? Snowman and then hammer him? I need the book. How do I get to the book? When I go up, Dawn kidnaps me. Like, I'm stuck right here. Unless I can reload. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, there's no way out. I get kidnapped. I just get kidnapped. Okay, I'll see if I can do a combo attack. I got you, Zertarius. Wait, where's the snowman? Secret in the chapel, then on the other wall, secret passage to the crypt. Yeah, he's been possessed by Woody Woodpecker. Okay, we're dead. What if I quit and load? I'm sorry, what? Oh god. They did something wrong. Why would it do that? No, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Why did it get rid of my save though? That's kind of unfortunate. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. about how this game save system works. I think we're okay. Let's do it again. We already know where the items are. It'll take us a second. If you're playing an old game, guys. Never just say, let's just quit and reload. Be really sure before you quit and reload. Let's watch what this does. And if it doesn't work, I think you can skip chapters anyway in the game. So, like, I don't think it's a big deal. Okay, so, we're in here. See the pictures of us with our heads decapitated. You like my work? Where is the snowman? Oh, my God. <laughs> a woman's body is a wonderful thing. But the head is useless! Serenia, why did the game do this? <laughs> you are a very good subject. I need closure on this Dawn Demon storyline. You cooperated with me very well! <laughs> yeah, so I lost the snowman. What the hell? Why would the game remove the snowman from my inventory? Is there a way I can get the snowman? This is ridiculous. A sharp blast shard. Okay, thank you. Hurry through the secret passages to the backstage makeup. Oh god. Yeah, I think we gotta start a new game. It'll be fine. We can just jump right to the last chapter. With the continuity of it all, you know? It's not us, it's some new character. <laughs> The fate bagel has it's a well-known bug on PC like how come I have found two bugs playing this game Okay, we're gonna watch it die again. It's faster if you try to hit him with a hammer Boink. 
Why would they ever expect me to do the run in one go? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quit. We're gonna do start new game. We're gonna call it Who? Ridiculous. Done. Jump to chapter seven. Okay. Chapter seven is not that long. I like when she hits him with the hammer. Dunk. Okay. So now that I understand, and I should have known going into these horror games, that they're gonna be alternate endings based off of your choices. I'm gonna need help. I gotta go to the room to find the snowman before any of this begins. <laughs> Friggin' picture! <laughs> that picture's so stupid. Um... Wait, yeah, I'm missing the cross. <laughs> it's so weird. So the cross spawns in the thing? This is so sad. The way he used to be. Cause yeah, I don't have the friggin' brooch to give to the lady to get the- God damn it. Well, Serenia, I'm glad we have you in the room, cause this game is baffling to me. Cause yeah, I can't go to town right now. Marie's home in the crypt? Have I been to the crypt? The hell is the crypt? Cross spawn in the crypt. Secret passage in the ch Oh my god, where the hell is the chapel? Is that the place I crawl to underneath the, the, the fireplace? Okay, we're gonna get out of this. I'm gonna drop a save. I like this unskippable cutscene here. It's a good way to start it off. I'm gonna drop a save, and I'm gonna try to find... Okay, away we go. You're playing the game. Glass. I feel like we're cheating. We know where thing is. Okay, behind the fireplace. Okay. I think I want to do that first. Okay, yeah, we got it. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Come on, mouse! Save. Bookmark prison location. Okay, guys, this makes no sense, but I need to quit the game. I know. I know. Okay. I'm gonna turn it back on. <laughs> Dango plays the classics. I think I know a thing about how classics work, alright? But yeah, the game was uh, doing its mouse thing again. And now we gotta beat it. We gotta do this. I'm gonna go to the crypt area. I'm gonna get the thing. I'm gonna go into his pocket. I'm gonna get the snowman. It's like an inspection thing, Boo Pet Eye. I don't know how the game works. The game is ridiculous. It's very good. It's ridiculous at the end here. Continue old game. Poop. Continuing with poop. Because Bagel is friggin' lost. Literally. Okay. We have the poop. We're back. The mouse is like fully operational. Do not go in that room. Do not go in that room. God, Sierra, you're killing it right now. Yeah, this game is a classic Tracer, man. I'm enjoying it. The glitch here is kind of annoying, but like, I don't know. What are you going to do? You know? You want, I just play a game from 1995 on the end and expect it to work 100% of the time, you know? Where the hell is this thing? There. Yep. Okay. So I need an item in here? Or is there an... 
Oh, I'm, I should not skip that. How the hell did we just do that? It would be cool if they could remake this game. How long is this secret pa- Is this secret passage, like- Is it only here just in case you, like, screwed up like I did? How the hell did I even do that? Look. Could I have done this the whole time? baffling me. Oh, we get to experience more of the game, guys. You're welcome. We'll never know about the secret passage. Just did it right the first time. <coughs> I feel like dropping a save here is prudent. Because, yeah, we never did go to that. We never did go to the crypt. I was wondering about that crypt. This is mysterious. This is so weird. We didn't do any of this last time. Nice. Old rosary beads. Old rosary beads. Nice. Good stuff. Save fail. All right, we got the mouse working. We got like some of the items we need. Lenore Moody Garnavash. Okay. Dawn is there. I'm so I'm so creeped out that Dawn's gonna be near here. Oh, if Dawn was on the other side of this fence, that would also be creepy. She could fit through that if she wanted. If she tried, she could fit through that. This is cool. I'm glad we did this. She likes to like soak in the scene sometimes, you know? All right, well, guess I'll head back down into the crypt. Sophia, that was the baby. That was the I'm baby, she drowned. Dead. Could I have been here from like act one? Could I have come down here like immediately and I missed this? The way she said like it's a kid sounded like I could have. I missed the bra item, of course. Get us out of here. Back through the false wall. And then we gotta go get the snowman icon. Is there anything else I'm missing after snowman? This game has a lot of secrets in it, Serenia. That you wouldn't exactly expect to be there. Didn't we already do that? Oh, the game doesn't know we didn't do that, though. Or we did do that. Okay, I gotcha. I just need the snowman and I'm good. But don't I also need to grab the book? Yo, thanks, SD Cowboys. All part of the aesthetic of Spooky September. Welcome, everyone. Spooky September, I'm Bagel. I play the classics, sometimes so poorly that the game breaks. However, we are progressing here today. Follow the channel if you're new. 
Got a snowman. Look at him. Alright. Now we gotta go to the photo room. I'm gonna be a Phantasmagoria expert by the end of today. No chronic sauce, what's up, man? Honestly, I think between this business and this business, it was like $15. Seemed worth it. And plus, now I have a cape. This, I don't know. It came with, like, hand tassels, too, but they don't fit good. Should have seen how much money I spent redecorating my room. You kidding me? Did I show, did I show you guys all the candelabras I bought? Look at this. I think I just freaking expensive shit here. Okay, we're going to the, um, head salon to show off. I'm gonna save right here, right here. I gotta grab, I don't even understand what the correct order of operations is here. Spooky some Woo! Woo! I'm so excited for it. All right, things I I'm about to get spooky in here. That's my room, it's my, it's my spooky lair. Took a while, you have no idea. I should have wore the vamp braces, damn it. Somebody went to buy a cape. Yes, it did. <laughs> I can wear this during all my Castlevania runs now. If I feel like I need the power of Dracula. I am pretty sure I need to grab the book. Oh my god. But the last time I grabbed the book, he killed me. But I have the, um... Stabber. Windwolves! Dude, ha ha Windwolves, how's Pax going? I hope you're having fun. Oh my god. I want to go to a Pax. I'm going to Pax East as long as I remember to buy tickets. But the head is useless. You're a very good subject, Adrian. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Gotta grab the book before we leave. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna try to stab him with this. No! No! Nope, okay, we have to use the acid. Woo! Acid, grab the book, then you pass at the chair seat. Out. 
source of all evil. What? This is not the bad ending, guys. Shut up. Good ending. Okay. So we're going with this. Oh, my frig. Uh... Jesus, uh, rosary. Fuck, I don't know. Um, fucking leave. I was like, fuck, rosary, leave. Fire poker! <laughs> gotcha. Been holding on to this the whole game. I feel like I'm making mistakes. It's a bad ending. Got us. They got us. Rosary. Uh, uh, fire poker. How is it not the book? Hello! Use the book! We're gonna get killed again. Oh my god, we're getting killed again. Don't do the eyes ah, doing the grabby face thing again. Okay. I guess I do I stab him with the glass? <laughs> god shake ya. Okay, yeah, try again. Okay, come on. Got this! Uh Look around you. Look in the world. Or don't run away. Um, key. No. It makes sense. The hammer. It definitely makes no sense. How is it not the word? Fuck! It's been too long. Ugh. It ha I the secret passage! I tried the crucifix. I tried the crucifix. It's because I don't have the I didn't trade that brooch for a crotch. I call it a crotch or a brooch. Okay, use the key. Oh wait, I got the skeleton key. Okay, I'm getting out of this one. Uh, secret exit. Oh. Uh. Doing. That's not right. No, you're never gonna move that. Just go down the hallway. Unless you're gonna use that to make a bridge over the gap. I don't know. Damn it, he tore my face open again. Okay. It's like you gotta do a series of correct clicks, and I'm constantly going, like, clicking the wrong ones. Yes, I wanna try it again. Okay, we're going in the little crack. And this time, instead of trying to pry away that stone, let's go down the hole. Go. She's like, I, I can really move this steel beam. I can really do it. You have to jump. Just commit to the jump. Oh my god, shimmy! Laura Croft, shimmy it! Or... Oh, she just jumped. I thought she was gonna hang on a pipe. Pipe! Whoa! What is your deal? Yeah, I know cleft, right? What the hell was that sound? Okay. Come on. I can figure this out. I tried to click the pipe over her head and she just jumped. That's what I wanted to do! No! Why is there a pipe? Is he like, does he have a toilet down here? Like when the plumbers came in, they had to install this pipe over the secret passage? Oh my god. Go! Get it all wet, just go! 
the longer you wait, the worse it's gonna be. You're just gonna keep getting wet if you stand. Oh my god. She's ruining her sweater. Yeah, I tried to click the pipe over the hole, Sarania. Yeah! Get her, Adrian! I don't know what we're really getting, but we're doing it. It's a demon, come on. Let's run like you're being chased by a demon. Go, go, get down the stairs. Oh my gosh. He made it over! You gotta open the door. It's gonna do the thing. Yeah, she was basically doing a brisk job. He's doing his move. That's his finisher. Oh, but that wooden door. Oh, yes. This! On point, Bagel. On point. I've had to interact with two doors that worked as such. Okay, Bagel, think on your toes. What we got here? Okay, door. Uh, it's not gonna hold forever. We gotta look around us. It's that. Okay. Oh. Right? Yeah, this thing. Uh, I would hurry. I would hurry. I, I can't click. We're still in a cutscene. Him. The corpse of the Zoltan. Gaston. Whoever. Just get him. Rosaria. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Book of the Dead him? Yeah, baby! Book of the Dead on the dead guy! One plus one equals two. You got this. I'm really spooked, you guys. Oh my god, it's in Latin. Oh, it's Latin! Can I remember this? Come on! <sighs> Gosh, jeez, it's written in Latin! Intra circulum magicum. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see. Intra circulum magicum! Stand inside circle magic circle okay magic circle oh, oh. end of the game the nice we're in the circle um, all right ponate fascinum intaginum apertum liberi place um the rosary talisman talisman an open book page Talisman? You have what? It's the, the only damn item you have that isn't a hammer or a fire poker Shit. or a key. You're an idiot. Oh my god. Now I'm actually pretty confused. Go! What? How? Go! You hiding? A talisman. Shit. Wait, no time for that, I guess. <laughs> he didn't even say anything. What is this? It's a Malachite talisman. Hurry. You know what? I wanted to inspect it. There may have been a button on the back. Sanguinum. Humanum. Superfacinum. Humanum. That's human. Blood from alive. Uh, Caught yourself with the glass. Living man. Uh, or woman. Person. Person. You, women or people. Talisman. You do that. Glass yourself. And here I was trying to bottle up Mike's blood to prevent such a situation. <laughs> I was gonna, I was just gonna harness the blood of Mike. But maybe because he was dead, the blood didn't count. I, it's complicated. Get him. Okay. Oh, that 
that's exactly how magic works. <laughs> okay, Gendo. <laughs> Tenete. Oh, here we go. Super fascinum. I'm gonna have. Et, I'm gonna guess it has something to do with the rosary. Et, or possibly the fireplace poker. I'm not one. sure. What's Latin for fireplace poker? Hold blessed item over talisman and say this incantation. Oh, God. Yeah, so we gotta use the fireplace poker. Away. She's like, I just, I don't know. I, don't, I have five items and two of them are keys. Oh, what do I do? I'm so blustered. Oh, right. The religious symbol. That sound effect. Powering up. Ite in fascinum. In fascinum. I feel like I still need to be on the edge of my seat. Oh my gosh. How do you even get in there? Oh! We did it! That was it! The end! Did it! Kill demon! Dawn doing? It was a little anticlimactic, a little bit. Didn't have the budget for a big demon death, I guess. Oh my god, Squirebot. This game has been amazing. I like how the music kind of cuts in and out. Like you're not sure if it's supposed to or not. Where is Dawn? Where is Dawn? I think Dawn should live. <laughs> what about the sink? Did you ever get the clog out of the sink? That's it. That's the end of the game. I I really expected Dawn to come back. Okay. There you go. The Dawn of the Dead. Oh my god. Day one of Spooky September, everyone. A whole bunch of spooky games. This music makes a lot of sense with what happened in the show. Chronic, good suggestion. If Farm is on right now, we should go check him out afterward. We're going to get through this thing, though. This music here. The Esoterics. Choir and movie, The Esoterics. Additional music by those guys. Did it! Dawn's dead, but hey! Got that demon. I wonder what she's gonna do now. I'd move. Or I might go see Mr. Wormwood again for some closure. Definitely follow the channel if you're new. Next cast, Tuesday. 6, 6 p.m. Realms of the Haunting is our next game. I know nothing about it other than that it looks fantastic. And then I don't know where we're going. But Realms of the Haunting on Tuesday. This music's jamming. This is, this is up there with, uh... You know what song I'm talking about. I can't think of music while listening to music. 
I am the wind. This is like I am the wind quality ending. Yeah, Perrin! I heard it's amazing too. Yeah, Anna, yeah, Anna. I, I actually wanted to start the, 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 the Spooky September with it, but then I figured, you know what, we should start not on Tuesday, we should start on Sunday, we should just beat a game. That would be a more epic way to start Spooky September. It's not even September, so spooky already. Yeah! And we'll be singing this all day. If I can get Clock Tower 3 to work, I'll do it, Voldemort. Unless we want to go back and just play Clock Tower 1 and 2 again. We could. But I want to do some uh, new games at first. Like, weird 90s spooky games for the PC is basically where I want to be. Like this game. I don't think we can play Phantasmagoria 2. I think it's got, like, a lot of nudity in it. You know? And I don't think that's okay on Twitch. I don't know. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you for the follows, which I'm, ass I'm most assuredly you gave me. Uh, thanks for the subs and the resubs. That was super cool. Uh, you get a, a pumpkin emote. That's nuts. It's a legitimate jack-o'-lantern emote. You can, you can type the word spooky and use them as the O's. It's wild. If Clock Tower 3 is on PSN, we'll absolutely play it. If it's not, then I have to jump through some hoops. Yeah, I'm excited. I messed around in Realms of the Haunting. The control scheme is a little baffling, but I think it's gonna work. This is such a good way to start Spooky September. We killed it. We absolutely killed it. We also killed Dawn, which was unfortunate, and Mike, the, the phone guy. Edu Curry! You do subscriber! Yes! Edu! Yeah, Edu! You remember that time Sunscream sucked during, the, during that murder? <laughs> that was funny. Motion control by McLeod Productions. Yes! Inu. Yes! Killing it. Makeup. Cindy killed it on the makeup. Costume designed by Roberta Williams. Nice. He's the one who made the game. Rothfield Ryan and Roth Bressler and Associates. Cool. We're still going with the credits. The music wasn't long enough for the credits. I'm gonna get so many new colored capes. You know what? This cape is actually reversible. They say it's, they sold it as reversible. I could have red on the outside next time. I could totally switch it up. It's like a totally different cape. I also got this thing. I don't even know what this is. It's like my bib. Thanks for coming, guys. Let's check out who we can give some love to. I think I know who already. Based off a of chronic sauce recommendation. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. If you guys like a little Chrono Trigger, Barb is playing at beginning to end for his 100 follower special. I think you guys should check out some Big Pharma. I'll post them in here. I'll post them in there. He comes recommended from myself and from Chronic Sauce. We did it. I am going to put on some Pharma. I'm going to take my cape off so I don't look like a weirdo, and I'm going to walk my two puppies. Thank you guys for coming. If you're new, follow the channel. That's it, Spooky F in September has begun. It's an ass god. This is who I am now. This is who I am now. Have a good evening, have a spooky evening. Seriously though, Tuesday at 6 is the next cast. Tuesday! Be ready! Because sometimes we don't cast on Tuesdays. This Tuesday we're casting. Stay on cast. There might be a Wednesday cast. There might be a Thursday cast. There might be a Friday cast. I have no idea. What are we gotta do with all these casts? I don't know. Walk the dog with the cape. That little guy. It's a Wolf Girl production back there. I can't point because the comments come up. I can't keep in the lobbies. That's a friend, Kyle. This is who I am now. <laughs> this, is, this is my life. <laughs> I worked hard on this scene. I worked. I worked really hard. That's not. None of these buttons are right. Get me out of here. See you guys! Oh, yeah.